For I decree and declare, anyone here who has come to the end of a season, Shalakatu siyata, Kabrendege baruka teskoto prakatu siyata, I call upon my God, the God of my covenant, I push you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help those under the anointing. I push you to a new season, new financial seasons, new spiritual seasons. There are some of you in ministry, there are certain graces you did not carry before, but God is about to be announcing you in new ways. Greater mantles, greater patakatosh, kabatekatosh, kabatekatekata, karos, kadila, katos, katapregatia, new anointings by the kaposh kadila kata, by the spirit of God. I stand by this road and I shift you step into new seasons step into new dimensions step into new seasons climb that ladder in destiny in the name of Jesus Christ step into new seasons in the name of Jesus Christ some of you this is the season you will encounter the mantle of your destiny until now you are Elisha but you have been a farmer whereas in destiny you are a prophet I relocate you by the mantle of your destiny anywhere you are operating now that is not consistent inside outside I stretch my hands I call upon the God of my covenant step into those mantles find the mantle for your destiny find the mantle for your destiny Please make sure you are praying. Don't waste your time. You came here for an encounter. I know what I'm saying. I know what I sense from my spirit. I tell you there are people here. Where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you. You are a prophet. What are you doing in the farm? You are a kingdom financier. What are you doing around? I stand again by the God of my covenant and I declare be relocated to the place of destiny and anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny I clear them out of your life Esther was ordained to be queen but she was in Shushan Ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of Jesus but she was somewhere experiencing a cause Peter was a fisherman whereas his destiny was an apostle pray in one minute align me oh God to the place of my relevance the place of my destiny i'm tired of escorting others i'm tired of wondering what to do with my life your assignment is as important listen to me your assignment if you do not locate the place of destiny you will keep escorting others you will get angry you will get offended your breakthrough your your celebration your relevance is in that place of your assignment pray father tonight it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me it has been written of you
Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel, when you come again. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. O oh, Esther, your season has come. O oh, Ruth, your season has come. O oh, Peter, your season has come. Oh John, your season has come. Elijah, your season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, oh, Your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, I'm seeing a grace for prophetic psalmistry. There are many of you, you have been called into this a dimension of the prophetic psalmistry. Songs you did not write coming from heaven. I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. Songs that become ladders for the end time. Ladders into the throne room. Ladders for encounters. I declare may that grace, may that mantle rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, psalmistry by the Spirit, the Davidic order of worship. Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not wasting your time. You came to church. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. Undivided spiritual attention. This is for kingdom come. This is for my destiny. This is for all connected to this grace. Hela baka reka toshko to brande gete leketa, shkebe reka te baka ta prosko to koto baka te leketa, shime kete lekash koto brando koto badiata. Number two, I want to pray. There are spirits that stand at the gates of new seasons and don't allow people cross. I tell you this, there are spirits that stand at the corridors of your next season financial seasons spiritual seasons kairos moments it takes the power of the holy spirit to 
to uproot these devils out of your way he says say unto God how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves I decree and declare every covenant and any ordinance of darkness stopping men from stepping into their seasons I come by fire and in the name of Jesus Christ I declare those altars are destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them please every spiritual pattern that wants you to repeat what you happened to your father repeat what happened to your mother tying you to the experiences of your territory i come by the road of the higher priesthood i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be liberated now my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil the mighty power of god new seasons new seasons new seasons hear what the spirit of the lord is saying remember not the former things neither consider the things of old remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old for behold i do a new thing behold I do a new thing this is a prophetic word for someone this is a prophetic word for a family you came to church to hear this word the Lord is saying remember not the former things stop giving explanations forget the former things that that which is coming will be a worthy compensation that which is coming will be a worthy compensation stop regretting yesterday there are greater plans in your tomorrow plans that out Way that which you have seen for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time the Bible says are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us Just allow yourself in a minute or two to just soak in this glory sometimes we are too distracted and when god shows up like this we waste those opportunities do not make the mistake of jacob in the glory i will stand i will stand and lift my hand it's in your glory I'll receive every miracle you have for me. It's in your glory we will stand, we will stand and lift our hands. Ah. 
in the glory we'll receive every miracle you have for us Lord we believe you we thank you Lord Jesus for this hour of visitation you have come like you always do to change us to lift us to impart upon us unusual graces Mm. be still and know that I am God be still and know Martha Martha you are worried and obsessed about many things you are even offended but one thing is needful that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet We trust you, we love you, we honor you, we believe in you. This is why we are here. Every miracle you have for us. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh lord art shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh lord had a shield for me my glory and the lifter of my head but thou O oh Lord are shield for me the glory and the lifter of my head Father forever we declare that you remain mighty in our midst this house will remain a conducive atmosphere for your presence for your power we decree and declare that we will continue to love you continue to serve you to stand in partnership with your spirit as you build as you make as you restore as you transform as you empower indeed we are changed we are changed <laughs> we are changed we are changed who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty your mighty battle we call you this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle for thine is the Tonight, move upon us. Move upon us. Oh, we say amen, amen, amen. Let it be so. Let it be done in this earth 
as it was and as it is in the heavens amen to my lifting amen to my restoration amen to my rising amen to the multiplication of grace as a family we declare amen amen we are believers of your word let it be O god blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance You see, beloved people of God, one of the things that you are learning every time you come, you are learning the ways of the Spirit. We are a people who love God. We are a people who are excellent and organized. But you must realize that the secret to what you have seen and you experience every time is our flexibility when the holy spirit comes he does not come here as a tenant he comes here as the lord of sabaoth the lord of hosts we are only active participants we follow as he leads for if he does not lead we have nothing to do moses said do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us you can fake power but you cannot fake presence no a native doctor can give you power but he cannot give you presence that presence factor is the distinguishing factor moses said how shall they know that we're people separate and he said i will go with you my presence will go with you and i will give you rest I will bring you when into I your decree, Sabbath. I, declare that this week, I will give you rest. For you, let it be a week of strange testimonies. The kind of favor you have not seen until now. In the name of Jesus, let it begin to manifest. I connect you by prophecy to your destiny. Help us. They will come rushing towards you. And I pray for your spiritual life and your prayer life. Listen to me. We are people who love God passionately. In all our getting and in all our achievements, God must be first and God must be priority. Therefore, every prayer altar that is dead or dying, every word study altar that is dead or dying, every passion that is already fading towards the things of God, let there be restoration now. You will not need to tell people you are a child of God. The anointing and the demonstration of the power of God through your life will speak volumes. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, for all who have traveled from far within and outside this nation to be here, I declare return. May your testimonies arrive before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name that is above all names, we have come here you have called it a miracle service a service where you are taking burdens yokes from the destinies of men lord there are people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things some of them have prayed some of them have fasted some of them have done everything they know to do and it looks like it is not going but lord i thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name above thrones above dominions every name that is named and as your people shout at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus hear me i tell you there is fire burning here as you shout that name inside and outside the power of god is going to rest upon you and everything that is not of the christ must leave your destiny now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of Jericho must go down. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now. Come out of their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare 
Lose them now and let them go. Lose their destinies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now and let them go in the name of Jesus. We are still praying. There are families that have been tied down that nothing good will come out of you. Right now I decree and declare I'm seeing at least 21 people belonging to this case by the power that raised Christ from the dead. One more time you will shout Jesus. May that fire rest upon you. Every altar that is speaking against your family that you will not rise, that you will not shine. It is destroyed right now. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Every embargo of darkness in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Never the same, never the same, never the same. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying. Look at me, please. There are people I'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of disfavor. Now, you are moving physically, you may not see it. But there is an embargo on you. People and things that should help you. Just ignore you as if you are not there. I don't know who belongs to that category. But right now, in the name of Jesus, May that power come upon you now. I declare that that yoke, that embargo of disfavor upon your life is broken now. 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 Hananta Shadabalakotosutobadakata. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. The Lord is, is focusing on families right now. I'm saying it again. Every family that has not advanced, you have done the best you know to do. Educated but not advancing. Exposed but not advancing. Surrounded by helpers but not advancing. At the count of three, as you shout that name, I decree and declare, everything sitting on the advancement of your family it must be cleared out of the way are you ready don't be tired one two three shout jesus those barriers be broken help them please my god help that gentleman be broken now be broken now be broken now please help the ushers whether you are an usher or not they are overwhelmed if someone is near you just help to bring them out please help the ushers in the marvelous name of jesus listen to me i want to pray for you i want to pray for you there are families that have not experienced ease the things that should be easy there are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house 10 years and it's not like they are lazy everything they try to do it looks like there is no way i am praying for you there's a reason why i ask you to bring them out please help us i'm ministering to them in the name of jesus the spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone right now i command that spirit in the name of jesus let them go now let them go now let them go now let them go now bring them out let them go now Please bring them out. Now watch this. There was a woman in the Bible that all the men in their life, her life were dying mysteriously. She was called the widow at Nain. The husband that she had mysteriously died. 
the last son that represented her future also died and while they were taking him out of the gate jesus stopped them and said no it's not over what in the world is happening here the man who would grant us strength and security and fortification there is this this lady waving her hands that one i'm seeing oil coming on your head my dear right now i decree and declare be released now in the name of jesus christ now be released by the power of the holy spirit who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords hallelujah hear me the holy ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death you see you keep me keep saying this thing this embargo of the grave in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here appointed to death that there is an embargo of death that you will not see the end of the year all your family members are bakadoshkata some of you have seen it in dreams you lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes by the power of the holy ghost right now may the fire of god rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death right now in the name of jesus be delivered from the sword be delivered from accidents be delivered from terrorism Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to arise, for revival to return, for the kings to be born. For revival to return, yeah. Ali, Ali, yo, oh. Ali, yo, oh. Ali, Ali, yo, oh. oh, oh, oh. Ali, Ali, yo, oh. Ali, yo, oh. Ali, Ali, yo, oh. Oh, 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 oh. There is a grace for prophetic intercession that is coming on women here. In the spirit of Deborah, I stretch my hands. Where are the wailing women? I eyes by the spirit of God. Barata Shanakata, Ekrakata, Epokotoboshia, Embrete Shariata, Pantateze Negeta. Anna the prophetess, may that grace come on you. You will bring possibilities from the spirit. Shanakaskata Katarabada, Ekrakata Katakata. Oh, drink of that wine. Drink of that wine. Drink of that wine. Drink of that wine. Shanakata Bagata, Ebrekatosh Kali Baratosh, Shamata, Ebrakata Barato Shotos, Sakata Barakati Yakata, Amana no Sikatana Brigadia, Sheriana Mako Sikatani Brigadia, Exodus chapter three and verse twenty one. You are about to receive the grace for favor. Oh, there is such a grace for favor. Please read with me, it's projected. As loud as you can, please. Want to read. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty lift your voice in one minute and cause emptiness from your life cause emptiness in your church emptiness financially someone is praying in this conference hey! 
cosa y la madre que te le pegaría a para pedir que te le pegaría y la madre de la de la cosita para y la asesina y la madre de la de la de la de la y la cosita Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the kind of favor you have never seen in your life and even in your ministry, I stand by the election of grace and I declare me that grace come upon you now. May that grace come upon you now. Strange favor. Strange favor. There is a grace for speed where in a short time you can do much for the kingdom listen the unit of destiny is time whatever eats your time is eating a part of your destiny the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and over on barefoot he overtook the, the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I want to declare speed. I don't know what has tied you in one place. Shabakata, Egretabakatos, Sananabakatabakata. In the name of Jesus, may the grace for speed land upon your life. Rest to help them, help them, Makatabarikata, upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Listen to me. There is no man who rises without the assistance of men. I want to pray for destiny helpers. Keep your hands down first. First Chronicles 12, 22. Let me show you a scripture. Never forget this scripture for the rest of your life. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 22. Please read with me if you're a Christian. Ready to read? want to read for at that time day by day there came to david to help him until he was a great host like the host of god where are your destiny helpers i stand in the name of jesus by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic i prophesy to the north i prophesy to the south the east and the west everyone who must show up to help you i command them appear now Appear now! Amen. Help us in ministry! Appear now! Amen. Financial help us! Amen. Appear now! Listen! Listen to me! It's important that help comes for you fast it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish they were not bad people it's just that the bridegroom didn't come fast he says I will hasten my word to perform it I will hasten my word to perform it Can I pray for you? Everything sitting on your destiny. Shema. Salata. Every heart that will not let you rise. That will not let your ministry be seen. I stand by my God. I call upon the God of my covenant. The God of Jeshurun. I declare the powers that fight you. They go down now. 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 Anyone here in business, in career, it looks like doors are not opening. You do everything you know to do, but these doors don't open. I prophesy to those doors, Efata, be open. Efata, I come by the rod of the apostolic. Efata, be open. Atmosphere, shaking. 
Let me pray for you. Before we pray over the requests, listen to me. Do you know just because one person forgot to tell the king, he added two years to the pain of Joseph. Joseph said, when you stand before the king, please remember me. When he stood before the king, he forgot. After two years, when God was ready to bring him out, he shot the heaven over the, the sorcerers, the astrologers, and the man said, I remember my wrong. Two years ago, while you were angry, you sent me to prison. There was this young Hebrew boy, and the Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king sent for Joseph. There are times that you can deliver, but you don't have access to the gates. You will need somebody already at the gates to speak for you. I prophesy to you, whoever is at the gates that can speak for you, for your business, for your family, for your ministry, and has not yet spoken, I open the book of remembrance and I declare they must speak for you. Amen! They must speak for you. Amen! In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen! We're almost done. Can I pray for your prayer life? He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Elijah was a man of like passion, the Bible says, and he prayed earnestly over a span of three and a half years that there be no rain and there was no rain. He shut the heavens. An attack on your prayer life is a real attack. Pastors, pray. My house shall be called a house of prayer. If it is not the house of prayer, it will be a den of robbers. If your life is that house and it's not a house of prayer, a robber will come and steal in your life. It is either a house of prayer or a den of robbers. Whatever has eaten your prayer life, whatever has reduced your passion and your fire for prayer, in the name of Jesus, help them please. By the power of the Holy Ghost, prayer fire from heaven let it land upon your life now prayer fire from heaven please help them let it land upon your life now let it land upon your life now the grace to fast the grace to pray 
in the name of Jesus receive that grace Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4 Amplify We're wrapping up Habakkuk chapter 3 and 4 Amplify Is that possible? I want to release the grace for revelation Habakkuk chapter 3 There is a dimension of dominion You can never command until the word of Christ dwells in you richly. I'd like you to read it, please. Can we have amplified? If not, no problem. We'll just work with what we have. The Bible says, and his brightness was as the light. The Bible says he had horns coming out of his hands. Amplified says, out of that hand, the rays that were coming, there, was the hiding place of his power God's power has a location it can hide in his light so the more spiritual illumination you have the more you can command real authority exousia the capacity to legislate on behalf of another Paul prayed a prayer Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 he prayed that we grow in three realms of knowledge number one that we be filled with the knowledge of his will Colossians 1 verse 9 number two that we be filled with all wisdom and then number three that we be filled with spiritual understanding he says and now I commend you brethren to God and to the word of his grace he said it is able to build you up and then to give you an inheritance even among them that are sanctified and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise the bible says unto salvation it takes access to the truth of god's word john 1 5 and the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehending you i declare the grace for revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ access to the mysteries of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now I'm praying in the name of Jesus individuals Christ. some of you are ministers some of you your prayer life has gone down this is koinonia I stretch my hands by the spirit of grace as many inside the balcony the overflows following from whatever nation as many as the spirit of god will initiate into this dimension of spiritual reality take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ some of you are ministers some of you are being raised to be prophets and apostles let that engracing for prayer rest upon you in the name of jesus christ help them please in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of jesus and by the spirit of the christ I clear it out of your life. I clear it out of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit. And this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of jesus we command that door open now 
we command that door open now we command that door open now we command that door open now be open now in the name of jesus open up Gita and Gita. be open now Tonight is a very serious night. The Lord is opening my eyes in a vision. I'm seeing people standing, but I'm seeing their faces covered. This is what this is what the Lord is showing me. Please, I want you to pay attention. Pay attention. The Lord brought us here to build us. You see, when the face of a man is covered in the realm of the spirit, number one, there can never be visibility for such a person. Number two, the doors of favor will be closed over that person. I'm going to minister the power of God and I want you to bring those people out. Those at the overflows can just come to their projector stand. We need to tear off that veil. Hari Sedakatusia. Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Stubata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here, you have integrity, you are walking in grace. But there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen. There are captains of industry. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside, please bring them. Right now, may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those veils right now. Burn those veils right now. Turn it into a prayer. Every veil covering the glory of God upon my life. He says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory. He called him the lifter up of my head. Bring them out. Everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long. You are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now. You came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. you pray hear me except god did not send me if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke over your life over your ministry i stand by the rod of the apostolic i stand by the rod of the prophetic i declare judgment on strange spirits judgment on foundation judgment on yokes of darkness surely there is an end surely there is an end surely there is an end Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit, let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus. 
over your life from every realm of captivity i'm saying it by the spirit i declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go i stand by the god of heaven the god of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare it must let you go now the bible says where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty the holy ghost is ministering to me there are people in business here every time good things are about to happen there are forces familiar spirits that stand to shut doors i'm praying for business people i stand by the unction of jesus and i declare anyone here in business whatever power has refused to let you advance in the name of jesus at the count of three it comes under fire one two three go 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 release your destiny release your businesses in the name of jesus Christ. it says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go hear me i don't care what it is called blood disease genotype issues recurrent things eating your finances destroying the destiny of your family at the count of three you will shout jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are at the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray one more prayer. Whoever is sitting on what is yours. Between now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare, standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life i speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of god let them go now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah Who is this man? Come. What do you do, sir? 
Yes, I was, I was into business, but nothing is moving. Forward. You were into business. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is the house of God. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing snakes from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing all around you. The Bible, this is the house of God. If we cannot solve problems supernaturally, we are wasting our time here. Sir, I'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy. The same way you are standing here, this is the same way you will stand here. Your life will change in a way that will surprise you. I stretch my hand. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, let it open you to new dimensions. In the name of Jesus, every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business, I come by the blood of Jesus and I declare it is over right now. Hallelujah. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jai here. From where? Jai. You believe in Jesus? Yes, come. sir. Your family is about to experience a very strange miracle. Stand up. Listen, let me tell you this. Believe me when I tell you, people of God, there are people who are sent. There are people who are sent with an unction and sent with a grace. It is not the anointing that is available that blesses you. It's the anointing sent to you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus Christ, for you and for your family members. Right now, every power that will not let you go, here in the house of God, I declare by the Spirit of God, a new chapter opens for your family now. A new chapter opens for your family now. Hallelujah. My friend under the anointing the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous therefore i speak to you everything that has stolen away your joy and your testimony as a family i command it to let you go now in the name of jesus let me pray miscarriage i want to pray don't worry i'll pray for you wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name something is coming on your wife it's over now now two of you over now i'm seeing a spirit that is back of her miscarriage i challenge you by the god of heaven let her go now let me pray for you Father, I stretch my hands. Ah! I'm seeing fire leaving my hands and just coming on you. Everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command. Whatever will want you to disobey that command. I open up your wombs in the name of Jesus. And according to the time of life, I decree and declare, return with your miracle children regardless the medical report we stand by the god of heaven and we declare oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now in the name of jesus christ Your life will never be the same. My life must change. I will never be the same. Your life must change. That's why you're here. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your life.
life must change. For some of you, your home must change. Your home must change. Your home must change. Your, must change. your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Your job must change. Hi -ya, hi -ya, hey. We believe in you. We believe in your grace. We believe in your power. This is Mount Zion. The city of our God, the dwelling place of his power. I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute and cry for a visitation tonight. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Don't look around. Forget about who is by your left and right. Cry to the God of our salvation. Give me an encounter tonight in the name of Jesus. For everyone that has get received. Are you praying? Everyone that asked them, receive Pray, you're enlarging your capacity to receive it. You will never be the same. This is a house of God. You will never be the same. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Inside and outside, I want you to bring them here. In the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion. And the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I break chains. Bring them out. I break chains. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must leave you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Break 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online, if there is any handwriting and any altar, pateke barata, bring them outside. On anyone's destiny, on anyone's life, those altars catch fire right now. Keep your hands on your head. Release that family, all of them. Release that family. Not just one person. Release that family. This is a whole family under bondage. Release them. Release them. Release them now. Release them now. Father, mother, siblings. Release them. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a family. No one gives birth. Fruitfulness is a challenge. The Lord is releasing that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Koinonia. Every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be, another is taking your place. I command that spirit to give way right now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus. This change that I see on people's feet it's time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of jesus i take authority over it i take authority over it hallelujah madam I don't know who this woman is yes that one with her hand on her head madam look at me i'm seeing oil being poured on your head and the lord is saying a major breakthrough is coming to your family that things will never be the same you don't have to bring her out hear me anyone that digs a pit for you here i declare the earth will open and swallow them The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now and in the name of Jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ ah, one more time whatever will not let you go I call on my God who is also your God may he clear them out of the way 
may he clear them out of your way may he clear them out of your way every obstacle that will not let you advance i call on my god to clear them out of your way for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations five verse seven our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because I, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cause i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past Alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. When only are you praying? Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you SS. That made you AS. That gave you hepatitis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. If God be God, everything that you are carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes i stretch my hands right now hear me i'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of god is falling upon all who are victims of that i stretch my hands right now let it be in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god inside outside i stretch my hands be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus be free right now from activities of witchcraft hallelujah demonic activities strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty 
I command freedom. I command liberty. The blood speaks right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, He says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. of this favor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ And Cain said, my punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, all who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark, seketo shalakras katabadiasha, lebren tekes kotabras katadia. Any mark upon your life, upon your business, upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes, keeps attracting scandals, keep attracting negativism. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that mark be blotted forever. Blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry, genotypes, SS, Shakatosia, AS. There's no such reality in the realm of the spirit. That provision does not exist. It's a manipulation from the second heavens. Altering the genetics of men. But right now in the name of Jesus, every blood related issue passed to you by covenant. I blot it out of your body right now. I blot it out right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The classic sign of curses and yokes is the presence of patterns. You usually are not the first to experience that. But I want to prophesy right now. I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life, you have seen around your finances, you have seen around your work with God. You are up today, down tomorrow. You are serious today, unserious tomorrow. You love the Lord today, you love something else tomorrow. Your ministry rises today, crashes tomorrow. Your finances is up today and is blown like the wind. In 
in the name of Jesus. Shalados Kopranda Kaskeleka Suliata. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess is an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota Lekre Tosketenika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of Jesus Your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence 
in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because your gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus i declare that from now step into a season of joy and laughter step into a season of joy and laughter it says you have turned my mourning into dancing my sorrow to joy i i i call to end the days of sorrow i call to end the days of mourning i appoint unto you a new season of laughter in the name of jesus whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward i break you from whatever is stopping your advancement i break you from whatever is stopping your advancement and in the name of jesus go forward in the name of jesus go forward in your career go forward in ministry go forward in business go forward in your academics go forward hallelujah i prayed over a church yesterday where i ministered the grace for visibility the bible says you are a city that is set on a hill you see one of the ways that god brings honor to you is to give you visibility visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift your grace and your value can be discerned can be engaged and can be rewarded we all need this in our lives there are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility when it was time for jesus to enter into jerusalem he didn't say well i'm king of kings he said bring a donkey i need something that elevates me so that in that exalted position i can have a triumphant entry a triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground it needs to be exalted i prophesy to someone in the name of jesus in this season the supernatural platform that god would have to give your ministry your business to give you multiplied visibility receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus some of you here are in ministry and you love the lord with all your heart but the truth is that the current level of grace you carry you have the work that now is before you you will need a higher level of grace the level of grace that you now have you will not be able to do much our possibilities are governed among many other factors by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us so grace and peace is multiplied i pray for you everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation maybe there's no church growth maybe resources there are no destiny helpers in the name of jesus christ step into a new season of impact I place a grace upon you. Step into a new season of impact. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for our families? We are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families. Because you see, if you rise and you are experiencing God alone, you are still not free. The anointing is coming on this lady, you. Bringing to end everything that is not of the Christ. Listen, do you know, let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. For every word that I utter, you are just saying amen. But you see, this is what happens. Every word, the sound you see, enters your ears and stops there. But the anointing, that is on the sound rests on your head and begins to make your life 
are you seeing that now it makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass so don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher what is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head layers so when you leave you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life this gentleman i don't know who you are come your life is about to change stand up where are you coming from from taraba god will use you greatly take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same pick him up in the name of jesus serve god with sincerity serve god with integrity bring him closer there is something he's receiving i impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders multiplied influence visibility in the name of jesus christ go and do exploits for the kingdom this lady come run come receive that grace it will turn you into a sign and a wonder i ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit receive of that grace you will never be the same never be the same signs and wonders and uncommon ministry in the name of jesus christ nobody like you lord nobody like you lord that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of Jesus I decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now let me pray over your finances do you know why because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration are we together now it's a cost to spend your life looking for money there are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom i know some of you are trusting god for jobs i know some of you are trusting god for all kinds of liftings but hear me hear me god put the apostolic and the prophetic the realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit so that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect there are occurrences that happen at the instance of time there are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value but there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic in the name of jesus i declare god who has helped me god who has helped this ministry i cry unto god who is called ebenezer receive supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor I open up doors for you in the spirit I open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may God connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of I elevate you to a higher dimension financially hallelujah let me pray for your spiritual life you see listen hold on no matter what you do right if your spiritual life goes wrong your life is wrong did you hear what I said no matter whether you are prospering getting jobs having children if your work with God goes wrong the result is that your entire destiny is wrong I'm about to pray for your spiritual life some of you love the Lord but many things have happened around your life your spiritual life your fire may not be the way it used to be your hunger may not be the way it used to be 
your zeal for the house of God may not be the way it used to be. That lady near the door, the hand of God is coming on her. That's right. I want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down. Father, every spirit of lukewarmness, prayerlessness, wordlessness, I crush that spirit now. Receive fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh passion for spiritual things. May your prayer fire multiply now. The grace to pray, the grace to fast, the grace to intercede. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace to sit down and study. The grace to sit down and study. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every wrong association and wrong relationship that will not promote your spiritual health, I cut you away from it now. Let me pray for those trusting God for jobs. If you are here and you are trusting God for a job, my God, I pray that you will honor this word. In the name that is above all names, prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you help them please we shift systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business here you are losing you are not prospering you are discouraged in the name of Jesus whatever it is that you are involved with I give it life in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for students, undergraduate, postgraduate, in the name of Jesus. The spirit of excellence, the grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements, receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Retentive memory. Exceptional spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural understanding. I release it upon you. Supernatural understanding. All those who are students. Trusting God for accommodation. Trusting God for a destiny helper to help you. You don't have to go around living your life, go around meeting men, meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation. I pray for you. May the mercy of God open up strange doors for you. I pray for everyone here who has a project on ground. Whether building project, whatever kind of project you are on. The hand of Zerubbabel that began that work. I decree and declare that same hand will complete it. Receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of kidnapping. Where someone just leaves his house. And all of a sudden people just come and carry them. Take them somewhere. And now are asking for evil people, asking for ransom, money that if the family had, they will use it to build a house or do something productive. Please hear the prayer. One of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in Christ. It says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side, but none shall harm you. That with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked. I pray for you. Any gang up against you and your loved ones. In the afternoon, in the morning, in the night. Whether through acts of terrorism. Whether through the sword. In the air. On land. In the name of Jesus. It is averted forever. 
converted forever. And I declare over your life, hear me. I declare over your life, anyone who will not let you rest in this season. The Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means. I declare, may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. An age-long captivity can melt overnight. I'm hearing a horn. Really, sincerely, sir. I'm hearing like a horn, like a shofar blowing. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. And you see, in the Bible, every time a shofar blows, is announcing a new season. I'm, I'm telling you this. Believe what I'm saying. This is a prophetic word. I stand by the spirit of grace. And I'm telling you that a new season a new season the bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace i'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace i'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting god for infirmities in your body you see i hope you don't mistake in what i'm doing for pride this is an election of grace. It's the privilege of God's grace. Sir, would you be embarrassed if I talk to you? I'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you. This is what I'm seeing. A door. What do you have to do with music? I'm seeing a door. This was closed by witchcraft. For over 10 years and the Lord is saying here I'm opening it again this is what I'm saying you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace Celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen here. Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. Hallelujah. I assure you that if it's the God of heaven, you will be surprised. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer. There are people today, as it is, there is nothing in your hand. But I give you one month from today, by the God that I serve. Honestly, if God be God, you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now. You will stand on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray a prayer and I want you to bring those people out. There is a grace that God wants to reveal in this meeting. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Please give it to us and then we pray. Exodus chapter 3. Let your hearts be open. Please be prayerful. Don't be distracted. Help us media. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. And I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. I want to pray. There is a grace that is coming upon people. And this grace is for strange dimensions of favor. God wants to shift people. Some of you are representing businesses and families. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help me with the symbol, please. Please, can you just teach him, let him know what to do. In the name of Jesus, right now I declare, Father, even as you have revealed to me, I'm seeing the number 28. 28 people. The hand of God is coming upon them. You are drinking of that grace for favor. Some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones. They prayed for a long time that God should bring them into that dimension. Right now, in the name of Jesus, and at the count of three, may that grace come upon you now. One, two, 
three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the Lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacitire tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout Jesus right now I command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of Jesus Christ I set on fire every altar that is not of God yokes of darkness I declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands Kepakosh in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three 
take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in Abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down I declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out be released now in the name of Jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed, some of you have fasted, you have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest, but please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see, the ears that hear, help this pastor, my goodness, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, in the name of Jesus, step into levels of fire, bring them out, drink of that prophetic well, spring of all wells, in the name of Jesus, hear me, in this season, the borders are rising, there are women of power, women of grace. I'm about to release that grace. Where are the borders? Hear the word of the Lord. I bring a clarion call by the Spirit. At the count of three, may that man to locate you right now. One, two, three. Take that grace. Fire upon your life. Fire upon your ministry. Fire upon the borders. Fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same 
by the spirit of the living God now hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you mateus kani parahasia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door Ephata, be open hidden tita Ephata, be open hidden tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ the bible says and i will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one i stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you Can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way, no way. 
in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of the death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ Let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here, the grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time, but it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy, standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. 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 Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout it self time in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray 
ancestral powers, yokes, spirits, ordinances written in the heavenlies, projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God, to stop results from happening in my life. I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am an heir of salvation. Amen. Therefore, Amen. I decree Amen. and I deploy Amen. the ministry Amen. of angels Amen. to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over Koinonia the angels assigned over Koinonia we release you by the word of God. The angels assigned over God's people. We release you. We release you. We release you. We release you. In the name of Jesus. Bring miracles. Bring signs. Bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen. Let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen. Fear is a dangerous spirit. It stops you from taking God seriously. When God speaks, fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket the 10,000 finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia are you praying tonight don't look around pray 
Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. Fear of marriage, fear of children. Fear of terrorism. after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe lift your hands I want to pray for you I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need I pray for you in the name that is above all names first and foremost even as you have prayed I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus that he will perform his word hastily hastily in the name of Jesus number three I pray for you with all my heart every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you are you listen to the messages help them please for you have not gotten it i speak upon your spirit may an unction shaparatokaya the unction that teaches men things I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus may that light shine upon your spirit May that light, that illumination shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, 
whether you say barrenness impotency whether you call it migraine ss as bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god i tell you i see fire falling on people that's what i see in the spirit fire people are getting healed May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man listen honor is a grace when that grace is not upon you no matter how noble you are you will never be honored honor is a grace and when that grace is on you only God can take it away it says and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable 
many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now you will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life when the grace for honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything 
that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest i compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the presence of god the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the holy ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of jesus everyone here trusting god for a job before this year runs out may god give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that would take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory if we speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself, and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. A sound of worship, a sound of gratitude, a sound of faith, a sound of expectation. Someone blessing the Lord. Heba shala baraku sada branda gada balakusia. One more minute, just bless him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prayer point number one. Please shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every planting that is not of God 
in and around my life in and around my destiny be destroyed right now lift your voice and start praying are you praying? Every planting that is not of God in and around my life, in and around my destiny, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'd like you to pray. He says, as for me and my house, listen, whether your family members are here or not, you are going to stand in faith with them. Lord, as you are visiting me, wherever they are across this room, let the power of God reach them. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. As for me and my house, as for me and my house, as for me and my house. As for me and my house <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 James chapter 4 and verse 3. Apostle James is schooling us in prayer. And he's saying that there is a possibility that men can ask and yet not receive. And he tells us why. Because ordinarily, everyone that asketh should receive. But he's saying there exists a possibility that you can ask and still not receive. He says, because you ask amiss. You ask amiss. Amiss means out of patterns. And the pattern is give us this day. You can't say give me everything. You must mention what you desire. He said, what thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them what things soever ye desire no assumptions give us this day our daily bread are you ready to pray you're going to open your mouth and mention everything or every area you need a visitation no assumption lift your voice and begin to pray let it be from the depth of your heart Lift your voice and pray. He baraka tosh kete praka tete la baka. He bros koto bres kete lekete. No assumption. No assumption. If it's healing in your body, declare it. If it's a yoke that has sat upon your destiny, declare it. Yeah. 
Alléluia. 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 Alleluia. I pray right now for everyone who is in ministry and has not been producing the kind of results that the Bible says should follow or those who have the genuine call of God upon their lives please I want you to bring those under the anointing as I pray this prayer right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I stretch my hands may fire from heaven rest upon individuals let there be an ignition from the realm of the spirit young and old inside and outside i count three one two three take that fire now take that fire now please bring them out very quickly take that fire now in the name of jesus any church that is not growing any man of god who is struggling in ministry I bring you the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ intercessory groups all kinds of platforms that don't seem to be working in the name of Jesus some of you your ministries to your families there are altars that God is raising you to fight and tear down I decree and declare young and old may that power come upon you in the name of Jesus May that power come upon you in the name of Jesus. May that power come upon you in the name of Jesus. May that power come upon you in the name of Jesus. Ministry with evidence, ministry with proof. Go and be a deliverer with fire. Go and be a deliverer. It doesn't matter what yoke has sat upon your destiny and your families. I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be that impartation of grace impartation of fire upon you impartation of power upon you prophetic ministries prophetic ministries prophetic ministries multiplied visions prophetic ministries particularly prophetic ministries whatever has beclouded your vision so that you don't see again so that you don't hear again receive fire upon your destiny fire upon your destiny the hearing ear the seeing eye the hearing ear the seeing eye in the name of jesus let there be an ignition by the power of the holy ghost the lord is speaking to me about prophetic ministries all of you who are out here i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into the grace that has been apportioned for you in the name of jesus step into that grace step into that grace right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, alongside these people, there are a group of people I want to pray for. Please hear me. The Bible says, Saviors shall come out of Zion. Can I tell you, every family, every territory has men and women who have been selected god wants to permeate families and bring deliverance but there are individuals that god must find wherever they are here if you are the one anointed and ordained 
that God will raise you to wipe the tears of your family wherever you are under the sound of my voice at the at the count of three may God locate you it's time for your family to arise may God locate you may God locate you young and old saviors arise by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ arise 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 in the name of Jesus he has nothing to do with gender male or female if God has raised you whether you are a Gideon or Deborah may the power of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ all of you in front i declare by the power of the holy ghost let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now let it be a new season for you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i want to pray a very serious prayer right now and the prayer i'm about to pray is a major prayer can i tell you this truly truly causes are real truly yokes are real embargoes are real yes the power of god is there to deliver but it does not happen automatically this is why you are here i want you to pay attention there are patterns i will never stop praying this prayer there are families under the sound of my voice the same thing everybody faces in the family if it's retrogression it happens to everybody if it's delayed it happens to everybody right now i want to pray at the count of three whether you are inside or outside i like you to shout that name jesus and as you shout the power of the holy ghost will rest marvelously upon you there are spirits that will not let destinies go free great people some of you have traveled abroad and even returned back nothing is changing my bible says therefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of that name every family here having any charm or any cause or any ordinance any fraternity with darkness at the count of three may the fire of the holy ghost land upon that family are you ready to shout at the count of three one two three shout jesus right now yokes causes i break causes generational causes patterns of darkness be destroyed now be destroyed now be destroyed now bring them out be destroyed now in the name of jesus every spirit that will not let you go i decree and declare be delivered now in the matchless name of jesus please bring them out quickly help the ushers whether you are an usher or not please help them hallelujah we are still praying we are still praying the lord is delivering many 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 people right now every altar that is sitting on anybody's life yokes that will not let you go some of you have dreams you go to bed in the night and hear this oppression comes right now by the power of the holy spirit may that fire locate you wherever you are hallelujah please pay attention there is a marvelous work that god is doing here There are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams 
you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb hallelujah hallelujah i want to pray for you because i'm looking at you and i'm seeing fire and the lord wants to bring deliverance to your family you believe that i want to pray for you there's an elderly woman now i'm seeing the power of god come on that elderly woman you are not young i'm seeing the power of god come on you the lord is bringing salvation to your family your prayer has been your children in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but right now i'm seeing power from heaven please bring the person here my my sister let me pray for you very quickly in the name of jesus christ i decree over your life and over your family everything that has a connection to ancestry by the power of the holy spirit let it be gone right now let it be gone right now it will not follow you to your marriage in the name of jesus christ let it be gone right now in the name of jesus and to you please just help them make sure they don't enjoy themselves to you the other lady mabel i stretch my hands in jesus name let there be a supernatural visitation for your family in the name of jesus i decree and declare that everything that is not the planting of the lord let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now in the name of jesus let it give way right now bring for me the person who shouts now in this main auditorium loud under the power of god i just heard that sound in my spirit a loud shout this lady there's a lady that that lady placing her hand on her neck please tap her for me lift your hands i'm seeing fire coming on you and the lord is saying he's removing everything that stands as a barrier i don't know what it is but right now let that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ that barrier is over now in the name of jesus christ that embargo is lifted now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh. hallelujah the power of god is coming on a businessman now i've seen that everything has failed this year you are into real estate or so this is what i'm real estate or something that has to do with land and construction but i'm seeing the power of god rest upon you now and the lord is saying he's rewriting your story is rewriting your story i don't know where that person is but may the power of the holy spirit touch you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus christ wherever please help him wherever you are in the name of jesus let this be the beginning of a new season this man come you this man please come god is about to change your life come What do you do? What do you do? I'm into real estate. You are into real estate. Stand here. God is about to change your life, my friend. You believe in miracles? Believe, oh, please believe. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Oh, there is something called a prophetic advantage. And in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands and I declare, may the power of the Holy Spirit shift you to a new season. 
shift you to a new season every limitation connected to what you do god who located you and i'm using him as a point of contact if there is anyone here that has been grounded in business that the only thing you see is shame and reproach may that embargo be broken now let it be broken now hallelujah why are they here okay i'm going to pray for you why is he here sir who brought him out here your name is jumai oh you just came out on your own it's okay i'll pray with you no problem it's all ah sir look at me don't be ashamed look at me shout jesus as loud as you can jesus let it be over now keep him there in the name of jesus every oppression and every yoke over your life now i'm seeing something that looks like i'm seeing a serpent all around this man i declare right now the power of god is coming on one of you right now i just saw like light Cabrande. Christ God is visiting an ancient altar this is what I'm seeing let it be broken right now now the name of Jesus Christ let it be broken by the power of the Holy Spirit for every one of you who has come out here I'm seeing the Lord bringing I'm seeing this map I always see now and I'm seeing Nasarawa state nasarawa state the power of god is visiting families from nasarawa state this is what i'm saying i stretch my hands right now the power of god is going to begin to come upon families there are yokes connected to those regions i declare right now every altar let there be deliverance right now in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now in the name of jesus let there be deliverance right now i break those yokes i break those yokes in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are here madam please lift your hands look at me shame and reproach that's what i'm hearing and reproach let it leave you now never to return to you in the name of jesus christ that connects you to the dead dead like dead people i'm praying this and this is not just for her i'm seeing the number one seven that everything that connects people to dead people they come to you in your dreams when you are sleeping calling you they won't let you rest this is the spirit of death over families I'm, I'm going to pray for you mama but I'm using it as a point of contact please take what I'm saying seriously if there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death right now I declare as I'm praying for our mother here may that that arrow that has been sent to that family let it return back to any devil that sent it let it return let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it let it return to every devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ i pray for you mama right now i stretch my hands let there be a miracle i separate you from the spirit of death in the name of jesus and all of you who are in front here for whatever reason you are out in jesus name may god give you a visitation may god give you a visitation by the power of the holy spirit i'm telling you i sense such a strong healing anointing i know that god wants to really really heal the sick we'll hurry up so that we'll start ministering to the sick but i want to pray please stop this woman for me this mama please don't be embarrassed man lift your hands i want to pray for you please stand up stand up the lord wants to remove reproach where are you coming from ma? 
don't don't cry madam don't worry you are you are here before the lord you see sometimes you may not know what kind of oppression people go through you see people laughing clapping hands lifting holy hands but there are people who are standing it's like they are standing on hot coals while they worship the lord hallelujah let me pray for you madam in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you you were going and the lord said i should stop you i declare that shame and reproach over your family and over your own life the spirit i want to pray here there is a spirit that makes people to be misunderstood where your evil becomes good your good becomes evil or there are people here it has happened to many people even in their workplace you do good things but people misinterpret what you are doing you know when bishop oyedeko started ministry of father and the lord this is what he said that one time they were praying and the church was not growing and he said the lord asked them please help those under the anointing it's a serious prayer i want to pray now he said that the holy spirit asked him to come out and he stood and he looked up and in a vision he saw a thick layer of darkness and he said this is the blindfolding demon that misunderstands what you are doing and he says now rebuke it and he rebuked it and it folded and went and he produced a poster he said come and see and that was it i want to pray for someone here the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of i pray for you if there is any manipulation over your destiny that makes every good thing you do to be misunderstood i break that spirit from off your life now i cut that spirit away from your destiny now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam i declare this is your don't cry this is your liberty right now by the power of the holy spirit i'm seeing a family my god ah you are the only child not like maybe male or female you are the only child in that family and i'm seeing the spirit of hardship the lord wants to bring deliverance to that family right now right now in the name of jesus i don't know who that is if 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 there is someone like that please let me know i want to pray for you you are you are the only child only child you are the only child i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ only child i want to pray in the name of jesus please stretch your hands towards me i decree and declare the embargo of hardship and suffering and everything that has kept your please make sure you are coming out for this situation this situation don't just come out at random i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare honestly the power of god is coming on you in the mighty name of jesus every connection with yokes of ancestry let it be broken now 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 every yoke sitting on your destiny that you will not move forward i prophesy to you advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus only child paranda skadi lakotosia advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus advance in the name of jesus can you imagine only child everyone here I'm praying let them go release their destinies now I'm praying for everybody but there are two people particularly here in front I'm praying this prayer for release their destinies right now release their destinies right now 
release their destinies right now in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus release your destinies right now everything holding you down tying you down be delivered in the name of Jesus hallelujah let this be permanent in your life and I pray for you out of you that looks like you are the only one may nations arise 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 in the name of Jesus please look up many years ago I'm about to pray for the sick I was caught up in the realm of the spirit and I had a vision it was like it was locked down and when I was there I saw people who were very sick people who were, some of them were lying down stretchers and when I looked at it a voice spoke to me from that vision and he says go and heal them all and from that time till forever God has not left himself a witness please hear me some of you are standing here for yourself you are standing here for your loved ones I want you to believe that God is a miracle worker within the few minutes we have here's what we're going to do very quickly some of you already this mass ministration has brought all kinds of healing for you I believe in miracles I have experienced the healing power of Jesus myself in my own life please lay your hands right now those who are watching from your homes this is a time to receive he is healer lay your hands everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest if you're standing in for someone or with someone go ahead and make that contact everywhere outside make sure you participate please believe God for healing of anything and everything Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For you are God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah father you anointed us to be extensions of your healing power to the nations and right now i pray over your people many have come desiring to receive many have come desiring to be healed of all kinds of diseases and sicknesses the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and even with power and it says he went about doing good and healing they that were oppressed right now i decree and declare everyone here who is oppressed i command the spirit that is back of any infirmity to be gone now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus now in the name of jesus i declare be healed in jesus name my god already i'm seeing the lord heal someone's someone's limbs i don't know if you're on a wheelchair or you're on crutches but a miracle is happening right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now i decree and declare pain on the head severe migraines the lord is healing right now pain around the joint areas all around the arm in the name of jesus let there be a miracle right now now hear me every cancer cancer or any kind of cancerous growth we curse you now in the name of jesus hiv aids be healed in the name of jesus everyone who cannot see in the name of jesus partial or total blindness 
I command that eyes to open now in Jesus name anyone who cannot walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus name there are many people connected from several hospitals I decree and declare in the name of Jesus let the power of God from here through the airwaves let it come upon you and bring you life heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus growths around the body anywhere around the body we command you to give way right now in Jesus name there's someone you are having severe pain you've gone to the hospital it's like they said something is happening to your I don't know if it's your nerves or just the bones around your spine right now I'm declaring to you let the healing power of Jesus touch you now someone you have like a skin infection I'm seeing several things are happening around your skin it's, it's not necessarily lack of hygiene is that something has happened I don't know some demonic thing I declare let there be healing for you right now the Lord is showing me people just the throat area it looks like you swallowed something but it has refused to pass down and it's terribly discomforting the power of God is touching you right now every pain around the chest area be healed right now there's there's a lady the power of God is touching a lady you have a lump in fact multiple lumps on the left side of your breast but as I'm praying for you the power of God is touching you right now that devil leaves your body forever in the name of Jesus Christ ha, this is interesting the Lord is healing a man of impotency in the name of Jesus Christ I speak it by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be supernatural healing for you right now let there be supernatural healing for you right now regardless the medical report we change it now in the name of Jesus someone's left ear someone's left ear in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost the Lord is speaking to me that there is someone you are having the early stages of prostrate prostrate cancer you are a man in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit wherever you are let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now movement around the body I'm seeing someone having movement sometimes you literally feel like something is moving around your body help them please help her I command that devil to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ What is that condition where you cannot sleep? In the name of Jesus Christ, apnea, sleep apnea. I'm seeing at least three people having that condition, just rolling, rolling on the bed, but never getting to sleep. You are unable to sleep, even if it's for an hour. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, whether in this auditorium or outside, I declare be healed right now. Be healed right now someone just around your wrist the Lord is bringing a miracle for you I don't know if it's that you was it a, 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 a some kind of injury or whatever it is I want you to check it right now the power of the Holy Spirit is stepping upon you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who has like malaria or typhoid you've treated it again and again and it has refused to go in fact you came here feeling so sick right now I'm praying for you may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ now any pain around the bone region whether neck hand the the waist area I declare may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now be healed in the name of Jesus someone you are having a problem with your nostrils it's like you don't smell completely or is that you don't smell well in the name of Jesus Christ I am praying for you may the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you now 
there's someone's child here i'm seeing like like it looks like bipolar you know acting as like madness sometimes a person just begins to talk i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit let there be healing for that person right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle right now by the power of the holy spirit and any condition whether i mention it or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me i'm seeing someone your child has autism autism in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit may the anointing rest upon that child right now let there be a supernatural miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing like a picture of a woman's womb and instead of seeing a child there i'm seeing like a big mast i'm not a doctor just resting there in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the name of what is there by the power that raised christ from the dead we command that devil to go out of that womb now we command that devil to leave that womb now in the name of jesus christ therefore be healed from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name in the name of jesus christ now let me speak over your life i truly believe in the power of prophecy every financial door i just sense in my heart to pray if you don't believe it don't worry wait for what you believe that i'm talking about then you receive but i pray right now every financial door that has been closed over everyone here in the name of jesus causing all kinds of constraints and inconveniences in the name of jesus let that door be open now financial doors be open now financial doors be open now for individuals for institutions for families financial doors be open now so that you will have supplies that will give you the opportunity to focus on your work with god and your destiny again i pray that those doors be opened now hear me anyone here who is in any kind of debt personal debt corporate debt in the name of jesus the son of the living god by the power that raised christ up from the dead come out of that situation now everyone who has promised to help you and has forgotten about you in the name of jesus right now i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning you let the book of remembrance be open concerning you hallelujah there is a garment of favor that an individual can wear and you can wear and move and everything around you will attest to the fact that you carry that garment every garment of shame and reproach prophetically i remove it from you right now and i decree and declare for your shame may god grant you access to the garment of favor favor in the city favor in the country favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please help them i want to pray if there is any addiction that the devil is using to trap you because many people's finances go because of all kinds of addiction i decree and declare right now any addiction that is trapping your life trapping your destiny the power of that addiction over your life let it be broken now 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 we believe in winning families 
any family here that is under siege troubles every day joblessness weakness death in the name that is above all names i speak over every family here represented step into a new season of favor i pray for your spiritual life because you see no matter what else works in your life if your prayer life your word life your passion for god and for the things of god if it goes down everything went down therefore i decree in the name of jesus for someone's prayer life here that is yet to catch fire i release my faith with you from tonight spiritual laziness that will not allow you pray that will not allow you fast that will not allow you study scripture in the name of jesus we declare the spirit that is behind it let it live your life now i declare fresh fire over your spirit man fire for prayer fire for word study fire for fellowship in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus who is the lifter of men i decree and declare in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder may the lifter of men lift you may the lifter of men lift you you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you will never be the same you've touched this grace hallelujah i want to pray for you i'm not a prophet of doom this is the house of god i'm looking at you and i'm seeing snakes from head to toe this is what i'm seeing all around you the bible this is the house of god if we cannot solve problems supernaturally we are wasting our time here sir i'm saying it to you in the open by prophecy the same way you are standing here this is the same way you will stand here your life will change in a way that will surprise you i stretch my hand take that grace in the name of jesus let it open you to new dimensions in the name of jesus every legal basis upon which the devil is oppressing you and your business i come by the blood of jesus and i declare it is over right now hallelujah can i pray for you in the name of jesus christ for you and for your family members right now every power that will not let you go here in the house of god i declare by the spirit of god a new chapter opens for your family now a new chapter opens for your family now hallelujah my friend under the anointing the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous therefore i speak to you everything that has stolen away your joy and your testimony as a family i command it to let you go now in the name of jesus let me pray miscarriage i want to pray don't worry i'll pray for you wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name something is coming on your wife it's over now now two of you over now i'm seeing a spirit that is back of her miscarriage i challenge you by the god of heaven let her go now let me pray for you father i stretch my hands ah, i'm seeing fire leaving my hands 
I'm just coming on you. Everything that will not let you be fruitful is a command. Whatever will want you to disobey that command. I open up your wounds in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life I decree and declare return with your miracle children regardless the medical report we stand by the God of heaven and we declare oppression in the area of fruitfulness come to end now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing horns and the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free some of you has been so for long but except God did not send us I tell you those altars will not last to this service just keep your hands on your head father in the name of Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head release that family all of them release that family not just one person release that family this is a whole family under bondage release them release them release them now release them now father mother siblings release them in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a family no one gives birth fruitfulness is a challenge the Lord is releasing that family right now in the name of Jesus Christ this is koinonia every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place i command that spirit to give way right now with the name of jesus i command that spirit to give way in the name of jesus this change that I see on people's feet it's time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of Jesus I take authority over it I take authority over it hallelujah i stretch my hands and i declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family we minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ and for all of you who are out here by the spirit i open up every closed door right now and in the name of jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of jesus christ ah, one more time whatever will not let you go i call on my god who is also your god may he clear them out of the way may he clear them out of your way may he clear them out of your way every obstacle that will not let you advance i call on my god to clear them out of your way i speak unto you an unusual anointing that will step you into encounters with the holy ghost receive it right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen a dimension of unction that you have never functioned in 
in the name that is above all names i prophesy that this year you will ride upon a river an unction that will take you to superior levels in the spirit oh i command it to be so in the spirit i command it to be so in the spirit i pray for you the mark of favor that can come upon a man and produce uncommon access in the name that is above all names may that mark come upon your life right now i prophesy to you may that mark come upon your life right now may that mark come upon your life right now listen honor is an anointing there is an anointing that can come upon a man and make him honorable he says and Jabez was more honorable that anointing that makes men honorable i release it upon you right now receive that anointing for honor uncommon honor god will position men to celebrate your grace they will appreciate you they will sow into your grace i pray for you this year may the spirit of revelation illumination and insight into the mysteries and the oppression of the kingdom i release it upon you right now oh eyes to see eyes to see i release it upon you on common dimension of access to spiritual realities i release it upon you like a mantle in the name of the lord jesus my goodness there are strange impartations strong impartations that are happening to people by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release impartations of this unction the spirit of revelation strange levels of access in the spirit i open to you fountains fountains of light in the spirit i open you up to mysteries i open you up to mysteries in the name of jesus i open you up to mysteries strange operations of mysteries hallelujah hear me every person who you must connect to to rise wherever they are i'm prophesying to you please believe me from the north to the south the east and the west every anointing every grace you must connect to to rise i release access to you in the name of jesus access to people access to anointings access to opportunities in the name of jesus oh connect with influential people i release that anointing upon you receive it connect to influential people receive it right now influence influence i stand upon this apostolic office and i prophesy supernatural influence connect to people in government connect to people everywhere in the name of jesus they will listen to you when you speak they will rise up to help you rise up for you every door that refused to open it in the name of jesus under this multiplied grace we compel that door to open in the name of jesus every door 
that refuse to open every obstacle that refuse to let you go right now in the name of jesus i command that door open now open now hear me i prophesy to your loved ones this year we force results in your family hear me again this year we command results in your family may the angel that has been assigned to koinonia the angels that have been dispatched to honor this prophetic word may they go to every family and begin to cause the word of god to come alive listen some of you it will not reach 24 hours your result will start coming believe me it will not reach 24 hours your results will start coming dramatic results listen koinonia you will hear testimonies this year that will make you afraid people will come and stand here and you would think they are lying because of the breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough receive it in the name of jesus christ i bless the work of your hands this year may an anointing come upon it in the name of jesus for students i pray a level of grace and ease that you have never seen a level of superior intelligence i release it upon you right now i release it upon you right now listen for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations five verse seven please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up lamentations chapter five verse seven our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed, i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal God. Koinonia, you pray alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you S.S. that made you A.S. that gave you hepatitis lift your hands i want to pray for you if god be god everything that you're carrying i don't care whether it's self-inflicted you have invoked the blood the blood provokes the compassion of the christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day 
that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that I stretch my hands right now let it be Shabbos Kupadabash in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God inside outside I stretch my hands be free right now be free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now from activities of witchcraft hallelujah demonic activities strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body I pray right now in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of Jesus I command freedom I command liberty I command freedom I command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ he said the earth is cursed for your sake it says with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 he says and if ye be Christ's then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise I want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship many people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as I pray and right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I stretch my hands right now I command that you be taken from off your shoulder help them please. be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of Jesus I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark secreto shalakras katapadiasha lebren tekes kotapras katalia any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of Jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any stranger
healing sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now. A tearing down and a rebuilding now. I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and the bible says elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to Jezreel. i want to speak speed in your life i don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of god for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore i command speed step into it right now in the name of jesus i command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess is an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have
have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate i want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like mara the water you will pick it and in the name of jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now soto sota leke to a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of jesus may your presence your presence in your home your presence in your office your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because your gathering is not of god there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of god receive it now in the name of jesus I declare that from now step into a season of joy and laughter step into a season of joy and laughter it says you have turned my morning into dancing my sorrow to joy I, I I call to end the days of sorrow I call to end the days of mourning I appoint unto you a new season of laughter In the name of Jesus, whatever represents stagnation in your life that will not let you move forward, I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. I break you from whatever is stopping your advancement. And in the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In your career, go forward. In ministry, go forward. In business, go forward. In your academics, go forward. Hallelujah. I prayed over a church yesterday where I ministered the grace for visibility. The Bible says you are a city that is set on a hill. You see, one of the ways that God brings honor to you is to give you visibility. Visibility means he gives you an exalted platform where your gift, your grace, and your value can be discerned, can be engaged, and can be rewarded. We all need this in our lives. There are many gifted people without a platform that gives them visibility. When it was time for Jesus to enter into Jerusalem, he didn't say, well, I'm king of kings. He said, bring a donkey. I need something that elevates me. So that in that exalted position, I can have a triumphant entry. A triumphant entry cannot happen when your feet is still on the ground. It needs to be exalted. I prophesy to someone, in the name of Jesus, in this season, the supernatural platform that God would have to give your ministry, your business, to give you multiplied visibility. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Some of you here are in ministry and you love the Lord with all your heart. But the truth is that the current level of grace you carry, you have the work that now is before you, you will need a higher level of grace. The level of grace that you now have, you will not be able to do much. Our possibilities are governed, among many other factors, 
by the quality and the dimension of grace that is upon us so grace and peace is multiplied i pray for you everyone here who is in the work of the ministry and you are experiencing limitation maybe there's no church growth maybe resources there are no destiny helpers in the name of jesus christ step into a new season of impact i place a grace upon you step into a new season of impact in the name of jesus christ can i pray for our families we are advocates of the corporate prosperity of both individuals and families because you see if you rise and you are experiencing god alone you are still not free the anointing is coming on this lady you bringing to end everything that is not of the christ listen do you know let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit for every word that i utter you are just saying amen but you see this is what happens every word the sound you see enters your ears and stops there but the anointing that is on the sound rests on your head and begins to make your life are you seeing that now it makes your life to respond in a way and manner that must make that prophetic word come to pass so don't just shout amen like you do to a preacher what is happening is that there are layers and layers of spiritual things on your head layers so when you leave you are living with layers of possibilities and you find out that things begin to shift in your life this gentleman i don't know who you are come your life is about to change stand up where are you coming from from taraba god will use you greatly take that fire take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same pick him up in the name of jesus serve god with sincerity serve god with integrity bring him closer there is something he's receiving i impart upon you the grace for signs and wonders multiplied influence visibility in the name of jesus christ go and do exploits for the kingdom this lady come run come receive that grace it will turn you into a sign and a wonder i ignite that prophetic fire within your spirit receive of that grace you will never be the same never be the same signs and wonders and uncommon ministry in the name of jesus christ nobody like you lord nobody like you lord that has refused to shift over your life and your destiny in the name of jesus i decree and declare over you that mountain be taken from off you right now that mountain be taken from off you right now let me pray over your finances do you know why because there is something lack of resources can do to your focus and your concentration are we together now it's a cost to spend your life looking for money there are things you will not be able to do for the kingdom I know some of you are trusting God for jobs I know some of you are trusting God for all kinds of liftings but hear me hear me God put the apostolic and the prophetic the realm of the spirit is an advantage to your pursuit so that there are occurrences that happen at the instance of intellect there are occurrences that happen at the instance of time there are occurrences that happen at the instance of your value but there are occurrences that happen at the instance of the prophetic in the name of jesus 
I declare God who has helped me God who has helped this ministry I cry unto God who is called Ebenezer receive supernatural financial favor supernatural financial favor I open up doors for you in the spirit I open up doors for you doors of opportunity doors of favor may God connect you to people connect you to platforms connect you to opportunities for your lifting in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I truly speak over your life by the spirit of grace between now and the end of I elevate you to a higher dimension financially hallelujah let me pray for your spiritual life you see listen hold on no matter what you do right if your spiritual life goes wrong your life is wrong did you hear what i said no matter whether you are prospering getting jobs having children if your work with god goes wrong the result is that your entire destiny is wrong I'm about to pray for your spiritual life. Some of you love the Lord, but many things have happened around your life, your spiritual life. Your fire may not be the way it used to be. Your hunger may not be the way it used to be. Your zeal for the house of God may not be the way it used to be. That lady near the door, the hand of God is coming on her. That's right. I want to pray for you that the fire upon your altar will not go down. Father, every spirit of lukewarmness, prayerlessness, wordlessness, I crush that spirit now. Receive fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh hunger for the things of God. Fresh passion for spiritual things. May your prayer fire multiply now. The grace to pray, the grace to fast, the grace to intercede. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace to sit down and study. The grace to sit down and study. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Every wrong association and wrong relationship that will not promote your spiritual health, I cut you away from it now. Let me pray for those trusting God for jobs. If you are here and you are trusting God for a job, my God, I pray that you will honor this word. In the name that is above all names, prophetically we shift systems and structures and we create space for you help them please we shift systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ every dying business here you are losing you are not prospering you are discouraged in the name of Jesus whatever it is that you are involved with I give it life in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for students, undergraduate, postgraduate, in the name of Jesus. The spirit of excellence, the grace that makes for extraordinary academic achievements, receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Retentive memory. Exceptional spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural understanding. I release it upon you. Supernatural understanding. All those who are students. Trusting God for accommodation. Trusting God for a destiny helper to help you. You don't have to go around living your life, go around meeting men, meeting women because you are trying to raise money for accommodation. I pray for you. 
May the mercy of God open up strange doors for you. I pray for everyone here who has a project on ground, whether building project, whatever kind of project you are on, the hand of Zerubbabel that began that work, I decree and declare that same hand will complete it. Receive the finisher's anointing. Receive the finisher's anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of kidnapping, where someone just leaves his house and all of a sudden people just come and carry them take them somewhere and now are asking for evil people asking for ransom money that if the family had they will use it to build a house or do something productive please hear the prayer one of the blessings of the prophetic is to establish the security that is in christ it says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side but none shall harm you that with your eyes shall you see and behold even the reward of the wicked i pray for you any gang up against you and your loved ones in the afternoon in the morning in the night whether through acts of terrorism whether through the sword in the air on land in the name of Jesus, it is averted forever. Averted forever. And I declare over your life, hear me. I declare over your life, anyone who will not let you rest in this season. The Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means. I declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of jesus christ we and declare hear me that any voice that speaks against you until now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i declare that voice is silence forever silence forever in the name of jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, whether in ministry, whether in business, whatever area of your life, I stand by the grace of God and I declare, walk under open heavens. Walk under open heavens. I speak open heavens for ministry, open heavens for career. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, for those of you that God will honor to be in the ministry, I strengthen your hands. Make maximum impact by the Spirit. Signs and wonders. The accurate communication of the Word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Regardless of your background, I forbid you from being ignored in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has refused to work in your life by this grace that you have received, I command it to begin to work in the name of Jesus. May your eyes be opened, access to illumination by the Spirit. I declare that the Holy Spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces allocated for your offices may you step into those graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says he shall be like a tree 
that is planted by the streams of water. Every one is allocated to a spiritual family. This is a tribe and a family. And there are possibilities that come with this family. Every grace that has been deposited by covenant, signified by the angel of his presence, may it work for you in the name of Jesus. May it work for you in the name of Jesus. I command that it works for you in the name of Jesus. And I will multiply them, they will not be few. And I will glorify them, they will not be small. I speak that prophecy over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The last prayer I will pray for you for is the gift of men. The grace. The Bible says the Lord sent the word, but great be the company of them that publish it. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west that every project, every advocacy that your life proposes, may men rise up to support you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will become an epistle of the wonder-working power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray even for these ones and I decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience, the kind of results that follow submission, the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names, may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your grace will not be ignored. Your relevance will not be ignored. Therefore, in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son and the Spirit, I decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of God. In the mighty name of Jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here. May that grace rest upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions, wonder-walking dimensions of results, may that grace rest upon your life. I speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of jesus christ access to kings in the name of jesus christ i have sent before you an open door i decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now thank you Lord Jesus every man who must honor and recognize what you carry I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October I command someone must celebrate your grace someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty in the name of Jesus I compel men to discern the grace upon your life I compel men to 
will descend the hand of God upon you. I compel men to descend the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. I speak wine and oil to your treasury. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessings. Let me pray for you. Multiply visions and spiritual experiences. me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying. No. Every utterance is backed by the throne. I'm not speaking as a man. When God calls men, he backs them. And that every door you must enter in this season. Because we advance through the entrance of doors. I speak to that door. Let it be open for you now. Let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory Rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace I may be a young man but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see I want you to believe it you have taken all the shame You've taken all disappointments You've taken all the pain You've taken all my sorrows You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears You've taken all my weakness Nina Yimaka don't don't sing i'm praying for you you've taken all my sadness you've taken all my weakness you've taken all my limitations you've taken all my poverty 
You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my sorrow. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my struggles. You've taken all my fears. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my mountains. You've taken all those mountains. You've taken all my mountains. I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you, I give you, Lord, for everything you've done in my life. Lord, I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you. I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper i release it from the depth of my spirit the lord has given me uncommon honor and influence honor is a mantle it can be put on people I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. Strength honor. Grace for influence. I know our time is gone but just pay attention you are receiving something that will change your life I decree and declare there is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise there is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere I prophesy to you let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces. Encounters of angels, encounters with the realm of the spirit. I open you up to a water in the realm of the spirit. Begin to have encounters from today. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Visitations of angels. Visitations of the spirit. Visitations in visions. Visitations in dreams. Listen, a lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions, I receive impartations.
I have met with the saints the spirits of just men made this is not diabolism I have received from men in the flesh but I've received from men in the spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit every mantle every grace that must make the supernatural begin to walk in your life receive it right now in the name of Jesus hear me everyone in ministry here from today I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders strange signs and wonders strange signs a performance a performance of the word hallelujah I pray for everyone here called into the area of business called into the area of finances or anyone trusting God to live to there is a grace that establishes men I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen I've shared with you the story I don't talk too much about myself Hallelujah. It was last year, right here. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. I never saw it once till I got it. There is a grace that empowers men. You better believe it. I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names. I prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your certificate, enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your job, enter into prepared blessings. One of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection. There are many of you, the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today, I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Water to shame may help arise for you. The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that would take you two days will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. He must land on someone. He may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Hear me. Whoever fights you in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't know 
know what has left your life you are crying till now because it looks like when you miss that thing you miss everything Jacob's scatter Mantes Calabria Takososia Jebreze Sutos Comaria Takata Ebreze Sekete Kete Rekete Rekoto Shopokoto Ebratas Calapa Shakia Mareke Tosco de Sekete Kete Ebretoko Belekete Everything that left your life in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy I call it back to your life right now I call it back to your life right now I call it back to your life right now Hallelujah and for everyone who is a worker in this place in the name of Jesus I decree to you let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands. Because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, 
everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah please lift your hands as i prophesy everyone I have grown to respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you will prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here, trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus, may the faith of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands I don't care what it is I'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that same voice that called Lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now
Hallelujah. Every spirit that torments you and your family in any way, in dreams, in visions, I declare right now, they are silenced forever in your life. They are silenced forever in your life. Anyone trusting God for a job, or you are standing in for someone, trusting God for a job, hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus, the same way they are lifted above your head, that's how they be lifted above joblessness. In the name of Jesus, I release jobs by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the Lord God of Israel, I command that veil be torn into pieces. Every one of your family members that has been locked up by Satan and stagnated in one place, we release them right now. 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 Them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death, the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate Christmas in tears. We come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of Jesus. Death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Death is cancelled in the name of Jesus. I pray for every business in this place. Every business, every shop, every enterprise. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive the strength of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Between now and next week, Koinonia, I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your spiritual life. Whatever has died in your life spiritually, I command a restoration right now. Restoration of prayer life. Restoration of word life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the 
depths we release the inside in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ for those of you that god will honor to be in the ministry i strengthen your hands make maximum impact by the spirit signs and wonders the accurate communication of the word of god in the name of jesus christ i declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation in the name of jesus christ regardless of your background i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ everything that has refused to walk in your life by this grace that you have received i command it to begin to walk in the name of jesus may your eyes be open access to illumination by the spirit i declare that the holy spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces are located for your offices may you step into those graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water everyone is allocated to a spiritual family this is a tribe and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and I will multiply them they will not be few and i will glorify them they will not be small i speak that prophecy over your life in the name of jesus christ the last prayer i will pray for you for is the gift of men the grace the bible says the lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you 
in the name of Jesus Christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of God in the mighty name of Jesus father I pray even for these ones and I decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of Jesus I declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of God the Father the name of God the Son and the Spirit I decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of God in the mighty name of Jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life I speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ I have set before you an open door I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man influence is not a carnal desire it is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life in the name of Jesus the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now the grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now thank you Lord Jesus every man who must honor and recognize what you carry I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October I command someone must celebrate your grace someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty in the name of Jesus I compel men to discern the grace upon your life I compel men to discern the hand of God upon you I compel men to discern the unction upon you Father we thank you for tonight let the name of the Lord be praised let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances please allow me pray it God sees my heart God sees how much I pray for you every time there is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into and the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you I pray for you in the name of Jesus the wealth that comes by prophecy I speak to your life carry that grace now 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty I speak wine and oil to your treasury in the mighty name of Jesus Christ
the kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them legislate on behalf of the kingdom may the grace for that favor rest upon you enter into prepared blessings let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying no every utterance is part by the throne I'm not speaking as a man when God calls men he backs them And that every door you must enter in this season because we advance through the entrance of doors i speak to that door let it be open for you now let it be open for you now indeed it will be said about us that we are a people that the lord has helped marvelously helped like uzziah in the name of Jesus father we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace we will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace I may be a young man, but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see. I want you to believe it. You have taken all the shame. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears You've taken all my weakness Nina Imaka Nina Imaka Sujana Nina Imaka Nina Imaka Don't don't sing I'm praying for you You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my poverty. You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my sorrow. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my struggles. You've taken all my fears. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my mountains. You've taken all those mountains. You've taken all my mountains. I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise I give you I give you Lord for everything you've done in my life Lord I give you I give you I give you 
my highest praise I give to you. Say la la ma, say la 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 de. I pray for you. The power to prosper. There is such a grace called the anointing to prosper. I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle. You have been part of this ministry. You have been part of this vision. From the depth of my spirit, I release that mantle on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. I release it from the depth of my spirit. The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle. It can be put on people. I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now, as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. Strength on I know our time is gone, but just pay attention. You are receiving something that will change your life. I decree and declare. There is no time in my life where I have needed help us and men did not rise. There is a grace that can bring help us from anywhere. I prophesy to you. Let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces. Encounters of angels. Encounters with the realm of the spirit. I open you up to a water in the realm of the spirit. Begin to have encounters from today. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Visitations of angels. Visitations of the spirit. Visitations in visions. Visitations in dreams. May they bring you scriptures. May they bring you revelation. Listen. A lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions. I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of just men. This is not diabolism. I have received from men in the flesh. But I have received from men in the spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Every mantle. Every grace. That must make the supernatural begin to work in your life. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Everyone in ministry here from today, I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders. Strange signs. A performance. A performance of the world. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here called into the area of business, called into the area of finances, or anyone trusting God to lift you. There is a grace that establishes men. I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, between now and the next 60 days, rise to a level you have never seen in your life. Rise to a level you have never seen in your life. 
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I've shared with you the story. I don't talk too much about myself. Hallelujah. It was last year, right here. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. I never saw it once till I got it. There is a grace that empowers men. You better believe it. I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names. I prophesy to you. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your certificate, enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your job, enter into prepared blessings. One of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection. There are many of you, the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today, I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Water to shame may help arise for you. The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that will take you two days will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. He must land on someone. He may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I'm praying. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Hear me. Whoever fights you, in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't know what has left your life. You are crying till now. Because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Jacob's kata, Mantes Calabria Tacososia, Jebres Sutos Copaia Tacata, Epre de Sekete Kete Regete, Recoto Shopokotos, Epratas Calapa Shatia, Mareke Toscote Sekete Kete, Epre Tocoto Perekete. Everything that left your life in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy, I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. I call it back to your life right now. Hallelujah. And for everyone who is a worker in this place, in the name of Jesus. I decree to you, let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put, it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare, may this grace speak bodily now. 
bottle it now, bottle it now, let it answer now to your life. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands. Because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, shekatatata, reketeketa, everything that has died in your hands. I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now Hallelujah. Every spirit that torments you and your family in any way, in dreams, in visions, I declare right now, they are silenced forever in your life. They are silenced forever in your life.
anyone trusting God for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting God for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they be lifted above joblessness in the name of Jesus I release jobs by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the Lord God of Israel I command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by Satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate Christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of Jesus death is cancelled in the name of Jesus death is cancelled in the name of Jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ our next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command the restoration right now Restoration of prayer life. Restoration of word life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every discouragement in your life. And every voice that keeps speaking to you. That you will never make it. Any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed. We silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you God can be celebrated in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you in one minute I'd I like you to just open your mouth and declare your expectation tonight you're talking to Jesus Hmm. 
you're talking to the miracle walker you're talking to the helper you're talking to the all-powerful all-knowing you're talking to the one who was is is to come we worship you go ahead declare father lift me change my story when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream someone with faith is praying someone who believes in jesus is praying someone who knows god is all powerful is praying This is part of the service you're not wasting your time believe me there is a god that can lead if god does not lift you no man can lift you if god does not heal you nobody can heal you if god does not honor you nobody can honor you hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe in Jesus. I really, truly believe in Jesus. And I believe in everything that he represents. I believe he's a miracle worker. He will never call you to waste your time. No. Many of you have cried. You have come with hearts open. You must believe the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe hebrews 11 and 6 that he exists and then that he is the rewarder not of them who are careless around his presence of them that diligently seek him you seek god carelessly you will not find him there is a law ye shall seek me and only find me when you search for me with all your heart Please, in one minute, I'd like you to insist, I will never go back the same. Never, never. Not with this challenge, I will never go back the same. Never go back the same. Halaba, shalabra, degete, bakatusia. Never go back the same. How else will the nations know that I met him? I will never go back the same. When Moses encountered him, he did not go back the same. Some of you are in ministry here. Pray, I will never go back the same. That I will contact the grace that will take me to another dimension. Some of you are in business here. I will never be the same. Politicians, career people, family people. hallelujah I I saw like lightning and when I saw it I saw a spirit coming down and I saw written on it anger and the Lord said that this spirit you see has stopped many people from stepping into prophecy and the Lord told me that when I come even before we do any exhortation there is a wicked spirit called anger many of you may not know anger has nothing to do with being good or bad but it is a killer and a closer of open doors this is koinonia in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hands by the election of grace and i declare everyone here and every family here that has been kept down because of the spirit of anger right now at the count of three in this overflow this main auditorium i want you to bring all of them out all the overflows down to the basement outside from any nation at the count of three in the name of jesus this spirit of anger it must get out of your life right now are you ready one shalakataba two 
free now out of their lives bring them out out of their lives every altar sponsoring the spirit of anger to destroy you it has destroyed relationships destroyed opportunities bring them out right now i decree and declare anger be gone you are a spirit 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 bring them out anger some of you it is whole families is a spirit when you are angry you make dangerous destiny altering decisions be free right now it has nothing to do with being good or bad my brothers and my sisters the lord brought you here to set you free are you just watching or you are praying everyone pray everything that represents anger in my life my destiny i come against it by the blood of the eternal covenant many would have been millionaires except that anger stopped them many would have risen to great positions anger dangerous spirit Please pray. This is Koinonia. Skeparakato shaladaga teparanda kata pradega deke tebo. Sato pronto koto preta kete leka parias kata. Now the Lord is that spirit. 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 And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I tell you, there is no power that is not of the Christ that will survive tonight's service. We are still praying. I still declare. Some of you are representing families. The power of God is not just coming on you for yourself. It's coming on you for your entire family. You have been kept down because of the spirit of anger. Again, I declare in the name of Jesus, anyone here under the captivity of the spirit of anger, be delivered now. 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 The labaru sadele ke parusa kata branda gada kala haske deba. Shabete ke te kutas ka branda ke baru husu kato balaka ta branda ke deke deba lakata. Shadakata pakata branda ke te protas ke deba lekutos ki apata. For those who are in front here and all and all the overflows, I declare for those of you who have come out by the spirit here, that spirit, hear my voice. I speak by the rod of a higher priesthood. Let them go now. Leave their families now. Leave their destinies now. Leave their families now. In the name of Jesus please pay attention I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now for those of you who things never stay in your hands it does not matter what blessing comes there is an evil spirit that takes any good thing from your life any good thing you are connected to people who can lift you you're connected to opportunities that can raise you but nothing seems to stay there is a grace that can bring deliverance from losses listen to me it says and i will restore the years i want to pray don't just come out at random people are coming out by the spirit please this prayer take it serious you've lost opportunities some of you have lost time you've lost resources you've lost strategic relationships right now at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that name that is above every other name and if god be god in this house tonight there is no power that has kept you that will survive are you ready one two three shout jesus i command restoration every devil help them help them bring them out every spirit 
that has stolen things from you. Harun Sketa Prakato Sketa Legata. Help them, please. My God, my goodness. Shata Kata Prakato Sketa Branda Kata Kadiata. Restoration. Restoration, restoration, restoration of spiritual fire, restoration of opportunity. restoration for some of you this week will not come to an end you will receive calls that will amaze you i'm speaking to you by the spirit of grace for some of you like samuel you will be told that the donkey that is missing that you have been searching by every human connection has been found by a mystery that only the god of heaven can explain Please don't be distracted. The spirit of shame and reproach. Hear me? There is such a thing called shame that everything that brings dishonor and reproach, the devil ensures the, that you are there first. Then it happens. Can I pray for you? Are you tired of standing already in the name of jesus the christ of god anyone here under the sound of my voice that there is an embargo of shame and reproach upon your life your family your destiny at the count of three i want you to shout that name again and that devil must jump out of your destiny are you ready now one two three shout jesus the embargo of shame Shame and reproach. Pakata branda kata nakata ba. Ekroto poko to peke teleke te. In the name of Jesus. Do you know that in the realm of the spirit, a man's destiny can be exchanged? Have you read that in your Bible? That when they wanted to kill a king, he sacrificed his own son so that he will live long. There are many people, what you are living is not your destiny. I stand by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus. That exchangers of destiny, that have, that have exchanged a glorious destiny for one that is full of defeat. Right now, at the count of three, may fire from heaven fall upon any altar. One, two, three. Take that grace right now. Take that. In the mighty name of Jesus, every destiny that has been exchanged, let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But that was not his beginning. His mother called him Jabez. She bore him in shame. Can I tell you this? Please look at me. Let me tell you something about the grace for honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. No, nobody can honor himself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. When the grace for honor is not upon a life, everything that is around you is shame and reproach. Hello, he might don't 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at night, thy kingdom come. Hello, him at night, thy kingdom come. Hello. There's someone here, you lost a loved one last week, just this week that passed. I know that many people, this is, there's so many people here, but the Lord is ministering to me. I want to pray. There is, we're going to pray uh, corporately against the spirit of death, but there is a particular family I am seeing. This is, it's been circles of death. You lost someone last week now. Is there such a person here? Very quickly. I want to pray for you the lord is just putting it in my heart putting it in my spirit last week just this last week i hope you know that death is a spirit the rider upon the pale horse among the four horsemen in revelations his name is death and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime in subject to bondage the person i'm seeing is wearing a nose mask this is my visions i'm seeing something like that someone wearing a nose mask i'm still going to pray for everyone but this is what i'm seeing my dear look at me this lady where are you coming from you see what is happening to her i'm seeing coffins in front of her i stretch my hands now by the spirit of the living god and i decree every covenant i use these people i'm praying for for everyone here any covenant connecting you with the grave now i'm going to pray listen please pay attention I'm praying for these people but I want to pray there are some of you you dare not go to bed in the night the only thing you see is dead people calling you is the grave the, the, the grave is a spirit as I'm praying for them I'm praying for you too every covenant connecting you to the grave you don't have to come out please you just receive from where you are I use this ones in front as a point of contact in the name of Jesus Christ Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I declare in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Right now, everyone here who is under the call roll of the spirit of death, in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Help her. Be delivered now. Please bring for me the two people now in this main auditorium that will shout under the anointing now. I just saw light on two people. Please bring them. I want to speak to them before we sit. Loud to the hearing of everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, for all of you who are in front here, I declare by the Spirit of God that everything that connects you to death be delivered now. Everything that connects you to the spirit of death be delivered now in the name of jesus haladosa de brende ke parusia da balakosia krado gaberia tuskiria balatosia i stretch my hands in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everything that represents witchcraft in this family be be healed now and be delivered be delivered from everything connected to witchcraft in Jesus name I pray amen and amen someone outside the overflow outside will start running please ushers hold the person or anybody there's someone who will begin to run by the spirit just hold the person I want to speak to that don't bring the person here just hold the person there outside the overflow in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands the power of God is coming on someone outside you begin to run right now right now in the name of jesus help them let me speak and declare over that person help them please 
in the name that is above all names i declare by the spirit of god the same way you are running like this that is how you will step in with speed into the next level of your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ someone outside is going to shout loud under the anointing please bring the person to the front of their screen i want to speak to them loud under the anointing the overflow outside the power of god is coming upon that person right now mighty god there are things only god can do where then is our boasting it is he that has made us able ministers of the new covenant just keep her there in the name of jesus i declare liberty by the spirit liberty by the spirit in the name of jesus the christ of god by wisdom oh god heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night turning darkness into light arranging the stars to your pleasing father may flesh never be glorified that as much as you continue to use us may the world know that we are nothing more than vessels that have been shown mercy rejoice not over me my enemies there is a place where god is able to resurrect the dead some of you you came here confused no direction you don't even know what your life is about but you're coming here to meet with jesus the christ and he's about to give you a new beginning for some of you men men have beat their chest and in their arrogance they have said except i come in you will not rise every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day every man nobody was born an adult every man was a baby in the hand of a woman so by the time a man beats his chest god says is it not because you is it not when you wake up in the morning you can go back to the office and oppress people ah, the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept i wait for the lord sustain me can i tell you this the holy spirit is the holder of every life on earth including the life of arrogant people who will not fear god water you turn into wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you none like you sing water you turn to say Andrew Andrew I'm hearing a name Andrew you are wearing like a maroon dress you are at the back Andrew is there someone like that Andrew what's your name were you holding something on your left hand 
were you holding something on your left hand i saw in my vision you were holding like a card maybe the visitor's card or something i want to pray for you there is a massive wind of deliverance that is about to blow in this place right now deliverance means the spiritual system that separates you from every obstacle that has impeded your advancement it's not just casting out demons spirits are not the only things that have to be separated from you if you are separated from trouble is deliverance also are we together my friend look at me i will pray for you huh? and in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power of god let there be a miracle for you right now let there be a miracle for you you're also coming out okay all of you in the name of jesus christ there is a woman i'm about to pray but there is a woman i'm seeing is it eight years now you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb i don't know who that is whether it is in this auditorium the overflows but i'm seeing in my vision a woman eight years please make sure you are not just coming make sure you meet the exact prophetic word eight years i bless you gentlemen in jesus name please two things make sure you are married and make sure it's exactly what i said please madam how many years have you been married 15 years i said eight years but you're here just stand eight years is your husband here he's not here you believe in jesus that he will give you a child Where are you from, madam? No, not no. State of origin. I can hear you. Okay, I'll pray for you. Ah, my goodness. Father, in the name of Jesus. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now! In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the end of it. Go and return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Listen, we are not herbalists. We fear God and our power comes from the throne. Sometimes it's good to clarify this thing so that there's no confusion at all in the name of jesus christ who is that now we don't have to madam don't cry weep not for the book is open i want to pray for you where, where are you coming from? I'm so touched by where, where are you coming from, madam? How long have you been married? Yes. Are you here alone? Where is your wife? Two of you. You see, brothers and sisters, when God reveals these things, it, it is not to show, I continue to say it, it's not just to show that a man is powerful. Many of these families, you know, you know how it is in Africa. When these kinds of results don't come, people can say and do all sorts of things. But there is a God who reigns in heaven. I want you to believe me that you will return with children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's stretch our hands to them. We're also priests who are ministering. Let's declare as a family of faith. The Bible says, none shall be barren. I'd like us to declare. The power that is responsible for barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ we cast it out of their lives regardless the medical condition we correct it we change it every closed womb be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare over you. Sir, this is you and you. Just lift up your hands, two of you. Where are you coming from? From Africa. From? Apple Estate, Airport Road. 
I want to pray for you and your wife. Just hold your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, every ordinance, this is not even just the issue of fruitfulness, your overall progress in life. I declare by the power of the, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing two of your hands tied in the spirit. There is nothing that is working. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over you and your wife. I lose you now. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go and succeed. Go and prosper. And in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Let me just do my crazy thing on stage here. I'll soon let you go and sit down. The Lord is telling me that all of you are going to have miracles but the one with twins the anointing is coming on you now there is one of you i'm seeing twins in my vision and i'm seeing i just saw like rain this is what i saw the power of god in a mighty way that one person is honestly my brothers and my sisters this thing that god does if i have my way if not that i'm under the anointing i will not embarrass myself like this in the presence of people are we together but this is what the power of God can do I saw twins and the Lord said he will identify that person because his power will rest upon that person Lord in the name of Jesus we decree now and we declare by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ as God has declared it go and return with your miracles in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit God has spoken once and in the name of Jesus there is nothing that will stop his word from coming to pass we place that word upon you and as God has declared let it be for you in Jesus name I pray let's celebrate them as they go back hallelujah I want to rebuke the spirit of delay there is such a spirit called delay and i want you to bring those people out there will be a mighty move of the spirit the spirit of delay the spirit of delay and while i'm praying for the spirit of delay i'm seeing that there is someone i'm seeing there is madness in your family people just keep getting mad like a, 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 a psychological psycho, what, what's it called you know that issue of madness i'm about to pray just bring just bring them out father in the name of jesus christ upon everyone here on this ground right now if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice that is under the influence of the spirit of delay some of you that's why jobs have not come some of you that's why doors have not opened right now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus inside outside following online and at the mention of that name the power of God will rest upon you and that devil leaves you are you ready now one two three shout Jesus I command that spirit go now go now bring them out delay of all sorts delay in the name of Jesus Christ every power that is responsible for delay we come against it we come against it we come against it whether in business in politics in career I come against that spirit we are praying for people now hallelujah now we are still praying there are families that are corporately under that influence some of you will travel abroad and come back and yet nothing moves in your life i declare right now everything that has refused to move in your life the power that is responsible for it be delivered be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now There are many of you, your loved ones worship deities. And even though some of them have stopped, these deities may seem to have had a legal ground over your life. But my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us, I want to declare your final deliverance. If there is anything, Parus Katebara, 
territorial deities planted to the earth that may be the reason why people do not rise right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead at the count of three may fire locate those people and fall upon them now one two three take that fire 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 it's time for you to move forward open your mouth in one minute and begin to prophesy your advancement i move forward by the spirit of the living god are you praying in the name that is above all names i make progress i move forward no power keeps me down in the name of jesus the christ Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Please be sensitive. There is a spirit called failure at the edge of breakthrough. Have you had it? That your eyes will always see it, and when your hand is about to touch it, something happens. I want to pray for you right now. Father, anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a family pattern that makes people to see good things but never handle it. My God, my God, I'm seeing the power of God rest on people. Let them not go. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I declare deliverance right now. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. One, two, Three, shout Jesus. Every pattern, every pattern over your life that makes you rise and go down. Every pattern comes under judgment now. Under judgment now. Under judgment now. Now listen to me. We are praying. Every time a good thing is about to happen to you, there a vision comes or a dream. You are in primary school or you are in secondary school, writing an exam that you never pass, or someone comes to molest Fire is coming on those altars right now. Father, at the count of three, everyone here being manipulated from the spirit realm. I declare by the rod of the higher priesthood, let there be deliverance now. One, two, three, let fire come on you now. Let fire come on you now. Every strange spirit manipulating your destiny, be delivered now. the realm of the spirit is a very powerful realm someone will vow to help you vow to lift you this man that man holding on the chair i don't know who that man is sir please lift your hands i just saw something like a chain all over you and the lord is saying that you should i should lose you i stretch my hands to you i don't know you sir but in the name of jesus christ every chain that has held you be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now elana subrakatus ketibali kedinga The Lord is asking me to break the power of patterns. Every year at the same time something happens. This has been so. Either death or sicknesses. Some is rainy season. Some is dry season. Repetition. Some is after two, two years. After three, three years. Someone must die. Or every year. Right now in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. 
If there is any pattern over your life and your family, help them please. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, that pattern is broken right now. One, two, three. I break that pattern now. I break that pattern now. Patterns of death, patterns of failure, be broken now. Please pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. There are families here, the only way you eat is by serving others. Anything that will take you to the top, there is a spirit that will always bring you down. I don't mean serving like value, becoming a slave. The only way. And the Lord is asking me to deliver families here where the man is a woman and the woman is a man. The man is a woman and the woman is a man. In terms of responsibility and supplies, everything comes from the woman. I decree by the spirit of the living God. Don't be tired of receiving. I speak over your life. Every pattern again I repeat that is not of God at work in your life. That devil that is behind it, they catch fire now. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. hallelujah who is gloria i'm hearing a name gloria gloria marvelous god gloria gloria in a few minutes the grace for speed is going to be resting in this place gloria every altar hear me the lord is speaking about the gloria our medical people i can pray for you and then you go back and continue your work but in the name that is above all names i don't know why the lord sent for you Malaso i'm just seeing fire moving in front of the stage here everyone here under the yoke of witchcraft that will not let you go in the name of Jesus, Mate Pratuske Delekepa, Skanabagareka Tuskedia, Enkrete Kepa Ruta Kata, Paru Zetia, may fire come upon you now. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar sitting on your destiny. This is Koinonia in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered now. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name and that at the mention of that name every knee must bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord madam this woman come this one where are you from where are you from madam Benway State in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you Kai. I command every devil don't be embarrassed i'm not a prophet of doom okay but i'm seeing a snake just walking over you like head to toe head to toe again in the name of jesus christ i command that devil let her go now let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go now help her please let her go now 
I'm seeing a serpent. This is what I'm seeing, just moving left and right. He gave us authority over snakes and scorpions and over every power of the enemy. Hallelujah. Hmm. Now I'm seeing a vision that I usually don't see very often. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi state. This is Kogi. The moment I begin to pray, those from that region usually, I don't know why God does that. The power of God begins to come on them. Bring them now in the name of Jesus. This is what I'm seeing. Deliverance. I'm seeing Kogi state. Kogi state. Kelatari kato shadikata. Kogi state. Pareke to shadibrandegata. Oh, there are altars I'm seeing sitting on men's destinies will not allow men rise but i come by the road of a higher priesthood by this revelation everyone connected to that territory be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now bring them out be delivered now these things are signs and wonders the lord does it to bring glory to his name my eyes are open again the lord is still showing me that vision and i'm seeing the light of going of god going from kogi state i am seeing emo state emo state right now i'm seeing the power of god they're resting just emo state i declare now help them everyone who is connected to that territory and is under any demonic influence your liberty comes for you now be delivered now be delivered now in the name of jesus christ sir can i talk to you please come i don't know you i don't know anything about you but come your life is about to change. I hope you're not embarrassed, sir. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, sir? From, from Anambra State. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing stroke. The devil wants to bring stroke on your life. This is what I'm seeing. To paralyze the entire one side of you. Stroke. This is a demonic thing. Number two. I'm seeing that by next month, the devil had planned bringing a serious attack on your finances. That everything will just go down mysteriously in a way that nobody will be able to understand. I want to pray for you. And the dream you have and you see dead people, I want to pray for you. You are together? Okay. I want to pray for you. Father, every... Ah! I'm praying for you and yet I'm seeing the power of God on your wife. In the name of Jesus Christ you see you are praying for husband and is in, in my vision is your wife i'm seeing under the power of god right now in the name that is above all names i declare the yoke of bondage over this family breaks now breaks now breaks now ah. I just saw fire just moving the length and the breath in the name of Jesus I burn everything every chaff that is not of God give way now in the name of Jesus every bondage that the devil is planning related to your profession I declare deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah how many of you believe in miracles? The Lord is removing something. I'm seeing things being removed from the stomach of people. I don't know what it is. This is what I'm seeing. This is in my vision now. I'm seeing something just coming out. Some is growths, fibroids that are being removed right now as i'm speaking the power of god is resting on those people one by one by one
for others his growths all kinds of lumps i'm about to pray for the sick shortly but in the name of jesus i decree and declare that for all those that god is showing me right now wherever you are located in this auditorium or around i stretch my hands may fire from heaven hmm. may fire from heaven may fire from heaven rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray for the sick listen i believe in the healing ministry before jesus christ returns there will be an escalation of the power of jesus to heal and to deliver in a way and a proportion that we have never seen i believe that with all my heart because the word of god says so and fathers who have gone ahead left it as a prophecy and we ourselves who by the privilege of god's grace is granted the power to walk in this we bear witness that these speakings are true i want to pray for you right now here's what we're going to do very quickly some of you just under the anointing even whilst the service came the power of god has already touched you but i'm going to pray for the sick i truly believe in miracles i want you to lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle everywhere inside outside just help those under the anointing miracles are happening now for those for those if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact you can also stand in for loved ones you heard the testimony of the dear lady all overflows and you who are following watching from whatever tv station or your homes via internet i like you right there where you are connect by faith believe jesus we come in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god I want you to believe it will happen in a moment in a twinkling of an eye just take your eyes away from the sickness some of you have all kinds of death sentences before you take your eyes away from it I want to pray right now agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ A gentleman is going to run out now by the power of God the moment that happens the healing power of God will begin to move honestly I don't know why God does these things but these are signs and wonders a gentleman the power of God will rest upon him literally he will begin to run just hold him so he does not injure himself this is a sign that the Lord gives me to trigger the flow of the healing power of Jesus father thank you the, the might a mighty very mighty anointing will just rest upon a gentleman and the moment that happens the healing power of jesus will begin to move and for that gentleman it's not just resting on you for nothing help them please quickly now we can pray please help them the ministry of signs and wonders is a fearful ministry right now in the name of jesus every devil and every spirit that is behind infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that that spirit leaves you now help them please help them my God right now in Jesus name be healed be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now anyone on the anyone sitting on a wheelchair or on crutches lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of jesus christ lift it up now and begin to walk in the name of jesus christ blind eyes be open now whether partial blindness or total that blindness be healed now deafness of any sort one or both ears be healed now in the name of jesus the Lord is showing me someone, I don't know if it's, it's a swelling, I don't know if it's goiter or something around your throat. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
lower abdominal pain i'm seeing lower abdominal pain the lord is healing that person right now in the name of jesus christ breathing problem i don't know specifically what it is but i'm saying you have problem breathing in fact this problem makes you snore seriously when you are asleep you snore in a way that it doesn't matter what position very heavy snoring the power of god is resting upon you now i'm seeing a woman you are a bit elderly i'm seeing severe pain just around the lumbar vertebra here the power of god is touching you right now the power of god is touching you right now you came with a sick person you are outside you are in the overflow outside i don't know if it's um now don't be embarrassed i don't know if it's hiv or so but i'm seeing the power of god touch that person right now every blood condition here that needs to be changed in the name of jesus we change it now we change it now heart palpitations is being healed now the lord is healing heart palpitations i'm seeing someone i don't know what it is but it's like they diagnose something inside your head i don't know if it's a growth or something um that is inside your head and for one that i'm seeing at the back of your eyes i'm not a doctor forgive me if i don't get it right but it looks like there is something swelling at the back of your eyes i hope i'm saying the right thing but in the name of jesus right now may the power of god touch you supernatural miracle right now there's there's a gentleman i'm seeing your wrist I don't know what happened but there is severe pain around your wrist the power of god is touching you right now right now i'm i'm seeing th this is a very interesting case god is showing me there's someone you are losing your teeth gradually gradually one by one i, I don't know if is that your mouth is is I, I i don't know what the condition is but um you are beginning to lose your teeth there is a miracle supernatural miracle that is happening to you right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone your chest was hit i think in a dream you were sleeping and there was an impact on your chest from that day when you woke up you've been falling sick recurrently and even with chest pain in the name of jesus be healed now are we still together asthma be healed now God is healing asthma. Someone who is being healed will shout a loud shout. Not just, not amen, but I'm seeing that's how that person's healing is coming. Asthma. God is healing asthma. Severe migraine, especially in the night. Pounding migraine on your head. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. You are not on any weight loss uh, program or any diet, but you have started losing weight no matter what you eat. This has even got you concerned because you are emaciating. People are even looking at it. They think you are fasting, but you are beginning to get concerned. Very significant weight loss. And it has nothing to do with dieting or whatever it is. This is a demonic thing. Because from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there is something wrong with your liver in the name of jesus christ wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now help them please help that person in the name of jesus christ a miracle is happening to you right there where you are now there are people following it's amazing do you know how many people connect from hospitals there are several hospitals right now and bless god for the kinds of doctors and nurses and and you know medical practitioners that we have because sometimes they know that this situation is beyond the issue of medicine they know that this is a demonic thing so i'm praying for those who are connecting any patient right now from the hospital world over you are following every death sentence on you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i bring you life and healing now life and healing now by the power of the holy spirit hear me every malfunctioning organ here in this place right now 
I declare be healed in Jesus name there's someone at the back you are close to the door the power of God is touching you you are close to one of these doors I'm seeing the power of God touching that person and the Lord is taking something out of that person's life in the name of Jesus be healed now anyone here having high blood pressure or low blood pressure how many of you know that they are all evil whether high or low i don't know what kind of thing is that whether it's high is bad low is also bad whichever category but especially high blood pressure there are many many people right now as they are they do not even know anyone here young or old you are under the influence of high blood pressure in jesus name we command your blood pressure to go down to normalcy sugar diabetes in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing someone they had performed a surgery on you something i don't know if it was appendicitis but from that time you have not been yourself again i think they they maybe you know remove the appendix or something but i'm seeing there's been severe pain you can't even sit down um you know and and press that side there's severe pain right now as i'm speaking the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus now the lord is showing me two women we'll be very fast about this the lord is showing me two women i'm seeing that you gave birth through cs and from the time you get back through cs every time you bend there is a very sharp pain all through your lower abdominal region in the name of jesus as i'm speaking right now after the prayer i want you to check it that devil leaves your body now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now everything god put in the human body he gave it boundaries you are not allowed to move any the only thing that can move everywhere is blood and that's to carry food oxygen they tell us but demons flow through these things and they move everywhere from your head and the rest anything that is a stranger in your body and is loitering up and down causing you pain and organ malfunctions this night it comes to an end now yes sir now receive these prophetic words anyone here trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i pray for you some of you between now and next sunday not next not next week between now and next sunday i call upon the god of my covenant may you return with jobs that will surprise you please receive it prophecy is powerful number two i pray for you any door that has refused to open and you know it needs to open for the next level of your destiny whoever is sitting as the gatekeeper i will not let that door open we clear them out of the way in the name of jesus christ hear me anybody holding what belongs to you and has refused to release it in the name of jesus we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it gets to you in the name of jesus christ the bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace hear me every helper of your destiny who has been ignoring you until now i place an anointing upon you this week they have no rest till they get up and attend to you i want to pray for you there are some of you like mordecai you have helped many people from destruction and you have not been rewarded mordecai helped the king and they still left him on the ground at the gate but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep i pray for you anybody you have helped and the season of reward has come and they have refused to attend to you this night by prophecy i open the book of remembrance i open the book of remembrance may the mercy of god locate you for your lifting
let me pray for those due for promotion the bible says promotion does not come from the east the west or the south indeed it comes from the north mount zion the side of the north the bible calls it the city of the great king i pray for you all of you who are due for promotion in the name of jesus may my god who is also your god may he surprise you listen promotion does not mean giving you another rank promotion means another level anyone here who came with any point of contact whether your credentials whether documents whether whatever it is in the name of jesus i declare them anointed i declare them anointed i declare them anointed let me pray for all who are in business here you are in business provided your business is legitimate and is scriptural i stand by the god of heaven and i declare may grace from heaven that brings for increase for influence for visibility may it rest upon the works of your hands i pray for those who are in politics and governance by the power that raised christ from the dead i announce to you by the spirit of grace let this be your season of lifting believe me these are not empty words let this be your season of lifting hallelujah now i want to release a grace on anyone here who is in ministry or is called in the fivefold ministry there are many many people who are called into the fivefold ministry but there has not been that activation of the grace and the oil wherever you are i stretch my hands god of heaven prophetic mantles right now in the name of jesus everyone called into the prophetic help them paruska the eyes that see the ears that hear may that grace i activate prophetic fountains in the name of jesus accuracy in perception in the name of jesus there are people here based on your divine assignment you should be carrying certain anointings healing anointings anointings for the sick where are they oh god please help them right now anyone here who should carry the mantle for healing i stretch my hands may the power from heaven let it in the name of jesus healing grace healing fountains healing mantles take that grace healing grace i say it again go back and meet the sick in your homes in your environment get them out of those dead beds in the name of jesus christ there are people here the mantle for leadership has been looking for you mantle for leadership i want to pray for you anyone here who should carry that grace for leadership whether you are aware or not i stretch my hands wherever you are within this auditorium and outside may that grace locate you now carry that grace for leadership carry that carry that grace for leadership there are kingdom financiers that god is raising in this end time financial apostles indeed people who understand the purpose of the wealth of the kingdom help them please more than just self-aggrandizement more than just i'm getting a car or a house that's not the purpose for wealth in the name of jesus everyone here who must take up that mantle i can tell you there is a mantle for wealth i decree and declare wherever you are in Sapakatoshketeperekatia, may that grace rest on you now. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Let it open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus.
I want to release a grace for access and visibility. Hear me? It's one thing to have the value, whether spiritual, whether whatever it is. There are many gifted people looking at me here and following. But you see, there is a grace that makes men identify you and give you visibility so that you will find expression. The Bible says, neither do men light a lamp. There are many anointed people here, but the grace to locate you. For as long as Samuel did not carry that oil, David, even though he was killing the lion, even though he could lead Israel, he remained in the bush. The grace for visibility takes men from the bush and it puts you where you belong. I have tasted of that grace. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, anyone here who should rise to visibility for people to see what you carry so that you can represent God in your assigned territory, may that mantle rest on you now. May that mantle rest on you now. My God, fire is burning here. Just be patient. What you are receiving will bless you. Are you ready for speed now? Oh, there is a grace for speed. There really is a grace for speed. You don't have all the time for everything. I stretch my hands. Koinonia, I speak to you. Marie Scotte Leketia, from today, take the grace for speed. The mantle for speed. The mantle for speed. The grace for speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. Ten years in one month. I release it upon you now. Every man needs destiny helpers to rise in life. No matter how grace you are. Even Jesus needed John the Baptist to announce him. I desire to you to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. I want to call your destiny helpers by prophecy. Father, everyone here, because I sense in my spirit that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives. This is what I sense. You are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one. But if there is no helper of destiny, you can remain there and recycle seasons again. I pray for you from the north to the south, the east to the west, within this nation and outside of this nation, wherever the helper of your destiny is, I command them to appear now. everything that has died in your life business or whatever endeavor including your spiritual life i call upon jesus with the resurrection and even the life let there be resurrection to every dead thing now dead organs hear the word of the lord dead visions hear the word of the lord dead families hear the word of the lord dead marriages hear the word of the lord dead businesses hear the word of the lord Dead prayer lives, hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Any wrong association that makes Jesus look unserious to you. How many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love Jesus? Anything that requires you leaving Jesus to get it is not worth your time. Are we together? Therefore, I pray, let there be a divine editing on all your relationships. We're almost done. If the spirit of death is eyeing any family here, you know, hold on. I hope you know whenever it seems as though when we get into the second half of the year, from August now into, they call it the um, ember months, September it looks like there is a trend especially in this nation people who have no business dying accidents that don't make sense every blood sucking spirit around the road within this city waiting eaters of flesh 
Aparuskata and drinkers of blood. We decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, there is no place for you this time around. You have no covenant with death. The same way you saw the second half of the year, you will see the end of the year. This issue of finances is making many people to leave God in this season. People don't pray again. They don't fast. They don't love God because of this economic thing. There are, there are different levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value are we together now you provide your value to a targeted consumer base and you are reward and you are rewarded for it that's that's it that's a, a, a level of wealth there is wealth that comes as a re reward for changing lives and impacting people it's called transformational wealth you don't sell that value you give it free but because it is value it is still mandated that you be rewarded but there is a third dimensional wealth called sovereign wealth is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved he says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe in his prophet so shall you prosper I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I prophesy over your finances anyone who is in any financial pit right now come out of it now Come out of it now whether personally or corporately come out of it now I call for the mystery of the raven that brought bread to Elijah at Brook Cherith may strangers you do not know may you collide with them at the gates of destiny may they be used marvelously by God to wipe your tears hear me anyone here that there are bills sitting on your neck and it will not give you rest i come by the rod of a higher priesthood this night in the name of jesus may my god shift systems and structures to bless you everything that has made god jesus christ to not be a priority to you don't forget we are not just speaking so that people will have money and cars we are a very spiritual people who love Jesus with passion and with zest and with zeal. And if you are connected to this ministry and this vision, you must love Jesus. We are not just some carnal people out to just, we teach and communicate the whole counsel of God. The highest being your passion and your fire for God. Can I pray for you in the name of Jesus? the average faithful person in this house should be serious spiritually you have to take god seriously all this one leg in and one leg out is time to be serious the fire that must come upon your prayer altar as an individual and as a family may that fire rest upon you now what study fire the grace to sit down and study scripture not just to get a sermon but to know god and to learn and to grow to be equipped with intelligence that gives you dominion to excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by the spirit of grace i release you into supernatural living hallelujah some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living God the one who gave this anointing I decree I speak over every document 
and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus 
anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to one thousand naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands i pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know i don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in 100 level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of jesus by the ministry of angels i command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results, a change of results. hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you I command the earth to open and swallow them. Listen, just follow me. Few minutes and we're done. If there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine, I don't care where. And all kinds of incantations. Some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight.
whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names let there be a strange unction on you tonight an unction that will force everyone to record with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here listen this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break i believe in family i believe in honor one of the things the devil is doing is walking at tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife they get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives i'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ let me pray for influence we're rounding up i believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances i decree and declare wherever you find your place i command you to rise above your equals rise above your contemporaries as a lecturer rise above your equals as a banker rise above your equals as a student rise above your equals they will seek counsel from you they will look for the word of the lord from your mouth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me pray for our finances thou has caused men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place listen listen we are not naive about what value there are astute business people in this ministry there are multi-millionaire business people in this ministry we are not in ignorance as to the fact that you can bless people and they can see what you have done people bless me every day because they perceive that i've been a blessing to them but there is the finger of god where for no known reason if if i've been nice to you you can say ah apostle you changed my life take time naira there is a reason why you blessed what you see that i didn't sell anything to you i just took out time to change your life and you blessed me if you employ me and i work for you i gave my time and my value so in return you give me a salary is that true but when the finger of god comes please hear me there will be no reason no reason except for the fact that jacob i love esau i hated you can be sitting down and god will raise somebody to rise up listen not only bless you once but say i want to make this an addiction a habit to bless you are you hearing what i'm saying yes you have seen the money that came through your skill congratulations where is the one that came through the finger of god you should be able to look at your finances and know that this 10 naira came because i got a good job thank god for that this one came because i blessed a life i paid a graduate a student school fees now he's working and he has come back to say thank you this one came because i have a child the child has become responsible and he has come back to say mama na good day but show me the one that came from the finger of god that you know this one lord i can't explain how this one came i don't even know the name of the sender i just saw one name or two names the finger of god 
you see the problem we're rounding up with the body of christ we fight what we don't understand and what we understand we trivialize it why is god doing this thing it's not just because we are money mongers and everybody's talking money no god is doing this thing as an act of his sovereignty to aid your reaching your goals fast so you can have time for him are we together now you can see that cgc is doing a lot of work by the way um, I, I didn't even plan with them every single one should be part of this project cgc you can see this 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 is a ministry that has been such a blessing to us and honestly i didn't even plan this with any of them i've not even seen the pastor as i just said this now everybody should be a part of this i know what the ministry koinonia will do i know what as a person i would do i'm encouraging you you can see our daddy prof or maybe the protocol people after the service and you can discuss with them how do i get my seed ten thousand twenty thousand hundred thousand a million whatever amount and say look i want my seed to be here by the grace of god they are not looking for money to do this god has been faithful and they have been you can see the items that there is just i'm sure because of this program they decided to suspend what they are doing i'm just using an opportunity to tell you whoever you are make sure that you find a way of participating in this but let me tell you this there is the finger of god and i want to pray this because some of our families nobody even went to school so there is no issue of saying lord give them a job you see mama of 70 years which financial intelligence are you going to tell her that our rewards in life all that thing you are talking she's just looking at you what are you saying my son i am dying here a landlord a young boy of 25 wants to disgrace a woman of 70 years by nine o'clock tomorrow mama get out of my house and she says please help me that one you don't need a financial seminar you need the finger of god this is where most of our families are lift your hands let me pray for you i have seen this in my life the finger of god was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life the finger of god was designed to come through for you quarter to shame i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ beginning from this night and all through this weekend by men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before i command strange wealth by the finger of god i command strange wealth by the finger of god i prophesy to you right now listen i want you to believe me in the name of jesus a stranger you do not know you don't even know how he got your account number i compel them by the spirit to bless you in the name of jesus christ in the course of this prayer and fasting a strange woman just called she sent me a text and said you don't know me but i'm a businesswoman am i talking with apostle i said yes i thought she wanted me to pray for her and he said the lord spoke to me that there is a seed that i should sow half of it to you half of it to the ministry i said madam no i don't do this i want to make sure people work with revelation why do you want to do this have you discussed this with your husband and she said sir with all due respect i'm a businesswoman i'm not a little child talking i have children that are adults so if i'm making a decision i know what i'm doing i said i'm so sorry ma'am okay i prayed for her and sent her the text when i saw the alert of what this woman sent i sat down and i said god what is this what is this madam do you listen to koinonia no madam have you ever come for koinonia here no have i ever madam have you ever come for koinonia here no have i ever prayed for you no did i bless you in any meeting no say the finger of god see most of us are used to suffering and hardship we don't ever believe strangers can bless us if i say may god make your boss or your uncle you say it makes sense because there's one money that i'm waiting for do you know me as a person i have seen the account number of people in dreams and god asked me to bless them they were just sitting and they saw alerts they don't even have my number to call me it's just pure obedience the same thing god has done for people towards me not everybody is disobedient god has not yet directed them to you 
that's why they've not responded i pray again father i cry to you this grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of god i declare let it come upon everyone now every department from prayer department to worship team ushers welfare department every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray something must happen to your prayer life something must happen to your access to light something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders something must happen to your church something must happen about the gift of the spirit some of you have not seen it in your life i want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not um you are an usher please because of what happens when i pray this kind of prayer please whoever is under the anointing close to you just help just guide them so they don't injure themselves lift your hands i want to pray one minute i long to see you that i might impart my god look at i'm seeing flames this is what i'm seeing all over right to the back flames lord jesus i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit the anointing the grace for prayer and supplication there has to be someone it is looking for receive that grace now receive that grace now take it now receive that grace in jesus name inside outside overflow one two three four five online i release that grace enter a new dimension of prayer a new dimension of fasting in the name of jesus we are still praying lift your hands mm. i pray for you you see the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the lord god must give you the eyes of an eagle the eyes that can see beyond just the letters i pray for you fire will come upon your eyes i command may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation insights to scriptures receive it in the name of jesus the gift of the spirit was given to the body of christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established i want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands i stretch my hands lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the spirit in the name of jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two three take that anointing i command the gift activated now the gift of prophecy step into that dimension the eyes that can see i open you up to visions in the name of jesus christ all those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catherine coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson i call you by the spirit i call for the john g lakes i call for the william samos god's generals of our generation hear the clarion call in the spirit i call you forth in the name of jesus
everyone in your family that has not given his life to Christ hear me if there is any unbeliever it could be your father it could be your mother I declare may the angel of the Lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of Jesus Christ whether they are Christians or not I pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to Christ every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight I declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them one last prayer and we're done whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and june i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now and june 2018 achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years there are people as i'm talking now you are not in any relationship but august will not meet you a single lady in the name of jesus there are young men as it is now you don't have up to 2000 naira in your account but in the name of jesus by june this year you will be having six seven figures in your account if there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of whether you applied for the job or not i prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head i thank you for lifting 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 my head everyone keep standing The name of what you give that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing. The peace, the joy, the influence. Are we together? There is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing. On earth, this looks like the highest most valuable thing when you possess this you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish but in the kingdom there are realities that we possess listen carefully and the bible says with it everything whether this whatever it is you can possess is is called the true riches there are seven of this spiritual capital one of them is called light we buy things with light the power light is capital in the spirit the anointing is capital in the spirit words are capital in the spirit in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life 
may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now i stretch my hands the grace that came upon elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of ahas by this apostolic and prophetic grace i stand in the office of my god i shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of jesus speed 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 i prophesied in one day let zion be born i command speed speed in your finances speed in your spiritual life speed in every area of your life whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift i stand by prophecy and i shift you to a new dimension new level of prophecy new level of revelation new level of encounters new levels of signs and wonders receive it in the name of jesus We see your glory. You know that song? In this kingdom it is what is on you that controls what is around you are you hearing what I'm saying in this kingdom it is the spiritual climate above you I'm speaking by the spirit it is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life it takes more than desire it takes more than zeal again I'm speaking to you any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of god with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of jesus i command that climate to live your life now lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry straight fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom everything these hands come upon i declare that it is anointed it will be an instrument of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah.
Always like you, Lord, in all the earth. Much less love and beauty and less work. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the constant of our Treasure of my heart and of my soul. My witness, you are blessed for Redeemer of my past and present wrong You're the holder of my future days And all my days on earth I will away The moment that I see you face to face For nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, you're the God that won't run dry Yes, you are the God that won't run dry other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are gathered here and we will always allow you to build, to change. To lift. Any spirit within this vicinity that is not of the Christ, I stand here right now. If there be any force, any yoke, any agreement upon anyone's life, I speak right now. Be set free, be released now. Every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ, bringing you oppression, programming failure to your life, I stretch my hands and I command liberty right now in the name of Jesus. Please listen to this instruction. We are going to shout hallelujah three times. Just listen. Just listen. We are under a very strong prophetic atmosphere this night. And I want you to shout hallelujah three times. By the third shout, I'd like you to bring out all those under the anointing here. I'm going to minister. But by the third shout, there are chains that it didn't start from you it held people so that they would not lift up their heads horns sitting on the destinies of men Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 son of man what seest thou and he said I saw four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel against Jerusalem against Judah so that no man don't lift up his head are you ready three times from the depth of your heart ready number one the bible says now jericho was strictly shot nothing went in and nothing went out what sort of a city is that nothing can go in and nothing can come out even if it belongs to you are you ready for the second shout one two three go hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah means Halal Yeshua. It means praise the Lord. Another expression means put pressure on his integrity. Every time you praise a man, he must rise to match what you are praising him for. Are you ready for this shout? This one is not just a shout. This one is Tehillah. It's a shout that can bring down Jericho. Are you ready now? Lord, by this shout, everything that has shot your blessings, that nothing goes out and nothing comes in, let it give way now. One, two, three, go ahead and shout. I'm a winner man, a winner man There's one mind battle for me I'm a winner man, a winner man Upon Mount Zion, the Bible says There shall be deliverance and even holiness Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions Ela baruska de brendege bahashala katusi brought in out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us now please bring them out i decree and declare that everything sitting on your destiny that will not let you go there are mothers here you have cried for your children i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I command fire upon everything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus release families. Release businesses. Release destinies. Release families. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Again, I declare that every spirit that will not let you go, it must go for you now. It must go for you now. It must go for your children now. Moses stood before Pharaoh and said, Thus saith the God of the Egyptians, the Hebrews. He says, Let my people go that they may go and serve me. I decree and declare whatever has held you that will not let you go hear the word of the Lord it leaves you now it leaves you now it leaves you now Wherefore God has so highly exalted him, the Bible says, and had given him a name. That name is an office. It said that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. If there is anyone here who came with a crutch inside or outside and ate to walk lift it up now 
lift it up now there's anyone who came here with a crutch or an aid lift it up now and begin to walk lift it up now whether inside or outside lift it up and begin to walk lift it up i'm seeing one there walk lift it up lift it up and begin to walk i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that everything again i say that will not let you go let it go for you now and for all of you who are out here every power that has held you we stand under the corporate anointing we declare no matter how long it has held you leave them now hear what the bible says it says now the lord is that spirit there are many spirits but this one is that spirit and that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty let there be freedom now i believe in impartation impartation is a transference of graces hallelujah every time god sends a word to jacob it is because he intends for it to reach israel like never before there are many of you here who are calling to the ministry of prophetic intercession may the mantle and the grace for that ministry let it rest upon you now don't worry just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out may that grace rest upon you now number two the anointing that shifts men to have divine encounters supernatural encounters may that grace some of you it will meet you in your place of retreat it will meet you whilst you sleep may that grace rest upon you now every dead prayer life here every dead word study life be found to flames afresh in the name of Jesus hallelujah let me pray for you any wrong association in your life programming you to become a shame a reproach to parents every spirit of dishonor and rebellion among children to parents we cast that spirit now hallelujah hear me every manifestation of irresponsibility among young people one of the blessings of the east is the blessings of responsibility and diligence god has placed grace upon these hands so any young man who is not doing anything is just a lazy person i pray that the spirit of laziness and irresponsibility will drive it far from your territory hear me if there is anyone here who is in any kind of financial trouble a court case or you are in debt i don't care how you got there by the message of the god of david come out of it now come out of it now come out of it now hear me from today any man that fights you goes down instantly hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead it must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray
Are you praying? Please pray. Blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. Lift your voice and pray. Are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to give way. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names. Everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that yoke and that spirit be broken at the count of three you will shout Jesus one two three I command that devil out of their lives now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out by the power that is in the name of Jesus the spirit of delay over individual, over family. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain. In the name of Jesus. Chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow outside, following online, chains be broken in the name of Jesus. We're still praying. Das 
Ruska Leba Ruska Debra Diga Damari. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you. Please stand up. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is not a planting of God, I curse it now. Now, let it live your life. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Now, for all of you who have come out here, may not have the time to speak to everybody. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now with a loud shout. in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now in the name of Jesus for all of you who are standing I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness sickness recurrent sickness recurrent sickness this is what I'm saying recurrent sickness coming again you treat it coming again you treat it I speak and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood I command that devil out of your life now out of your destiny in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle right now in the name of jesus christ that lady i cast that devil out of her now in the name of jesus christ i'm a wiener man i'm a wiener man i'm a wiener man i'm a wiener man Madam, stretch your hands, lift, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus, never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a wiener man, a wiener man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus I declare it so by the power of the Holy Spirit there are two people at the back the power of God is coming on them with a loud shout please pick them and bring them out two people at the back I just saw light leaving this place right to the back please bring them my dear I curse everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year you'll be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen. When when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We're a kingdom-driven people, and everything we do is for his glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. 
healing for you now i'm seeing a strange vision please bring them out now i'm just seeing snakes all over this place this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing snakes i stand by the god of heaven and everything that represents an orchestration of darkness not just in front even across the congregation i stretch my hands let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of god any fraternity with spirit brings please bring them out i cost those spirits right now i cost those spirits right now i cost those spirits right now i cost those i cost those spirits right now hallelujah let hope let it rise Darkness trembles in your own delight. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cross the workings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus help them please hallelujah ah everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to business ideas visions every power stopping your delivery i command it to clear the way now clear the way now Help them please. Clear the way now. 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 As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Madam, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be a miracle for you right now. My sister, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, go and give birth. In Jesus' name. For all of you who are out, I don't know why you are out, but I declare by the Spirit of the living God, every issue of concern, it comes under judgment now. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle, but I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that is not a planting of god roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life 
restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ please don't be tired god is visiting people ah i just saw light there is a grace for speed people are going to begin to run right now just hold them and bring them out i release that grace for speed bring them out there is a strange grace for speed that is coming on people now politicians businessmen men and women of god take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now please bring them out strange grace for speed that is coming upon you some of you in the next one month within one month within one month things will begin to shift in your life we am prophesying by the spirit within one month within one month the delay of years within one month speed speed to your life Help them please speed to your life i'm still praying it i'm still seeing that grace rest on people you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life supernatural speed hallelujah there is a man of god here oh dear you have been praying don't come out the power of god will come on you you have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic you are on this road this road the power of god will touch other people but the person i'm talking about is on this road this road at the back bring the person there is a grace for signs and wonders as is happening to one as many as desire in the name of jesus may that mantle rest upon your ministry upon your life grace is coming upon you sign wonders i'm telling you you will be surprised at what god will do in your life grace you will command signs and wonders in business in ministry may the good hand of god come upon you hallelujah as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing jesus we believe Jesus there is healing in your name please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact those following on TV you're following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you the moment I do that, I want you to begin to check yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here release them now in the name of jesus release them in the name of jesus right now i declare life to your body in the mighty name of jesus christ be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name blind eyes be opened now 
if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchairs stand leave that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus I declare a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ the name of Jesus of Jesus who is the son of the living God that these Egyptians 
that you see today you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life by the power that is christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of jesus as you return from this mountain step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting god for jobs in the name of jesus for some of you by next week i declare by the spirit of god you return with miracle jobs where you have not experienced favor in your life i release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor i pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever i pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of god a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of jesus christ everything you have seen or god told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested i declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finisher's anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of jesus i command that your power is broken now let god's people go free now in the name of jesus christ now i declare be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name my god just help those under the anointing be healed in jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name the power of god is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of god is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now i declare in the name of jesus stand up stand up and lift your crutch and walk in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now hiv be healed now cancer be healed now the lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area the power of god is touching you right now after this prayer you'll check it you will not find it again in the name of jesus i'm seeing a i don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you'll find out that it's gone completely in the name of jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the lord is healing you right now i'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of god is touching you right now 
I'm seeing three people. The Lord is healing them from pile. In fact, for one of you, it's a very severe issue. You cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain. We come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let there be healing for you. I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones, lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are. And those of you following by way of TV, following online, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes, to your offices, in the name of Jesus, your homes, your offices, your devices, let there be miracles, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone, your, your, this is my right, your right ear, your right ear you feel you know how this is like there's water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady i'm seeing that um i don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of jesus christ as i pray for you i command that mass to disappear now the lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as i am speaking the power of god is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of jesus let there be a miracle now for time's sake whether i mention your case specifically or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god he's been exalted both as lord and as christ i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. he's able are you celebrating miracles? My God is able to do just what miracles are happening everywhere. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched this grace. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online, at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflow. Father, there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power 
I command every force, bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. My God, oh, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office above every other office, above thrones, above dominions. I declare every power holding you down, bring them out. That power is dislodged now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Halakato sadeketeba. Shadekete berekoto skoto prendegedia. Shagapakatos. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll. To the Lord of lords. We will pray. Adonai From the rising of the sun To praise Hallelujah Please stretch your hands towards me I just saw something in the spirit If you can, just stretch your hands towards me I saw a vision And I'm seeing what looks like a bag Being given to people and the Lord is telling me this is I'm seeing written on it good news I'm seeing the number 71 just stretch your hands towards me father hold on please from my left to my right everyone who must receive this inside outside right now I stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you help them please in the name of Jesus sounds of good news sounds of good things sounds of good help them some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the Holy Ghost suddenly I'm seeing a very interesting vision the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave and I saw it open and I saw things not people things that are there coming out I'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ
madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of jesus christ help her please praise the lord hmm. you are trusting god for a job wherever your job is in the name of jesus christ may god take you there right now i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead some of you by this time next week i stand by the god of my covenant and i declare by this time next week may god surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of god in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this is the place of encounter hallelujah my dear in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the issue that is on the table according to the word of the lord if god could locate you i declare and i also pray for, i want to pray for you where are you from i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you will come and stand both of you you will stand here before the people of god and you will testify of strange liftings in the name of jesus receive that grace now by the power of the holy spirit sir i pray for you in the name of jesus christ help her please daddy i don't know why you are standing outside here but i want to pray for you we are going to pray for the sick i'm going to pray for you is it husband and wife madam i need to pray because i hope you're not embarrassed sir. can i talk to you ah you have to pray i believe in miracles god is taking sickness sickness i'm looking at you and i'm seeing many things i'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is bp two people will start running in the overflow outside outside now we may not have time to bring them out outside i'm seeing the power of god outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray for them because the lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you look at a wise man you heard what he said he said i want to know him more is it no relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more Amen. the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to jesus 
so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with god carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with god don't ask god to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back it's important you see i know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in zaria um, and i was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now i'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here i don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest He touched me, the master touched me, and oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened, and now. There'll be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The healing anointing is flowing here in the name of jesus christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, lift the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be 
be healed now. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems, all kinds of abdominal problems here. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's. I think I'm right. That thing that makes you to just shake, your body shakes. In the name of Jesus, I declare, may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair falls. This, is, this has been a very demonic thing. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Now, I hope I know what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. But this is what is happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle for you now. I don't know what the medical condition is, but in Jesus' name, we stop it now. There's someone, your left, is this? your left eye you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of Jesus Christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep I think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep. You must take a lot of drugs. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now. That demonic thing, we command it to live your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. And then I'm seeing someone until now, I think you have a problem with your shoulder. I don't know what it is. You cannot lift it. As soon as I pray, just lift it. Check yourself. Do what you cannot do. You'll be surprised that the power of God has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now no you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lumps the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now hallelujah I'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of Jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty I declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now The Lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there 
and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you yeah. be healed in the name of jesus yeah. now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now yeah. please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Father, I want you to believe right now. The anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service I pray the unction required for the next level of your results I stand here and I declare let it come upon you now I decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you in this season, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the book of remembrance be opened now. If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members, whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the lord i agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ, let it be answered tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever has failed in your hands, in the name of Jesus, go back and succeed. <laughs> Whatever has refused to walk in your hands, I declare go back and succeed. For those of you in ministry, fresh fire for the new season. Those of you in business, fresh connections and illumination. Those in politics, parliamentarians, supernatural grace in the name of Jesus. And then I pray for your spiritual life. There is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger but let me pray for your spiritual life you go up today you are down tomorrow you pray today then you ignore the prayer altar you study today then you ignore it the grace for consistency take that grace now grace for prayer fasting word study worship may that grace rest upon you now Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, 
the proof of favor is not just money the proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men i pray for you everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names find favor with them find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of jesus and by the spirit of the christ i clear it out of your life i clear it out of your destiny in the name of jesus christ The Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 be open now in the name of Jesus open up Gita and Gita be open now now I stretch my hands whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry everything that is responsible bring them out that is causing your face that you will not be seen is 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 affecting your visibility in ministry there are people in ministry here you have integrity you are walking in grace but there is a veil over your face there are businessmen there are captains of industry right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the holy spirit burn those fails right now burn those fails right now turn it into a prayer every fail covering the glory of god upon my life he says but thou O lord art a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the holy ghost and it must give way now you came to church this is the house of god lift your voice and pray Thou, O Lord, are the shield for me. You 
are my glory, you are my glory, you are my glory, the lifter up of my head, the lifter up of my destiny. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him. Was you praying? Hear me. Except God did not send me. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke, over your life, over your ministry, I stand by the rod of the apostolic. I stand by the rod of the prophetic. I declare judgment on strange spirits, judgment on foundation, judgment on yokes of darkness. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night bring them out the force that will not let you go this is koinonia the force that will not let you go i stand by the god of heaven the god of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind i declare it must let you go now the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty the Holy Ghost is ministering to me there are people in business here every time good things are about to happen there are forces familiar spirits that stand to shut doors i'm praying for business people i stand by the unction of jesus and i declare anyone here in business whatever power has refused to let you advance in the name of jesus at the count of three it comes under fire one two three go 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 release your destiny release your businesses in the name of jesus christ it says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves every long-standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go hear me i don't care what it is called blood disease genotype issues recurrent things eating your finances destroying the destiny of your family at the count of three you will shout jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now all kinds of spirits that are at the back of mysterious infirmities are you ready now at the count of three shout that name that is above every other name one two three shout jesus be healed be healed blood condition be healed Heart condition, be healed. Migraine, be healed. All kinds of bodily infirmities. Let me pray one more prayer. 
whoever is sitting on what is yours between now and the end of this month i stand by the god of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy please hear what i'm saying again i repeat whoever is sitting exchanging your destiny by the god of heaven i declare my god will uproot them my god will uproot them my god will uproot them in front here i decree and declare standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life i speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of god let them go now by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. But the Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus inside and outside. I want you to bring them here in the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion, and the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I break chains. Bring them out. I break chains. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must leave you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar pateke barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head Kita 
release that family all of them release that family not just one person release that family this is a whole family under bondage release them release them release them now release them now father mother siblings release them in the name of jesus i'm seeing a family no one gives back fruitfulness is a challenge the lord is releasing that family right now in the name of jesus christ this is koinonia every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place i command that spirit to give way right now with the name of jesus I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus. This change that I see on people's feet, it's time to release them right now you've been at the same position for many years the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing more is growing in the name of jesus i take authority over it i take authority over it hear me anyone that digs a pit for you here i declare the earth will open and swallow them The Bible says, and the Lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. All of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the spirit, I open up every closed door right now and in the name of Jesus we release you to prophetic dimensions move to the next levels of your life next levels of your destinies in the name of Jesus Christ ah, one more time whatever will not let you go I call on my God who is also your God may he clear them out of the way May he clear them out of your way. May he clear them out of your way. Every obstacle that will not let you advance, I call on my God to clear them out of your way. And I declare over your life, hear me. I declare over your life, anyone who will not let you rest in this season. The Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means i declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Please give it to us and then we pray. Exodus chapter 3. Let your hearts be open. Please be prayerful. Don't be distracted help us media please read with me 
if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of God bring them out we're praying now I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer please this is the prayer that will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because I'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when I pray that grace the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of Jesus I want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed God of wonders I pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness capacity tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now I'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women I'm seeing chains people who have been bound I stretch my hands I'm seeing the number 13 I don't know where you are but right now I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now 
he must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic. I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people. I'm seeing some of you have prayed. Some of you have fasted. You have seen it in dreams and visions. The prophetic is real. I know that there are abuses and the rest. But please don't confuse that. There are people who can step into this grace. I want to stretch my hands. Father, I do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium. But there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine. My my God I'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman I activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of Jesus step into levels of fire in the name of Jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of Jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back 
to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you Mateus Kani Parahasia and it has refused to open I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hidden Tita Ephata be open hidden Tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying Open your mouth and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare grace upon your prayer life. In the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them I pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of Jesus I declare Colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of Jesus Christ The Bible says and I will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one I stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of Jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and 
the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent in the name of jesus i stand again with the angels over this house and i declare over your finances in a very strange way for the bible declares believe the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of Jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in Africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of God every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged I declare we push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart I hope you don't see it as carnal there are people here the grace for territory is not yet on you you've been in this city for a long time but it looks like you have not gotten your own place I want to shift you by prophecy standing in partnership with the man of God you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you and they dug a well and the philistines covered it they dug another one they covered it then they dug the third one and they left them they called it rehoboth he said god has given me my own space i prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between now and the end of this year have your own space i give you your own portion in this city in this land in in the name of Jesus Christ the decree and the prayer hear me that any voice that speaks against you until now I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare that voice is silenced forever silence forever in the name of Jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment I stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and I command your life to continue to receive it in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to the spirit of death I command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare whether in ministry whether in business whatever area of your life i stand by the grace of god and i declare walk under open heavens walk under open heavens i speak open heavens for ministry open heavens for career 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I, for those of you that God will honor to be in the ministry, I strengthen your hands. Make maximum impact by the Spirit. Signs and wonders. The accurate communication of the Word of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Regardless of your background, I forbid you from being ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has refused to work in your life, by this grace that you have received, I command it to begin to work in the name of Jesus. May your eyes be opened. Access to illumination by the Spirit. I declare that the Holy Spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the graces allocated for your offices. May you step into those graces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the Bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water everyone is allocated to a spiritual family this is a tribe and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and i will multiply them they will not be few and i will glorify them they will not be small i speak that prophecy over your life in the name of jesus christ the last prayer i will pray for you for is the gift of men the grace the bible says the lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you in the name of jesus christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of god in the mighty name of jesus father i pray even for these ones and i decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of jesus i declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of god the father the name of god the son and the spirit i decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of god in the mighty name of jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life i speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of jesus christ access to kings in the name of jesus christ i have set before you an open door i decree and declare 
the kind of influence that God can put upon a man influence is not a carnal desire it is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life in the name of Jesus the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now the grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now thank you lord jesus every man who must honor and recognize what you carry i speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of jesus in this month of october i command someone must celebrate your grace someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty in the name of jesus i compel men to discern the grace upon your life i compel men to discern the hand of god upon you i compel men to discern the unction upon you father we thank you for tonight let the name of the lord be praised let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances please allow me pray it god sees my heart god sees how much i pray for you every time there is a dimension of the blessings of the lord that i want you to step into and the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you i pray for you in the name of jesus the wealth that comes by prophecy i speak to your life carry that grace now 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 i command your bands to be filled with plenty i speak wine and oil to your treasury in the mighty name of jesus christ The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessings. Let me pray for you. Multiplied visions and spiritual experiences. Hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying no every utterance is backed by the throne i'm not speaking as a man when god calls men he backs them and that every door you must enter in this season because we advance through the entrance of doors i speak to that door let it be open for you now let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and satan we will stand as watchmen 
until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that i'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace i may be a young man but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see i want you to believe it you have taken all the shame you've taken all disappointments you've taken all the pain You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my weakness. Nina Yimaka. Nina Yimaka. Sujana. Nina Yimaka. Don't, don't sing I'm praying for you You've taken all my sadness You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my limitations You've taken all my poverty You've taken all my dishonor You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my limitations You've taken all my struggles You have made them yours You have made them yours You've taken all my sadness You've taken all my tears You've taken all my sorrow You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my struggles You've taken all my fears You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my mountains You've taken all those mountains You've taken all my mountains I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you, I give you, Lord, for everything you've done in my life. Lord, I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you. I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper i release it from the depth of my spirit the lord has given me uncommon honor and influence honor is a mantle it can be put on people I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision everyone connected with this grace right now as I speak may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now take it now take it now strength honor grace for influence I know our time is gone but just pay attention you are receiving something that will change your life I decree and declare there is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise there is a grace 
that can bring help us from anywhere i prophesy to you let help us start appearing in your destiny from today let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today hallelujah i am a product of encounters both the ones i prayed for and the ones i did not pray for encounters have brought me strange graces encounters of angels encounters with the realm of the spirit i open you up to a portal in the realm of the spirit begin to have encounters from today impartations I've received have come to me in visions where literally in visions I receive impartations I have met with the saints the spirits of judgment made this is not diabolism I have received from men in the flesh but I've received from men in the spirit I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit every mantle every grace that must make the supernatural begin to work in your life receive it right now in the name of Jesus Hear me? everyone in ministry here from today I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders strange signs and wonders strange signs a performance a performance of the world hallelujah I pray for everyone here called into the area of business called into the area of finances or anyone trusting God to lift you there is a grace that establishes men I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen i've shared with you the story i don't talk too much about myself hallelujah it was last year right here in three weeks god gave me a gold mine in three weeks god gave me a gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine i never saw it once till i got it there is a grace that empowers men you better believe it i stand here tonight in the name that is above all names i prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings into prepared blessings beyond your certificate enter into prepared blessings beyond your job enter into prepared blessings one of the things i've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection there are many of you the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that place. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today. I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray.
glory for you quarter to shame may help arise for you the last prayer i'm going to pray for you is for speed some of us are too slow and it's not just by god something that would take you two days will take you six months it's not a testimony again i want to prophesy speed he must land on someone he may not come on everybody but lord god i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i'm praying may somebody here carry this mantle of speed in the name of jesus speed of performance speed of performance speed of performance speed of performance hear me whoever fights you in the name of jesus the god that i serve that person goes down instantly from today i don't know what has left your life you are crying till now because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Jacob's kata, Mantes Calabria Tacososia, Jebreze Sutos Comaria Tacata, Ebrede Sekete Kete Rekete, Rekoto Shopoto, Ebratas Calamba Shakia, Mareke Poscote Sekete Kete, Ebreto Koto Pelekete. Everything that left your life in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now hallelujah and for everyone who is a worker in this place in the name of jesus i decree to you let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands. Because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus Receive it in the name of Jesus. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. 
Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here, trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus, may the voice of God come to you and bring you direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do, I speak over your life. Go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. In the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May that favor come upon your life. May that favor come upon your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level. Between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper. Right now, shekatatata, reketeketa, everything that has died in your hands. I don't care what it is. I'm prophesying to you. Everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, that same voice that called Lazarus from the grave, right now calls that dying business from the grave. Calls that dying destiny from the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is dead in your life comes alive now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands as I prophesy everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything. Shabala katabala da bala da 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 bala da bala. Shibara da 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 bala da bala da bala. Shout amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here. Trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus, may the of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus 
the kind of favor you have not seen from january till now in the name of the lord jesus christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they are lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command the restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus 
every legal access satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration yeah. hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ for those of you that god will honor to be in the ministry i strengthen your hands make maximum impact by the spirit signs and wonders the accurate communication of the word of god in the name of jesus christ i declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation in the name of jesus christ regardless of your background i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ everything that has refused to work in your life by this grace that you have received i command it to begin to walk in the name of jesus may your eyes be open access to illumination by the spirit i declare that the holy spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces are located for your offices may you step into those graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare 
the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water everyone is allocated to a spiritual family this is a tie and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and i will multiply them they will not be few and i will glorify them they will not be small i speak that prophecy over your life in the name of jesus christ the last prayer i will pray for you for is the gift of men the grace the bible says the lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you in the name of jesus christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of god in the mighty name of jesus the father i pray even for these ones and i decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of jesus i declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of god the father the name of god the son and the spirit i decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of god in the mighty name the of grace jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life i speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of jesus christ access to kings in the name of jesus christ I have sent before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now the grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, 
I compel men to descend the grace upon your life. I compel men to descend the hand of God upon you. I compel men to descend the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me to pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. I speak wine and oil to your treasury. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessings. Let me pray for you. Multiplied visions and spiritual experiences. Hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing. I tear that veil now. I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself, I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ. Listen. Don't sit back doubting what you are saying. No. Every utterance is backed by the throne. I'm not speaking as a man. When God calls men, he backs them. And that every door you must enter in this season. Because we advance through the entrance of doors. I speak to that door. Let it be open for you now. Let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and satan we will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory rest brothers and sisters hear me if you believe in this prayer that i'm praying for you it will change your life this thing you see is an election of grace i may be a young man but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see i want you to believe it you have taken all the shame You've taken all disappointments You've taken all the pain You've taken all my sorrows You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears You've taken all my weakness Nina Yimaka don't don't sing i'm praying for you you've taken all my sadness you've taken all my weakness 
You've taken all my limitations You've taken all my poverty You've taken all my dishonor You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my limitations You've taken all my struggles You have made them yours You have made them yours You've taken all my sadness You've taken all my tears You've taken all my sorrow You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my struggles You've taken all my fears You've taken all my weakness You've taken all my mountains You've taken all those mountains You've taken all my mountains I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I give you Lord for everything you've done in my life Lord I give you I give you I give you my highest praise I give you I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper I release it from the depth of my spirit The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle. It can be put on people. I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now, as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. Strength honor. Grace for influence. I know our time is gone, but just pay attention. You are receiving something that will change your life. I decree and declare. There is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise. There is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere. I prophesy to you, let helpers start appearing in your destiny from today. Let helpers start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces. Encounters of angels. Encounters with the realm of the spirit. I open you up to a portal in the realm of the spirit. Begin to have encounters from today. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Visitations of angels. Visitations of the spirit. Visitations in visions. Visitations in dreams. May they bring you scriptures. May they bring you revelations. Listen. A lot of the impartations I've received 
have come to me in visions well literally in visions i receive impartations i have met with the saints the spirits of just men made this is not diabolism i have received from men in the flesh but i've received from men in the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit every mantle every grace that must make the supernatural begin to walk in your life receive it right now in the name of jesus hear me everyone in ministry here from today i launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders strange signs and wonders strange signs a performance a performance of the world hallelujah i pray for everyone here called into the area of business called into the area of finances or anyone trusting god to lift you there is a grace that establishes men i decree and declare in the name of the lord jesus christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen i've shared with you the story i don't talk too much about myself hallelujah it was last year right here in three weeks god gave me a gold mine in three weeks god gave me a gold mine 18.7 hectares of a gold mine i never saw it once till i got it there is a grace that empowers men you better believe it i stand here tonight in the name that is above all names i prophesy to you enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings enter into prepared blessings beyond your certificate enter into prepared blessings beyond your job enter into prepared blessings one of the things i've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection there are many of you the moment you are in trouble nobody arises to help you you sit there you fight alone and die alone are we together now i want to pray for you this one i've not seen many people walk in that grace there is a grace that immunes you from trouble we live in a wicked world you don't have to look for anybody's trouble someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life nobody to speak for you i pray for you in the name of jesus christ the god of israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today i don't know what brings shame to your life i create a wall of defense around you receive that grace from today in the name of jesus christ i pray for you water to shame may help arise for you the last prayer i'm going to pray for you is for speed some of us are too slow and it's not just by god something that will take you two days will take you six months it's not a testimony again i want to prophesy speed he must land on someone he may not come on everybody but lord god i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i'm praying may somebody here carry this mantle of speed in the name of jesus speed of performance speed of performance speed of performance speed of performance hear me whoever fights you in the name of jesus the god that i serve that person goes down instantly from today
I don't know what has left your life. You are crying till now because it looks like when you miss that thing, you miss everything. Shekos kata mantes kalabria takososia shebreze sutos kobaria takata ebreze sekete kete kere kete rekoto shoko koto ebratas kalapashadia mareke posko te sekete kete ebreto koto bere kete everything that left your life in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now hallelujah and for everyone who is a worker in this place in the name of jesus i decree to you let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, or shrine, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. respect the power of prophecy I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything Shabala katabala da bala da 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 bala da bala. Shibara da 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 bala da bala da bala. Shout amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here, trusting God for direction. In the name of Jesus, may the of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are 
everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated 
in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the tears we release the concept we release the insight in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you you have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides the sweet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ anointing in the sanctuary there is a stillness in the atmosphere oh come lay down the burden for in the sanctuary God. when these words begin to come please listen to me I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life and what is it doing changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of God's word the power of God is touching that woman on purple help that woman I'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you Jesus the son of God prayer point number one I like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that are seen are temporal the sickness that I see is temporal the oppression that I see is temporal is someone pray Ilamatoshi, Arapa Palagada Frodo Shekepa, 
e la mosata de roshika e te prekete she paladonza alleluia alleluia i sense that tonight god is not only visiting individuals but god is extending it even to families i began to sense that right from wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but god is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now lift your voice in one minute and say father not just me but everyone connected to me please pray not just me is someone praying? Outside, pray. Online, pray. Jesus, the lifter. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, the restorer. Hallelujah. 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 Please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, Paul is speaking to the church in Rome, 15 and verse 19. It says, through mighty signs and wonders, and by the power of the Spirit of God, oh dear, it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Ilricum, I have Preach fully, preach the gospel of Christ. So the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles, signs, and wonders. Right now, just before we pray, just stand still, everybody, where you are. No shouting, no nothing. I just want you to bring for me those who are under the anointing, whether inside or outside. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities. Just moving across, inside and outside, touching people. And the Lord is giving me an instruction. Just bring the people out. Some of you, it's not just individuals. God is touching families, using individuals. Now, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Um, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing like fire. I saw the number 43 and I'm seeing it come on people. And the Lord is telling me he's visiting foundations. That's what I'm hearing. Right now, I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative found. Help them. Raise. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. 
Bring them out. This is the place of surrender. The word of God. This is the place where your life is changed. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me chains. I'm seeing chains on the feet of people. And the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands. And right now, as I stretch my hands, every chain, chains of ancestry that has held anyone down, bring them out. I decree and declare right now chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I bless the word of God upon your life, upon your destiny. Chains. Be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. The Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere shift now, chains be broken. Break out, Holy Spirit, who now heaven's open, heaven's Hallelujah. open. Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on, please. I'm hearing a name, Kemi Olua Kemi. We have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Olua Kemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From your state. Or your state. Where are you from? From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now. Never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, hold on please. This woman, please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God, tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitations. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see, the thing about the power of God is that he can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Where are you from? I don't sit. Huh? I don't sit, sir. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people, for that name, Olua Kemi. Two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you right now the supernatural power of god is coming on you it's not something you can stand this is the word of god we're talking about the word of god here now in the name of jesus every oppression over every olua can we help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar please in the name of jesus madam i stretch my hands in the name of jesus right now i'm seeing light entering you let there be a, a miracle in your body right now now in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. 
I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name, but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking, a supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. According to the word of the Lord, I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations. Please let them not just get up and move like that. There is a reason why we ask them to come out. It's not for show at all. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance right now. Let there be deliverance right now. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a family in total. Plus mother and father, I'm seeing a family of seven. You came here. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing my left side. The Lord is telling me that they are from my left side. Here. Just somewhere here. Is there a family like that? Please come. A family of in total seven. This is what the Lord is showing me. Do we have anyone like that? Please make sure they are correct. Don't, we are not lying. We are not faking it. They came here. Let them come, please. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. I decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the Spirit, every devil that will not let you go. Hear the word of the Lord. I declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three, release their destinies now. One, two, three. Go. Go now. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is the family I spoke about? Just vet them. Let's be sure that... Um, <laughs> Hallelujah. Seven. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that family right now. Seven, this is what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing in my vision. Are they here? Let them stand here. I will pray for everyone who has come, but particularly. Family of seven, where are they? Okay, let me pray. And then everyone who has come, no problem. You can join them. Father, now, out of her now. Help that woman. Out now, in the name of Jesus. Release that family by the power of the Holy Spirit. Release them now, in the name of Jesus. Someone remove the child. If she's holding a child, so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Hallelujah. Where are you from, sir? We stay in Lagos. You stay where? In Lagos. Sir. In Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray for you. These are all your children, the family. Yes. Father, look at me. I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit and the Lord is saying to lose your hand. This is another family. That's all right. I'll pray for them. The, one of your daughters is going to be used by God. And the power of God is going to come on that person right now as I'm speaking. Father, I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, may that anointing that separates, that consecrates and makes mighty, may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of jesus christ and in the name of jesus i cut you away from this delay in the name of jesus christ and for this other family that has come in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from from kogi state kogi state yes sir. i want to pray for you okay. say i shall not die i shall not die in jesus name one more time, say I shall not die. I shall not die. I decree and declare because I'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit. Yes, you have been having dreams. Yes, Is that true? Yes, sir. And you see dead people in the dream. Yes, sir. Sometimes you even see that you are the one who died. Yes, in sir. the name of Jesus Christ, the plague of death 
ends now. And I use that as a point of contact over everyone here. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones, Shapakatos Ketepada, in the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Help them, please. Help the little one. Now, every family here represented, I stretch my hands and I declare, go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Go forward in Jesus' name. Please stretch your hands. I want to pray for you right now. I'm seeing that the power of God is coming on certain people. I'm seeing the number 18. I'm going to pray for those inside. I don't know why God is ministering to those outside. But right now, those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And I want you to bring all the people under the anointing. Outside. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Right now, I command those devils to leave. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, bring them outside. Right now, I decree and I declare by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. My God, I'm seeing yokes breaking. Breaking right now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Let there be miracles right now. In the name of Jesus. Strong deliverances even for families. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Let there be deliverance now. Those outside yokes are breaking. Breaking, breaking, breaking for those outside. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now those of us inside at the count of three, I want to pray for you now. Please pay attention. It is true that there are spirits that oppress people. It is true that there are spirits that sit upon the destinies of people and continue to sabotage the purposes of God. Mysterious occurrences in your life. Habits that you cannot stop. Patterns that cannot be broken. Are you ready now? All the other overflows following online. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. That name that is above every other name. As you shout that one who is oppressed, every family under captivity, under the sound, under the sound of my voice, as they shout that name, exalted as both Lord and Christ, let there be deliverance right now. Are you ready, Koinonia? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus! Release their destinies now. Please bring them out. Inside, outside. Release their destinies now. Release their families now. Help that woman, please. Release them now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Please bring them. Bring all of them out. I like you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare, I am free from everything that ties me down. Please pray. Lift your voice and pray. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't be distracted. I declare liberty. I am free by the power of the Holy Ghost. All the overflows in the name of Jesus. Free. Every devil, every spirit in the name of Jesus, every spirit manifesting in your dreams, taking you back and programming things to your destiny. Right now, I declare fire at the count of three. One, two, three. Every devil from the dream realm, I cast you. Let them go now. Release their destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Is there anyone here by the name Ishaku? I'm hearing the name Ishaku. Is there someone with that name? Your name? Huh? What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. What's your name? Daniel Ishaku. Daniel Ishaku. Madam, is your name Ishaku? Hold on. Where is your son? You couldn't make it. What is his name? Ishaku. Where is he? Yes, in Dawaki. I need to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, please, if that is your not your name, please don't come out. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God according to the word of the lord i pray for you right now a visitation comes not only to your life but to your entire family i stretch my hands towards you and i declare be free now 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you life i bring you freedom by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Now, the Lord is telling me he wants to help them, please, up the balcony. The Lord is speaking to me. There are families where it is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking you are, the husband is the wife and the wife is the husband, practically speaking. And it may not necessarily be because of laziness. It's just a spiritual pattern that has destroyed people. Right now, I'm praying anyone connected to such a family or such a condition right now the power of god is coming upon you and in case you are standing here and your loved ones are victims of that pattern it is the lord revealing this to me in the name of jesus christ right now right now by the power of the holy spirit be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah now this is an interesting thing i'm seeing but let me pray it anyway there are people the lord is telling me it started from last year using the guise of the pandemic but it's not really about the pandemic you have been losing money consistently till now consistently whether you are in business or not money has been a gradual decline by the spirit of god we're not worshiping money here but if god gives a word on that wise we must respond to what he's saying i want to pray for you now because there are some of you altars have been activated using the guise of the pandemic you will be surprised to see what happens to you now father i am praying even as you have instructed me there are individuals here and there are families that this spirit has tied down the resources of the families and continues to bring them down right now let the power of god touch you where you are let the power of god touch you where you are let the power of god touch you where you are let the power of god touch you where you are let the power of god touch you where you are in the name of jesus christ I'm seeing a very interesting revelation. This is for pastors. This word I'm about to give is for pastors. I'm hearing in my spirit that the seasons of retrogression, the seasons of delay, you are a man of God here, please listen, because something is about to come upon you. If there are people under the anointing at this word, I just want you to bring them out. Right now, you are, you are in ministry here. The Lord is saying the powers that are holding you down, whether male or female, you are in ministry missions pastoral ministry right now i decree and declare there is speed that is coming may that grace come upon you right now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now help them please take that grace now no more delay an unction is coming from heaven changing your condition by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
hallelujah reverend sir the lord is giving me a word for your wife and the lord is saying she's stepping into a new season of the prophetic and of favor these two graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now madam by the spirit of the living god and according to the word of the lord don't bring her out just keep her there step into that season of the prophetic and activation of the grace and the gifting of the spirit upon your life and also of the season of favor in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing 11 people this is a vision i always see when god is speaking to me about promotion or increase i usually see men climbing ladders and i'm seeing 11 people the power of god is coming on them right now the lord is telling me that your lifting is a strange season you know i began to announce this from last year please believe what i'm telling you in the name of jesus father where are they whether in career in business in politics right now take that grace that grace that lifts take that grace in governance and politics take that grace in the name of jesus you are climbing that ladder and no power will stop you in the name of jesus christ help this man please help honorable please hold him I speak to you again by prophecy that in the name of Jesus Christ for as many as I've seen some of you are in a season of promotion but as it is there are councils sitting down and there are voices that want to bring you down I stand by the grace God has given me help them please I push you now step into a new season I push you now by prophecy step into a new season this woman holding a phone i'm seeing fire coming on her this one holding a phone in front right now i don't know what it is but there is mighty deliverance coming for you and your family take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke everything that is not of god let it release you and let it release your family in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a name jennifer my goodness there is such breakthrough coming for that family who is jennifer don't tell lies please we are serious people here i told you by faith you can connect it doesn't have to be please let's so that there is a breakthrough because i'm seeing i just saw what looked like coals of fire on an altar and I just saw it being destroyed and I saw a door open this is what I saw in the name of Jesus Christ for this family those of you standing in front right now every altar tying your destiny down right now no matter how long it has stayed those in front here fire is coming upon you I set that altar now in the name of Jesus I set that altar right now on fire it must let you go now I release your destiny I release your destiny everything holding your lifting it comes under judgment now madam this woman please tap that woman for me lift your hands the lord is saying your life is about to change now i release that grace upon you right now this unction for you this week will not pass madam you will see the way god will turn help her please god is turning things around in the name of jesus christ you see let me tell you this there is a fearful side to god when he begins to move just like that he will turn things around just like that i pray for all of you right now fire from heaven let it come upon your life and turn your story around take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now in the name of jesus christ for the family from kano madam these are your children there are two i'm seeing two in the spirit where are they 
Where's the other one? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's all right. I pray for you. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that represents hardship, we bring it under judgment now. There is a family that I'm seeing a pattern of the death of men. Men in that family. The Lord wants me to pray right now. A pattern of death. Either male children, male husbands, male father, just male figures. Just keep disappearing. Where is that family? It's time for your breakthrough right now. Where are you coming from? Where is this family I spoke about? Just a spirit that kills men. Please, people of God, look at this. Look at this for God's sake. How wicked and devilish the devil is. All your brothers are dead. Hold on, please. Let me talk to this lady. Where are you coming from? Don't, don't cry. How many of your brothers? <laughs> two, my two brothers. They are all gone. Those are the only brothers are my dad. And your dad is gone. Yes. <laughs> you see, the Bible says how God anointed Jesus. Look how many people are coming. One word from God. Now imagine for God's sake that you leave these same people. Because it would destroy them and also destroy the male people who are here. Please help them. They should be careful with that the, the metal stand or um, protocol. You should be able to help them on that. Please. Are you seeing what I'm saying? The stand here. Please. The ones in front here too. So they don't fall on it. Look at this. Now all of you look at me. You are standing here because you believe in the power of God. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Such fire will fall on you. And I'm telling you that altar, I don't care how long it is, but my Bible says, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us at the count of three. Father, I pray that every altar tying down and killing men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance now. The spirit and the altar that destroys men, we bring you under judgment. You are under arrest now. You are under arrest now. I release life to this family. Life to this family. And hear me. For some of you who the ones who left were the breadwinners of the family i pray may god raise someone else take that grace now may god raise someone else for some of you that someone else is you i place that mantle on your head now go and help your family go and lift your family you may not look like it but let this unction come upon you I, 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 Many of you will come to testify here because doors will begin to open from one door to another door to another door. And as I'm praying for them, I'm praying for everyone too. That in the name of Jesus, hear me, hear me please. And believe what I'm saying. If there is any family here that does not have at least one person lifted by God to, be, to help that family. I stand by the God of my salvation. Right now, I, may God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. May God raise people in that family now. I raise you by prophecy. I connect you to destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace. A grace. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit help. 
and visibility and this grace is coming on everyone but particularly those in the music ministry this is what i'm saying uh, maybe i worship team people in the name of jesus help many of you want to move beyond this level but i'm seeing that there are powers tying people down even though you are worshipers i stretch my hands let me use our worship people as a point of contact that fire comes on you now from nowhere may help arise for you and anyone here following online who is in the worship ministry the ministry of psalmistry i declare help arises for you now help arises for you now help them please help arises for you now may the lord give your ministry visibility hallelujah praise the name of the lord now let's pray for the sick if you came here trusting the lord for a miracle either for yourself or for someone you're standing in for some of you have already been healed with all the several ministrations but right now i want to minister particularly to the sick if you came with someone you can lay hands on that person now whatever the condition remember what i taught you the maker is also the changer please lay your hands any part of your body you're trusting god for a miracle for please lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you right now believe in miracles some of you are standing in for your loved ones go ahead stand in for them and there are people following online you're following from whatever tv station you're following from the internet by way of social media please connect by faith jesus still heals the bible declares jesus the same yesterday today and forever please connect with someone right now i really believe in miracles did you know that there are people who connect every week from hospitals i know there are people on sick beds right now connecting several hospitals across the world this is because there is a healing jesus and he does heal he still heals I need to speak over your life as we're entering what we know to be ember months i don't know why what is it about this month but they seem to hold some mysterious tragedies for people it takes the prophetic word that comes from scripture to build a system of immunity over your life and over your loved ones are you ready now please lay your hands let's pray i believe in jesus i truly believe in miracles i believe god heals I believe he will heal right now just agree with me as I pray the power of God is flowing right now father in the name of Jesus you are the healer and you said in your name will cast out devils in your name will heal the sick I am praying right now every spirit that is back of the challenges that your people have been having all kinds of challenges i command those spirits to give way now i command those spirits to give way now right now let the power of the holy spirit begin to move from my left to my right from the front to the back from inside outside be healed now yes. be healed now yes. ulcers of all sorts be healed now yes. yet now yes. organ failure system failure let there be restoration now yes. there is someone i don't know whether you are here or you are in a hospital following online you have it's like your kidney is damaged the lord is giving you a brand new kidney now a brand new kidney now eye conditions of all sorts be healed now by the power of the holy spirit any kind of lump in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare all lumps go now all those who are on crutches wheelchairs or those who were carried on stretchers 
in the name of Jesus I bring you life be healed now every kind of bone condition back pain pains in your around your muscles your your abdominal region be healed right now in Jesus name there's someone who has what we know to be nose bleeding just like that for no reason blood starts coming out of your nose the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone you have suffered a terrible affliction of skin infection you have tried to treat it and treat it and it looks like nothing is gone right now I'm praying for you you will know the power of God has touched you because the itching will stop instantly be healed in Jesus name there is someone's father also I'm seeing I don't know if it's a kidney kidney condition someone's father the Lord is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ all forms of hearing problems be healed right now in Jesus name hotness in the body severe heat in the body be healed right now in Jesus name now there is someone no matter what you eat it's like you have a problem a unique problem of indigestion it doesn't matter what you eat you have this problem sometimes you even have to throw up what you are eating right now in Jesus name the power of God is touching you now all kinds of pain pain around your body be healed right now high blood pressure low blood pressure be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone the side just around your side here I don't know what particularly is the problem but around your side there has been you don't even sleep with that side you have to sleep on one side of the bed right now the power of God is touching you now in the name of Jesus any challenge with your shoulder your shoulder area right now the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ all conditions of bleeding stops now stops now in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know the name of this condition where people bite their tongue it looks like um, this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing someone like shaking convulsion in the name of Jesus Christ I command anyone whether following online in your room you're having that condition bringing injuries to yourself it looks like an epileptic condition be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit now all those who are standing in for someone if you're here you're standing I'm seeing people lifting phones connecting their loved ones or x-rays or whatever it is in the name of Jesus let the power of God from here touch your loved ones right now touch your loved ones right now someone you came here you are you can't bend easily as soon as I'm done praying for you try to bend right now you will see that the power of God has come upon you granting you the ability to bend in the name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name now whether I mention your case or not I speak to you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed now be healed now be healed now now I declare Lord we are stepping into the month of September the last quarter of the year blood sucking spirits eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood whether by accident on the road whether by plane crashes by boat crashes by activities of wicked and evil men 
in the name of Jesus may a mark of exemption come upon everyone here for a strange reason the ember months are known as months of catastrophe tragedies of all sorts but in the name of Jesus may the God of heaven preserve you may the God of heaven preserve you and I declare over your life the favor of God that is his signature upon believers may that favor rest upon you hear me every troubled family here under the sound of my voice I speak to you peace be still everyone here who is in politics and government our parliamentarians people from the presidency we declare wisdom for you wisdom for you to help this nation in the name of Jesus Christ we pray for those in the legal profession by the power that raised Christ from the dead wisdom to administer justice in the name of Jesus every man and woman of God here the grace upon you to teach truth with power and accuracy in the name of Jesus Christ now every every spirit responsible for lack want financial hardship and poverty don't say it is not important this is a very important prayer I pray for you and all connected to you in the name of Jesus Christ may the season of drought come to an end in your life those trusting God for jobs I release my faith with you that doubles also for those trusting God for promotions in the name of Jesus may the Lord give it to you now any project you have begun that seems to be failing in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare receive the finishers anointing the grace for completion comes on you in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for everyone here who has any kind of legal issue you are having whether land problem whatever it is in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you even this week may the Prince of Peace step in and turn things around whatever has affected your prayer life so that your fire for prayer the discipline of prayer and intercession is no longer there may fresh fire come upon your altar now and then I pray for your word study life everything that has affected your passion for the word I am busy I am busy I pray that in the name of Jesus let there be restoration of fire any wrong ungodly association at any level that is in your life driving you to walk against the will and the purposes of God be separated from those associations now now receive these prophetic words anyone here trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I pray for you some of you between now and next Sunday not next not next week between now and next Sunday I call upon the God of my covenant may you return with jobs that will surprise you please receive it prophecy is powerful number two I pray for you any door that has refused to open and you know it needs to open for the next level of your destiny whoever is sitting as the gatekeeper I will not let that door open we clear them out of the way in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anybody holding what belongs to you and has refused to release it in the name of Jesus we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it gets to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace hear me every helper of your destiny who has been ignoring you until now I place an anointing upon you this week they have no rest till they get up and attend to you I want to pray for you there are some of you like Mordecai 
you have helped many people from destruction and you have not been rewarded mordecai helped the king and they still left him on the ground at the gate but the bible says that night could not king ahazaroth sleep i pray for you anybody you have helped and the season of reward has come and they have refused to attend to you this night by prophecy i opened the book of remembrance i opened the book of remembrance may the mercy of god locate you for your lifting let me pray for those due for promotion the bible says promotion does not come from the east the west or the south indeed it comes from the north mount zion the side of the north the bible calls it the city of the great king i pray for you all of you who are due for promotion in the name of jesus may my god who is also your god may he surprise you listen promotion does not mean giving you another rank promotion means another level anyone here who came with any point of contact whether your credentials whether documents whether whatever it is in the name of jesus i declare them anointed i declare them anointed i declare them anointed let me pray for all who are in business here you are in business provided your business is legitimate and is scriptural i stand by the god of heaven and i declare may grace from heaven that brings for increase for influence for visibility may it rest upon the works of your hands i pray for those who are in politics and governance by the power that raised christ from the dead i announce to you by the spirit of grace let this be your season of lifting believe me these are not empty words let this be your season of lifting hallelujah now i want to release a grace on anyone here who is in ministry or is called in the fivefold ministry there are many many people who are called into the fivefold ministry but there has not been that activation of the grace and the oil wherever you are i stretch my hands god of heaven prophetic mantles right now in the name of jesus everyone called into the prophetic help them paruska the eyes that see the ears that hear may that grace i activate prophetic fountains in the name of jesus accuracy in perception in the name of jesus there are people here based on your divine assignment you should be carrying certain anointings healing anointings anointings for the sick where are they oh god please help them right now anyone here who should carry the mantle for healing i stretch my hands may the power from heaven let it in the name of jesus healing grace healing fountains healing mantles take that grace healing grace i say it again go back and meet the sick in your homes in your environment get them out of those dead beds in the name of jesus christ there are people here the mantle for leadership has been looking for you mantle for leadership i want to pray for you anyone here who should carry that grace for leadership whether you are aware or not i stretch my hands wherever you are within this auditorium and outside may that grace locate you now carry that grace for leadership carry that carry that grace for leadership There are kingdom financiers that God is raising in this end time. Financial apostles indeed. People who understand the purpose of the wealth of the kingdom. Help them please. More than just self-aggrandizement. More than just I'm getting a car. 
or a house that's not the purpose for wealth in the name of jesus everyone here who must take off that mantle i can tell you there is a mantle for wealth i decree and declare wherever you are in may that grace rest on you now take that anointing take that anointing take that anointing let it open strange doors for you in the name of jesus I want to release a grace for access and visibility hear me it's one thing to have the value whether spiritual whether whatever it is there are many gifted people looking at me here and following but you see there is a grace that makes men identify you and give you visibility so that you will find expression the Bible says neither do men light a lamp there are many anointed people here but the grace to locate you for as long as samuel did not carry that oil david even though he was killing the lion even though he could lead israel he remained in the bush the grace for visibility takes men from the bush and it puts you where you belong i have tasted of that grace i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead anyone here who should rise to visibility for people to see what you carry so that you can represent God in your assigned territory. May that man to rest on you now. May that man to rest on you now. My God, fire is burning here. Just be patient. What you are receiving will bless you. Are you ready for speed now? Oh, there is a grace for speed. There really is a grace for speed. You don't have all the time for everything. I stretch my hands. Koinonia, I speak to you. Marie Scotte Leketia, from today, take the grace for speed. The mantle for speed. The mantle for speed. The grace for speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. 10 years in one month i release it upon you now every man needs destiny help us to rise in life no matter how grace you are even jesus needed john the baptist to announce him I desire to you to come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us I want to call your destiny help us by prophecy father everyone here because I sense in my spirit that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives this is what I sense you are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one but if there is no helper of destiny you can remain there and recycle seasons again I pray for you from the north to the south the east to the west within this nation and outside of this nation wherever the helper of your destiny is I command them to appear now everything that has died in your life business or whatever endeavor including your spiritual life i call upon jesus who is the resurrection and even the life let there be resurrection to every dead thing now dead organs hear the word of the lord dead visions hear the word of the lord dead families hear the word of the lord dead marriages hear the word of the lord dead businesses hear the word of the lord Dead prayer lives, hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Any wrong association that makes Jesus look unserious to you. How many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love Jesus? Anything that requires you leaving Jesus to get it is not worth your time. Are we together? Therefore, I pray, let there be a divine editing on all your relationships.
we are almost done if the spirit of death is eyeing any family here you know hold on i hope you know whenever it seems as though when we get into the second half of the year from august now into they call it the um ember months september it looks like there is a trend especially in this nation people who have no business dying accidents that don't make sense every blood sucking spirit around the road within this city waiting eaters of flesh aparus cutter and drinkers of blood we decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead there is no place for you this time around you have no covenant with death the same way you saw the second half of the year you will see the end of the year this issue of finances is making many people to leave god in this season people don't pray again they don't fast they don't love god because of this economic thing there are there are different levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value are we together now you provide your value to a targeted consumer base and you are reward and you are rewarded for it that's that's it that's a, a, a level of wealth there is wealth that comes as a re reward for changing lives and impacting people it's called transformational wealth you don't sell that value you give it free but because it is value it is still mandated that you be rewarded but there is a third dimensional wealth called sovereign wealth is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet was he preserved it says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe in his prophet so shall you prosper i stand by the privilege of the election of grace and i prophesy over your finances anyone who is in any financial pit right now come out of it now come out of it now whether personally or corporately come out of it now i call for the mystery of the raven that brought bread to elijah at brook cherry may strangers you do not know may you collide with them at the gates of destiny may they be used marvelously by god to wipe your tears hear me anyone here that there are bills sitting on your neck and it will not give you rest I come by the rod of a higher priesthood this night in the name of Jesus may my God shift systems and structures to bless you everything that has made God Jesus Christ to not be a priority to you don't forget we are not just speaking so that people who have money and cars we are a very spiritual people who love Jesus with passion and with zest and with zeal and if you're connected to this ministry and this vision you must love jesus we are not just some carnal people out to just we teach and communicate the whole counsel of god the highest being your passion and your fire for god can i pray for you in the name of jesus the average faithful person in this house should be serious spiritually you have to take god seriously all this one leg in and one leg out is time to be serious the fire that must come upon your prayer altar as an individual and as a family may that fire rest upon you now what study fire the grace to sit down and study scripture not just to get a sermon but to know god and to learn and to grow to be equipped with intelligence that gives you dominion to excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by the spirit of grace i release you into supernatural living hallelujah some of you are lifting your 
certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you i just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ for some of you that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family in the name of jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are impotent as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus i command all those who will supervise you to favor you there are some of you what you are lifting is your house rent what you are lifting is a building project that is not completed and there is no hope of raising money anywhere i decree and declare by the finger of god i call forth helpers to your life now i call forth helpers to your life now for some of you what you are lifting is your marriage certificate that your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces because of what the devil wants to do in the name of jesus i mend that home right now i mend that home right now for some of you what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body they say you don't have this you don't have that this is absent in your body whatever should be in your body and is not in the name of jesus i call for a replacement now for some of you what you are lifting is your atm card your checkbook or your phone as a sign in the name of jesus i declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the lord god of heaven let it surprise you let it surprise you let it surprise you i 
I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you I don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you I say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of Jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah I'm praying for people here who are trusting God to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my God surprise you I decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1,000 naira in your account now but in the name of Jesus I put properties in your hands I put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what God can do I put properties in your hands I pray for every student here if there is any result that is not your own that you are carrying something you know I don't care whether it's a mistake that was made in hundred level and now you are even spilling over help them please help them in the name of Jesus by the ministry of angels I command a strange change of results a strange change of results a change of results a change of results hear me i want to pray for those who are not doing well you have done your best it's as if there is an embargo on your mind you are not lazy you study you enter the exam hall and everything evaporates when you fail you now remember take note something will happen to you now i decree and declare let an anointing right now i'm feeling it on my own head a strange anointing receive a grace for supernatural intelligence everywhere main auditorium overflow one two three i empower your mind ten times better ten times better i'm praying for you any mortal man on earth who beat his chest and say over his dead body for you and your family to rise i stand here and i answer his prayer anyone who said over his dead body for you to marry over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered now may that prayer be answered now every devil every wizard every necromancer that manipulates the elements of life and declare that they will victimize you i command the earth to open and swallow them listen just follow me few minutes and we're done if there is any of you that your name has been taken to any shrine i don't care where and all kinds of incantations some of us come from very wicked families in the name of jesus not only will your name come out of there both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the sender may the earth open and swallow them both the herbalist and the center may the earth open and swallow them (laughs) 
I know you don't like what I'm saying. Don't mind me. Just let me finish praying. I say again that every territory, whether a village, whether a town, where there are controlling powers sitting on the destinies of men, that you do your best but you never move forward, I command a sword of vengeance tonight. I command a sword of vengeance tonight. Whoever has ignored you and trivialized the hand of God upon your life in the name that is above all names, let there be a strange unction on you tonight. An unction that will force everyone to reckon with the hand of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for every marriage and every home represented here. Listen, this is a ministry where marriages don't break and won't break. I believe in family. I believe in honor. One of the things the devil is doing is walking and tearing a nice man and his wonderful wife. They get married and the devil just gets up and comes to rubbish their lives. I'm prophesying right now in the name that is above all names every family in koinonia here that is shaking the devil in between that is shaking the foundation of that family i curse them right now in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone called barren you are connected to this vision and the devil wants to disgrace you by making sure you continue remaining without a child not tomorrow tonight your baby begins to manifest in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i believe in influence don't reject it don't fight it don't join people in a false sense of spirituality to cheat you influence is one of the ways the kingdom advances i decree and declare wherever you find your place i command you to rise above your equals rise above your contemporaries as a lecturer rise above your equals as a banker rise above your equals as a student rise above your equals they will seek counsel from you they will look for the word of the lord from your mouth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you i have seen this in my life the finger of god was designed to take away shame and reproach from your life the finger of god was designed to come through for you quarter to shame i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ beginning from this night and all through this weekend by men you do not know and by those you already know even if they have helped you before I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I command strange wealth by the finger of God. I prophesy to you right now. Listen, I want you to believe me in the name of Jesus. A stranger you do not know. You don't even know how he got your account number. I compel them by the spirit to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. not everybody is disobedient god has not yet directed them to you that's why they've not responded i pray again father i cry to you this grace that you have put upon this ministry of strange supplies by the finger of god i declare let it come upon everyone now every department from prayer department to worship team ushers welfare department every worker in this house every member in this house those following from every nation strange favor in the name of jesus now please drop your documents just keep your hands let me pray for your spiritual life 
please take note i want to pray because of what will happen i want to pray something must happen to your prayer life something must happen to your access to light something must happen to the grace for miracles and signs and wonders something must happen to your church something must happen about the gift of the spirit some of you have not seen it in your life i want to pray for you please just guide the people whether or not um you are an usher please because of what happens when i pray this kind of prayer please whoever is under the anointing close to you just help just guide them so they don't injure themselves lift your hands i want to pray one minute i long to see you that i might impart my god look at i'm seeing flames this is what i'm seeing all over right to the back flames lord jesus i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit the anointing the grace for prayer and supplication there has to be someone it is looking for receive that grace now receive that grace now take it now receive that grace in jesus name inside outside overflow one two three four five online i release that grace enter a new dimension of prayer a new dimension of fasting in the name of jesus we are still praying lift your hands mm. i pray for you you see the seeing eyes and the hearing ears belongs to the lord god must give you the eyes of an eagle the eyes that can see beyond just the letters i pray for you fire will come upon your eyes i command may your eyes be open to the spirit of revelation insights to scriptures receive it in the name of jesus the gift of the spirit was given to the body of christ the gift of the spirit we no longer respect it and so we are not established i want to pray for you whether it is the revelatory gift whether it is the utterance gift whether it is the power gift i tell you i feel fire in my hands i stretch my hands lord where are they everyone who needs an activation of the gift of the spirit in the name of jesus at the count of three like rain from heaven let it fall upon you one two three take that anointing i command the gift activated now the gift of prophecy step into that dimension the eyes that can see i open you up to visions in the name of jesus christ all those who are called into the fivefold ministry and the grace is not yet sure you are not clear tonight i pray may an unction come upon you that you will know you are called may an unction come upon you sister may an unction come upon you brother may an unction come upon you i call for the catherine coolmans i call for the emmy simple mcpherson's i call you by the spirit i call for the john g lakes i call for the william samos god's generals of our generation hear the clarion call in the spirit i call you forth in the name of jesus everyone in your family that has not given his life to christ hear me if there is any unbeliever it could be your father it could be your mother i declare may the angel of the lord bring strange conviction to them in the name of jesus christ whether they are christians or not i pray that multiplied visions until they give their lives to christ every loved one who is far from here but connected to you whether they are outside this country 
or they are within this country the same power you are receiving tonight i declare may that same power come upon them the same result that your life will command tonight may that same result be given to them whatever has closed the gate of speed speed in marriage speed in achievement speed in establishment for brothers in the name of jesus in this year of signs and wonders believe me between now and i'm speaking a word of prophecy to someone achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years between now achieve what you could not achieve in 10 years there are people as i'm talking now you are not in any relationship but put me to a single lady in the name of jesus there are young men as it is now you don't have up to two thousand naira in your account but in the name of jesus this year you will be having six seven figures in your account if there is anyone here called jobless between now and the end of whether you applied for the job or not i prophesy to you get a job and be established thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head i thank you for lifting 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 my head everyone keep standing The name of what you give that buys money is what the Bible calls true riches. True riches. It is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing. The peace, the joy, the influence. Are we together? There is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing. On earth, this looks like the highest most valuable thing when you possess this you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish but in the kingdom there are realities that we possess listen carefully and the bible says with it everything whether this whatever it is you can possess is is called the true riches there are seven of this spiritual capital one of them is called light we buy things with light the power light is capital in the spirit the anointing is capital in the spirit words are capital in the spirit in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now i stretch my hands the grace that came upon elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of Ahaz. by this apostolic and prophetic grace i stand in the office of my call i shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of jesus speed 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 i prophesied in one day let zion be born
I command speed, speed in your finances, speed in your spiritual life, speed in every area of your life. Whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift, I stand by prophecy and I shift you to a new dimension. New level of prophecy, new level of revelation, new level of encounters, new levels of signs and wonders. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We see your glory. You know that song. In this kingdom it is what is on you that controls what is around you are you hearing what I'm saying in this kingdom it is the spiritual climate above you I'm speaking by the spirit it is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life it takes more than desire it takes more than zeal again I'm speaking to you any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of God with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of Jesus I command that climate to live your life now lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry strange fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom. Everything these hands come upon, I declare that it is anointed. It will be an instrument of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Always like you, Lord in all the earth much less love and beauty and less work nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus you're the constant of our treasure of my heart and of my soul sing my witness you are merciful redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days 
and all my days on earth I will away the moment that I see you face to face for nothing in this world Other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that won't run dry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I stand here right now. If there be any force, any yoke, any agreement upon anyone's life. I speak right now. Be set free. Be released now. Every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ, bringing you oppression, programming failure to your life, I stretch my hands and I command liberty right now in the name of Jesus. Please listen to this instruction we are going to shout hallelujah three times just listen just listen we are under a very strong prophetic atmosphere this night and i want you to shout hallelujah three times by the third shout i'd like you to bring out all those under the anointing here i'm going to minister but by the third shout there are chains that it didn't start from you it held people so that they would not lift up their heads horns sitting on the destinies of men zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 son of man what seest thou and he said i saw four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against israel against jerusalem against judah so that no man don't lift up his heads are you ready three times from the depth of your heart ready number one the bible says now jericho was strictly shot nothing went in and nothing went out what sort of a city is that nothing can go in and nothing can come out even if it belongs to you are you ready for the second shout one two three go <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah means halal yeshua it means praise the lord another expression means put pressure on his integrity every time you praise a man he must rise to match what you are praising him for are you ready for this shout this one is not just a shout this one is the healer is a shout that can bring down jericho are you ready now Lord, by this shout, everything that has shot your blessings, that nothing goes out and nothing comes in, let it give way now. One, two, three, go ahead and shout.
I'm a winner man, a winner man He's won my battle for me I'm a winner man, a winner man Upon Mount Zion, the Bible says There shall be deliverance and even holiness Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions brought in out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us now please bring them out i decree and declare that everything sitting on your destiny that will not let you go there are mothers here you have cried for your children I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command fire upon everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus 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 release families release businesses release destinies release families by the power of the holy ghost again i declare that every spirit that will not let you go it must go for you now it must go for you now it must go for your children now moses stood before pharaoh and said thus saith the god of the egyptians the hebrews he says let my people go that they may go and serve me I decree and declare whatever has held you that will not let you go hear the word of the Lord it leaves you now it leaves you now it leaves you now Wherefore God has so highly exalted him, the Bible says, and had given him a name. That name is an office. It said that at the mention of that name, every knee must bow of things in the heavens, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. If there is anyone here who came with a crutch inside or outside and a to walk lift it up now lift it up now if there's anyone who came here with a crutch or an aid lift it up now and begin to walk lift it up now whether inside or outside lift it up and begin to walk lift it up I'm seeing one there walk lift it up lift it up and begin to walk I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything again I say that will not let you go let it go for you now and for all of you who are out here every power that has held you we stand under the corporate anointing we declare no matter how long it has held you leave them now hear what the bible says it says now the lord is that spirit there are many spirits but this one is that spirit and that where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty let there be freedom now i believe in impartation impartation is a transference of graces hallelujah 
every time God sends a word to Jacob it is because he intends for it to reach Israel like never before there are many of you here who are calling to the ministry of prophetic intercession may the mantle and the grace for that ministry let it rest upon you now don't worry just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out may that grace rest upon you now number two the anointing that shifts men to have divine encounters supernatural encounters may that grace some of you it will meet you in your place of retreat it will meet you whilst you sleep may that grace rest upon you now every dead prayer life here every dead word study life be found to flames afresh in the name of Jesus hallelujah let me pray for you any wrong association in your life programming you to become a shame a reproach to parents every spirit of dishonor and rebellion among children to parents we cast that spirit now <laughs> hallelujah hear me every manifestation of irresponsibility among young people one of the blessings of the east is the blessings of responsibility and diligence god has placed grace upon these hands so any young man who is not doing anything is just a lazy person i pray that the spirit of laziness and irresponsibility will drive it far from your territory <laughs> hear me if there is anyone here who is in any kind of financial trouble a court case or you are in debt i don't care how you got there by the message of the god of david come out of it now come out of it now come out of it now hear me from today any man that fights you goes down instantly hallelujah one prayer point and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit please let your heart be open and we're going to pray you're going to decree and declare that on account of the finished work of christ everything connected to ancestry connected to bloodlines foundations by the power that raised christ from the dead he must let you go now lift your voice and begin to pray are you praying please pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross lift your voice and pray are you praying? Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. It's time for everything that is not the planting of God to give way. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Say, everything that was lost shall be 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I see a wind blowing over this place. Listen. The Lord wants to rebuke the spirit of delay. I want you to bring them out. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Father, you have brought us here by your spirit. Please bring them out. In the name that is above all names. Everyone who is under the yoke and the influence of delay. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that yoke and that spirit be broken at the count of three you will shout Jesus one two three I command that devil out of their lives now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out by the power that's in the name of Jesus the spirit of delay over individuals, over family. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains. Chains around the feet of people. It's held people for years. You are trying to move and it looks like something is bringing you down. Right now, fire is coming from heaven. That every chain. In the name of Jesus. Chains be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. All the overflow outside following online chains be broken in the name of Jesus. We're still praying. in the name that is above all names i pray for you please stand up i decree and i declare by the power of the holy spirit that everything that is not a planting of god i cause it now now let it live your life in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god now for all of you who have come out here may not have the time to speak to everybody one of you the power of god is coming on you now with a loud shout in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you everything that is not a planting of god may fire from heaven rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now rest upon it now in the name of Jesus, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who are standing, I stretch my hands and I declare the plague of sickness, sickness, recurrent sickness, recurrent sickness. This is what I'm saying recurrent sickness coming again you treat it coming again you treat it i speak and i come by the rod of a higher priesthood 
I command that devil out of your life now. Out of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Let there be a miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady. I cast that devil out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. I'm a wiener man. Madam, stretch your hands, lift, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now, the name of Jesus never returns to you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be liberty for you. Who is James? James. James. I'm hearing a name, James. What is the name of your husband? Give her the mic. Come, stand here. I'm a wiener man, a wiener man. Where is he, my dear? He's in outside. He's outside. He's uh, outside with me. But I want to pray. A miracle is coming for your family. I'm telling you, God is about to turn things around. I pray for you. Please look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus I declare it so by the power of the Holy Spirit there are two people at the back the power of God is coming on them with a loud shout please pick them and bring them out two people at the back I just saw light leaving this place right to the back please bring them my dear I cause everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry I want to pray for you. Will you believe if I tell you by the end of this year you will be a multi-millionaire? You believe it? Listen. When when we prophesy, this is not the marketing of flesh. We are kingdom-driven people, and everything we do is for His glory. My brother, there is an anointing that lifts. There is a grace that blesses. Stand up, come. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. I'm not saying you should come up. Just stand here. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in the village, sir. Do you know why God is raising you? No, sir. Because your mother loves God and she has been praying. And God is going to use you as a consolation, particularly for the prayer of your mother. I stretch my hands. The grace that makes for favor. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, go and prosper. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, you will command favor in strange ways by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out here, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Let there be healing for you now. Healing for you now. I'm seeing a strange vision. Please bring them out now. I'm just seeing snakes all over this place. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing snakes. I stand by the God of heaven. And everything that represents an orchestration of darkness. Not just in front. Even across the congregation. I stretch my hands. Let there be liberty from any spirit that is not of God. Any fraternity with spirit beings. Please bring them out. I curse those spirits right now. I curse those spirits right now. I cost those spirits right now. I cost those I cost those spirits right now. Hallelujah. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your own delight. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The Lord is showing me someone, your mother. Your mother is in the hospital right now. I'm seeing 
this is sickness is she's been so i don't know what it is but i don't know if she's paralyzed she's in the hospital lying down in a sick bed who is that person please don't come out at random please my my dear look at me what's your name huh what's your name don't cry don't cry don't cry madam what's your name okay i want to pray for you father i stretch my hands over these ones my god i'm just seeing fire leaving my hand i'm just coming to rest on some of you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty right now liberty right now liberty right now in the name of jesus christ liberty right now i cross the workings of darkness this is koinonia the house of god i declare liberty right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Help them please. Hallelujah. Ah. Everything you have been carrying spiritually that you should give back to. Business ideas, visions. Every power stopping your delivery. I command it to clear the way now. 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 As soon as Zion travails, the Bible says, she shall put forth a son. Madam, let this woman stand up. Let me pray for her. Madam, I stretch my hands and I pray for you. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be a miracle for you right now. My sister, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, go and give birth. In Jesus' name. For all of you who are out, I don't know why you are out, but I declare by the Spirit of the living God, every issue of concern, it comes under judgment now. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. You're welcome, madam. Can I pray for you? I want to pray for you. My goodness. The Lord is bringing a miracle, but I'm seeing the power of God touching you, your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, everything that is not a planting of god roaming around your body we command an exodus of it out of your body now in the name of jesus number two madam the lord is saying i should prophesy to you call it your month of restoration the lord is restoring many things to your life restoring many things to your life i declare it so in the name of jesus christ Please don't be tired. God is visiting people. Ah! I just saw light. There is a grace for speed. People are going to begin to run right now. Just hold them and bring them out. I release that grace for speed. Bring them out. There is a strange grace for speed that is coming on people now. Politicians, businessmen, men and women of God, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that anointing now. Please bring them out. Strange grace for speed that is coming upon you. Some of you in the next one month, within one month, within one month, things will begin to shift in your life. We am prophesying by the Spirit. Within one month, within one month, the delay of years, within one month. Speed. Speed to your life. Help them please speed to your life. I'm still praying it. I'm still seeing that grace rest on people. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen in your life. Supernatural speed. 
Hallelujah. There is a man of God here. Oh dear. You have been praying, don't come out. The power of God will come on you. You have been desiring a strange grace for signs and wonders and the prophetic. You are on this road. This road. The power of God will touch other people, but the person I'm talking about is on this road. This row at the back. Bring the person. There is a grace for signs and wonders. As it's happening to one, as many as desire, in the name of Jesus, may that mantle rest upon your ministry, upon your life. Grace is coming upon you. Signs wonders i'm telling you you will be surprised at what god will do in your life grace you will command signs and wonders in business in ministry may the good hand of god come upon you hallelujah as we worship in your presence there is healing the holy spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus there is healing in your name please lay your hands right now as a prophetic point of contact those following on TV you're following on any of our social media platforms outside connect now by faith please lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want to pray for you right now I truly believe in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit I believe in miracles and signs and wonders now watch this please this is what we're going to do this will be very very fast very fast let's walk together I'm going to rebuke that devil and release the power of the Holy Spirit over you. The moment I do that, I want you to begin to check yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity causing pain and discomfort over anyone's body here release them now in the name of Jesus release them in the name of Jesus right now I declare life to your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now if you're here and you're on crutches or you're on wheelchair stand leave that crutch and begin to walk now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ be healed blood conditions all kinds of blood conditions be healed right now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed abdominal pains of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone you don't hear very well with your left ear check it now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ cancer regardless the stage be healed right now I'm seeing at least two two three ladies you have lump on the left side of your breast in Jesus name we command that devil to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is healing and restoring your sense of smell supernatural restoration in the name of Jesus blood condition this is like leukemia in the name of Jesus, I declare a miracle right now. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit joint pains joint pains in the name of Jesus Christ I declare every pain around the joint area be healed now in Jesus name there's someone you had a dream and in that dream it's like someone hit you with a hard object when you came out from that dream you've had pains all over your body till now the power of God is touching you right now following online we minister the power of the Holy Spirit be healed right now be healed right now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed someone with a severe pain around your left your left leg the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing a miracle happening around your left leg let there be healing in Jesus name the Lord is showing me a woman you woke up from a dream and physically like your hair was cut like removed a portion of it and from that time you've it's been ill health after ill health the Lord is healing you right now someone you're having around your your throat area here you're having severe pain and it's, it's like swelling and discomfort this has been so for a while I minister the life and the power of Jesus be healed now in Jesus name now anyone sick from the crown of your head migraine the Lord is healing several people with migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ the name of Jesus of Jesus who is the son of the living God that these Egyptians that you see today you see them no more forever you see them no more forever you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over your life by the power that is Christ from the dead where doors have closed for you in the name of Jesus as you return from this mountain step into a realm of open doors please believe believe every prophetic word step into a realm of open doors those trusting God for jobs in the name of Jesus for some of you by next week I declare by the Spirit of God you return with miracle jobs where you have not experienced favor in your life i release my faith with you experience strange levels of favor i pray shame and dishonor let it be far from your life forever i pray for your spiritual life a fresh hunger for the things of god a fresh hunger for prayer and fasting 
a fresh hunger for the study of scripture in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have seen or God told you should come into your hand and has not yet manifested I declare the grace for performance the grace for manifestation the grace for performance the grace for manifestation may it come upon you right now and everything you have started and yet you've not finished may the finishers anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every devil that is back of any infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that your power is broken now let God's people go free now in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name my God just help those under the anointing be healed in Jesus name from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name the power of God is going through your body now help them please help them be healed in Jesus name blind eyes be open now partial complete blindness be open now there are some people having pain pain at the back side your lumbar vertebra be healed the power of God is touching you right now every kind of bone condition you're here you're on crutches you're on a wheelchair you don't have to bring them out you don't have to bring those under the anointing out there's no space because some other people will come you're on a wheelchair you're on crutches right now I declare in the name of Jesus stand up stand up and lift your crutch and walk in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus every blood condition every genotype issue we change it now HIV be healed now cancer be healed now the Lord is ministering to me you don't have to come out there are a number of ladies with multiple lumps around your breast area the power of God is touching you right now after this prayer you'll check it you will not find it again in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a I don't know if it's a, there's a there's a gentleman you have what looks like a swelling at the back of your neck after this prayer you check it right now you find out that it's gone completely in the name of Jesus every blood condition goes right now migraine headache very severe pounding migraine headache the Lord is healing you right now I'm seeing someone you have this recurrent pattern it's like every month you have to treat typhoid or malaria every month no matter how well you treat it it still comes back the power of God is touching you right now I'm seeing three people the Lord is healing them from pile in fact for one of you is a very severe issue you cannot even go to the toilet because of how inconveniencing it is and because of the excruciating pain we come in the name of the Lord Jesus let there be healing for you I see some of you lifting photos of your loved ones lifting the pictures of your loved ones wherever they are and those of you following by way of TV following online in the name of Jesus we decree and declare the healing power of Jesus leaves this altar right to your homes to your offices in the name of Jesus your homes your offices your devices let there be miracles in the name of Jesus the Christ of God in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone your your this is my right your right ear your right ear you feel you know how this is like there's water you are trying to get it to come out as soon as we are done praying check yourself you'll find out that a miracle has happened to you in the name of Jesus there is a woman you're, you're not exactly a young lady I'm seeing that um, I don't know it's not appendicitis but there is a severe looks like there's a mast just around your lower abdominal area in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you I command that mass to disappear now 
the lord is showing me a family your mother mama is in the hospital right now as i am speaking the power of god is touching her where she is this is this is a teaching hospital in the name of jesus let there be a miracle now for time's sake whether i mention your case specifically or not in the name of jesus who is the christ of god he's been exalted both as lord and as christ i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. he's able are you celebrating miracles? My God is able to do just what miracles are happening everywhere. In the name of Jesus, who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus inside here, following online at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflow. Father, there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Oh, God had so highly exalted him and giving him a name an office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now while still praying please bring them out Shagapakatos. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now.
every time good things are about to manifest you keep walking but just when it's about to happen you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now may fire fall upon you now in the name of jesus christ who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords we will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun to praise Hallelujah Please stretch your hands towards me I just saw something in the spirit If you can, just stretch your hands towards me I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag Being given to people and the lord is telling me this is i'm seeing written on it good news i'm seeing the number 71. just stretch your hands towards me father hold on please from my left to my right everyone who must receive this inside outside right now i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you help them please in the name of jesus sounds of good news sounds of good things sounds of good help them some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the holy ghost suddenly I'm seeing a very interesting vision the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave and I saw it open and I saw things not people things that are there coming out I'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ Madam, I pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names. Go and tell your husband that the Lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Praise the Lord. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead some of you by this time next week I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may God surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah this is the place of encounter hallelujah my dear in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the issue that is on the table according to the word of the lord if god could locate you i declare and i also pray for, i want to pray for you where are you from i want to pray for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ you will come and stand both of you you will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings in the name of Jesus receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit sir I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ help her please daddy I don't know why you are standing outside here but I want to pray for you we are going to pray for the sick I'm going to pray for you is it husband and wife madam I need to pray because I hope you are not embarrassed sir. can I talk to you ah, you have to pray I believe in miracles God is taking sickness sickness I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is BP two people will start running in the overflow outside outside now we may not have time to bring them out outside I'm seeing the power of God outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen I want to pray for them because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the Lord is showing me sir may my God bless you in the name of Jesus and for you sir may my God please stand up you're a worker what do you want God to do for you look at a wise man you heard what he said he said I want to know him more is it no relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and I truly pray that God will help you to know him more Amen. the Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now please stand up our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with God carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with God don't ask God to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back it's important you see I know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in Zaria um, and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had shown me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing 
hallelujah but jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest he touched me the master touched me and oh what joy fills my soul something happened and now I know he touched me There'll be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. The healing anointing is flowing here in the name of jesus christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a crutch, lift the crutch and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness, be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you and then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence in Jesus name be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call Parkinson's I think I'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of Jesus I declare may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now may the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now be healed in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a lady here you don't have anything cancer but your hair falls is this is this has been a very demonic thing right now the power of God is touching you be healed now be healed now now I hope I know what I'm saying praise the Lord but this is what is happening in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle for you now I don't know what the medical condition is but in Jesus name we stop it now there's someone your left is this your left eye 
you don't see very well with it after this prayer check it right now a miracle is happening to you i'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my uh what they call this your kneecap this is somebody's condition right now the power of god is touching you supernatural miracle right now supernatural miracle right now in the name of jesus christ back pains all kinds of back pains in the name of jesus christ be healed now the lord is showing me at least eight people you have to take pills to sleep you can't lie down normally and sleep i think there's a medical condition there's a name for it you are, you are not able to lie down and sleep you must take a lot of drugs one of you the power of god is coming on you now that demonic thing we command it to live your life in jesus name in the name of jesus and then i'm seeing someone until now i think you have a problem with your shoulder i don't know what it is you cannot lift it as soon as i pray just lift it check yourself do what you cannot do you'll be surprised that the power of god has touched you right now supernatural miracle and then i'm seeing someone you can't walk like walk outside for a long time you become unusually tired you are not a very old person but then you walk no matter how even if you you rested the whole day once you walk out just for a few minutes you become extremely tired the power of god is touching you now you no know, you don't have to come out you check yourself when when it's time to take miracles we'll take them in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing multiple breast lungs the lord is healing them right now any stranger in your body that has not been planted by god i command it to go out now <laughs> hallelujah ah, i'm seeing you've been feeling like you are pregnant but you are not pregnant and yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i don't know who that that kind of occurrence you have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you and this thing you be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically but then you are not really pregnant in the name of jesus anyone in fraternity with dark powers that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty i declare be released right now sugar diabetes be healed now hepatitis be healed now uh, the lord is showing me someone is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now there's been severe pain around your rib area but right now as i'm spraying the power of god is touching you yeah. be healed in the name of jesus yeah. now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed now yeah. please begin to pray and decree and declare these egyptians i see today i see them no more forever Please make sure you pray. God of vengeance has fight my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battles for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. He has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man. I'm a winner man. God of vengeance, God of vengeance has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Father, 
I want you to believe right now the anointing you need for the results that your destiny needs to command I pray for you you don't have to bring those under the anointing outside now in the name of Jesus whether in ministry whether in politics in business there are parliamentarians here there are people from everywhere there are business people veterans in business civil service I pray the unction required for the next level of your results I stand here and I declare let it come upon you now <laughs> I decree and declare you will check all these requests and you will not find any left and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you in this season I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead may the book of remembrance be opened now If there's anyone here that the spirit of death is trailing or trailing your family members whether death through the air by sea by land in the name of Jesus we speak to the spirit of death you stay clear of them now <laughs> hallelujah every long-standing issue that has refused to answer to the name of the Lord I agree with you in the name of Jesus Christ let it be answered tonight <laughs> hallelujah whatever has failed in your hands in the name of Jesus go back and succeed whatever has refused to walk in your hands i declare go back and succeed for those of you in ministry fresh fire for the new season those of you in business fresh connections and illumination those in politics parliamentarians supernatural grace in the name of jesus and then i pray for your spiritual life there is always an emphasis on our relationship with Jesus Christ, our passion and our hunger. But let me pray for your spiritual life. You go up today, you are down tomorrow. You pray today, then you ignore the prayer altar. You study today, then you ignore it. The grace for consistency. Take that grace now. Grace for prayer, fasting, word study, worship. May that grace rest upon you now. Can we pray over favor? Hmm. Father, upon your people, the proof of favor is not just money. The proof of favor is loyalty to the hearts of men. I pray for you. Everybody who must consider you in the name that is above all names, find favor with them. Find favor with systems. Find favor with structures find favor with government find favor with captains of industry find favor with gatekeepers in the name of jesus christ and everything you came with tonight as a point of contact i declare by the spirit of the living god whether it's a document your credentials whatever it is i release my faith and i agree with you even as you have lifted it up you remain lifted <laughs> in the name of jesus christ shame and reproach we call it by name and we banish it from your life in the name of jesus christ and everything sitting upon your prayer life to insist that you will not rise in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of the Christ I clear it out of your life I clear it out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ
the Lord is showing me a door in the spirit and this door has been closed for a long time refusing to open this is what I'm seeing I truly believe that God is speaking about someone a family in the name that is above all names I call upon he that holds the key of David and I speak over every closed door no matter how ancient no matter how long that has refused to open over your life your ministry in the name of Jesus we command that door open now 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 be open now in the name of Jesus open up Gita and Gita be open now Now I stretch my hands, whether by the power of witchcraft or activities of ancestry, everything Kalita Paroto Stubata that is responsible, bring them out, that is causing your face, that you will not be seen, is, 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 is affecting your visibility in ministry. There are people in ministry here, you have integrity, you are walking in grace, but there is a veil over your face. There are businessmen, there are captains of industry right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I declare for such people in this auditorium and outside please bring them right now may the fire of the Holy Spirit burn those fails right now burn those fails right now turn it into a prayer every fail covering the glory of God upon my life he says but thou O Lord at a shield for me you are my glory he called him the lifter up of my head bring them out everyone whose glory has been covered for no matter how long you are immersed in the anointing of the Holy Ghost and it must give way now you came to church. This is the house of God. Lift your voice and pray. Thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are my glory. You are my glory. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. The lifter up of my destiny. Hello, King Madonna. Hello, King Hello, King Madonna. still pray hear me except god did not send me if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that there is any kind of yoke over your life over your ministry i stand by the rod of the apostolic i stand by the rod of the prophetic i declare judgment on strange spirit judgment on foundation judgment on yokes of darkness Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Surely 
Rakato Shalika Pando Sodom Broto to see her take it up. Credegate Barakatos Koduba Shalenda Prakatusia in the Bereto Sutoba Katusia Kata. Oh, I decree again in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. I prophesy an exodus over your life from every realm of captivity. I'm saying it by the spirit. I declare the power that will not let you go must let you go this night. Bring them out. The force that will not let you go. This is Koinonia. The force that will not let you go. I stand by the God of heaven. The God of Shashuron that rides upon the wings of the wind. I declare it must let you go now. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The Holy Ghost is ministering to me. There are people in business here. Every time good things are about to happen, there are forces, familiar spirits, that stand to shut doors. I'm praying for business people. I stand by the unction of Jesus. And I declare, anyone here in business, whatever power has refused to let you advance, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, it comes under fire. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Release your test. Release the witnesses in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, Say unto God, How terrible art thou in your ways? It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves. Every long standing infirmity in your body that will not let you go. Hear me? I don't care what it is called. Blood disease, genotype issues, recurrent things, eating your finances, destroying the destiny of your family. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus and there will be a miracle of healing right now. All kinds of spirits that are the back of mysterious infirmities. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name that is above every other name. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Blood condition. Be healed. Heart condition. Be healed. Migraine. Be healed. All kinds of bodily let me pray one more prayer whoever is sitting on what is yours Now and the end of this month, I stand by the God of heaven and by the spirit of prophecy. Please hear what I'm saying. Again, I repeat, whoever is sitting, exchanging your destiny, by the God of heaven, I declare, my God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. My God will uproot them. front here I decree and declare standing for yourselves and your families the spirits behind the mysterious tragedies of your life I speak as one sent let them go now let them go now let them go now release their destinies now they came to the house of God let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. 
My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. There's a reason why I'm raising this song. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. The Lord is opening my eyes. I saw chains on the feet of people. That's why I raised this song. I'm seeing the number 23. I stretch my hands. Anyone under the influence of this unction, and there is a chain of darkness holding you. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus inside and outside. I want you to bring them here in the name that is above all names. This is Mount Zion, and the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break chains. I break chains. Bring them out. I break chains. Every chain that will not let you move forward. Every chain that holds you down. He must leave you now. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just lay your right hand on your head. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Please be silent. No instrument, no nothing. Just lay your right hand on your head. I'm just seeing fire move from person to person. Just bring those under the anointing outside. There is a massive deliverance. I'm seeing horns. And the Lord is telling me that these are ancient altars that are sitting on families that will not let them go free. Some of you has been so for long, but except God did not send us, I tell you those altars will not last to this service. Just keep your hands on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, anyone under the sound of my voice, in here the overflows outside following online if there is any handwriting and any altar pateke barata bring them outside on anyone's destiny on anyone's life those altars catch fire right now keep your hands on your head Release that family, all of them. Release that family. Not just one person. Release that family. This is a whole family under bondage. Release them. Release them. Release them now. Release them now. Father, mother, siblings. Release them. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a family. No one gives birth. Fruitfulness is a challenge. The Lord is releasing that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is Koinonia. Every manifestation of witchcraft exchanging the glory of anyone here so that where you should be another is taking your place I command that spirit to give way right now with the name of Jesus I command that spirit to give way in the name of Jesus These chains that I see on people's feet, it's time to release them right now. You've been at the same position for many years. The only thing growing in your life is your age. Nothing more is growing. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over it. I take authority over it. 
me anyone that digs a pit for you here i declare the earth will open and swallow them the bible says and the lord of peace shall give you peace always and by all means in the name of jesus i pray for you all of the Bethels who are here, I stretch my hands and I declare that the plague of death is over from your life and your family. We minister life by the Spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are out here by the Spirit, I open up every closed door right now. And in the name of Jesus, we release you to prophetic dimensions. Move to the next levels of your life, next levels of your destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, one more time. Whatever will not let you go, I call on my God, who is also your God. May he clear them out of the way. May he clear them out of your way. May he clear them out of your way. Every obstacle that will not let you advance, I call on my God to clear them out of your way. And I declare over your life, hear me. I declare over your life, anyone who will not let you rest in this season. The Bible says the Lord of peace shall give you peace always by all means i declare may that by all means grace come upon you and judge everything that will not give you rest in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace celebrate the god of wonders mighty things are about to happen here Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. Please give it to us and then we pray. Exodus chapter 3. Let your hearts be open. Please be prayerful. Don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying now i don't know how i'm going to pray this prayer please 
this is the prayer that will i will plead with you to be your brother's keeper because i'm about to release the grace for speed oh yes sir there is a real grace for speed and when i pray that grace the power of god will come on people and some of them will begin to run that's why i'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy lift your hands father in the name of jesus i want you to bring those people out there are men and women there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed god of wonders i pray that at the count of three may that mantle and that grace come upon people are you ready now one two three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah that every planting that is not of the lord over the life and the family of anyone it must give way now lift your hands father in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare right now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name loud inside and outside online every force of darkness tying anyone's destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus it's time for your life to change i stretch my hands right now change in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of grace bring them out fire is burning in this place in the name of jesus fire is burning in this place i set every altar 
please connect please connect be serious i set every altar all of you who are in front here the spirits that oppress you at the count of three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic i'm seeing the number 14 please just give me strings it's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that mantle fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up all wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season Deborah's are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are Deborah's? hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god hear me every door that has refused to open in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now 
for as long as it is a door standing before you mateis kani parahaskia and it has refused to open i come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of jesus i speak to that door efata be open hidden tita efata be open hidden tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ the bible says and i will restore the years everything you have lost in time please believe this one i stand again in agreement and we declare over you and over the nations in the name of jesus the grace that brings restoration drink of that grace drink of that grace supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man woman of god here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry i stand in faith and i declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the Spirit of God we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of Jesus I speak over captains of industry hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of Jesus it was James in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life I declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace rest upon you can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent in the name of Jesus I stand again with the angels over this house and I declare over your finances in a very strange way for the Bible declares believe the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of Jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of Jesus Christ 
you will not be a victim of kidnapping you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ you should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance Hallelujah. and your portion has not been given to you I'm not speaking and they to anybody, dug a well and the Philistines covered it they dug that another one Egyptians, they covered it then they dug the third one God. and they left them they called Papu, it Rehoboth he said God has given me my own space and I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names between if now and the end of this God, year have your own space I, I give you, tonight, you your own portion in this city if God in this land in the name of Jesus Christ Call it his name, whatever it is, this Egyptian, it will go. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a sweet in the air. Most dear. Oh, come lay down. The burdens that you have carried. For in this sanctuary tonight, God is here. Let's just read one scripture. Just one scripture. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. There is such a heavy presence of God in this place. Inside and outside, let your faith rise to its limit. Because God will do awesome things tonight. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Tonight is a prophetic night. Oh. Tonight is a... See, the words here tonight have prophetic implications. And caused me to pass by them round about. Bones of hardship. Bones of lack. Bones of infirmity. Bones of oppression. And behold, they were very many. This is the story of many families, very many. And they were very dry. And he said unto me, Joshua Selman, can these bones leave? Can this sick body leave? Can these dying finances leave? Can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again? Can this hopeless situation leave can this blood condition leave can ss be changed to aa 
can a man on a wheelchair walk again the prophet was so scared he said only thou knowest and he said unto me prophesy there is no one like my God there is no one There is no one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances, O ye family challenges, O ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord O ye challenges hear ye the word of the Lord he said thus saith the Lord I will cause breath to enter you and ye shall leave and I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall leave and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we are making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting i will reverence you lord 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 for in your presence there is life everlasting I will reverence you Lord tonight every dry bone hear ye the word of the Lord hear ye the word of the Lord hear ye the word of the Lord I prophesy in the realm of the spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting for in your presence there are miracles for in ha, your presence there is joy joy everlasting so why we Reference you, Lord. 
Tonight we dethrone principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives and the oppressed. Lord, visit your people in a mighty way. In a mighty way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for what God will do tonight? How many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm seeing an angel walking across this road the lady is wearing something like pink pink something like pink something like pink something like pink that's the lady bring her she will come out by the power of the holy ghost by the agency of the spirit Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus. I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil. Tonight, you will let God's people go. Now lift your hands, everyone. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And the power of God will fall. One, two, three. Every devil, bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon. Oppressing anyone outside, the power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, I rebuke evil spirits. 
In this room, in this room, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God, people. I expose the works of darkness. Every demon in hell. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire aparana malana matia na 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 these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out of her now out of her in the name of Jesus come out of her foul devil of darkness go go I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come out of her you're a wicked spirit of darkness out I'm seeing a snake this is what I'm seeing come out right now come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ go this lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of Jesus you must go the light shines upon you go go now You have oppressed this girl for long now in the name of jesus come out of her come out right now out of her come out of her right now out in the name of jesus look at me turn and look at me come out of her now come out of her out in the name of jesus christ you are a wicked spirit of darkness Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. 
Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now, whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Papa Pateka, Parata, Bete, Kerekoba, Baba Tata Lata Bakeria. Bring them out. Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Pata Tabalada, Pata Parata, Paratosa, Rabariata, Beketori Seke, Mabrikato, Ereka Likaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka braskata raka, rakata brakata ba, aprosko so so It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. O toreke, reko to so seketia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Reketeke. Raposkose. Rekoskeriata. Mapata porokote. Raeke reketo. Raposke brondo. Kapiata kata shekete. Outside. The fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you're a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. 
this is not the issue of man of God pray for me this is the issue of dethroning principalities over families come out and lift your hands Kato Shatabalakata now 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 Kato Shatayata Rakata Reza Bavere Ketekosu Baratos Kotia I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams Rekete bosoto balaka. Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. who are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosati will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. 
Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside. Rolling here, it's time for your healing. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit, for some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship him, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be healed.
right now. Be gone. In Jesus' name, you're out. Go. Go. Fire upon you right now. Satan, get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. Now, your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Go. You're a wicked spirit. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you. Out. With a loud shout, you are going out. Go. Go. Now go. 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 On your mouth said, go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. The demonstration of the authority of light over darkness. Make sure you are praying. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Come out! Come out! Come out! Out of my name of Jesus! Go! Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go, as we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. Fire right now. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Out, my devil. Come out of her. Fire upon you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Go. Your time is up. Over this family. Spirit of poverty. Go. Go right now. On your mark set. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, you must go. Be cast out right now. right now go go 
Telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakanya, sheda balara bonga, zatekrata balara ba. I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families.
You are going. Go. 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 Come out. Go. 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 Your time is up. Those foul devils. On your mark, get set, go. Right now. I set you free. Every manifestation of darkness, go. In Jesus' name. Because you're to fall on me, Brother. Oh, 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 purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palmer worm please be sensitive everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic and i will restore to you there are two families here that need major restoration the holy spirit is going to bring them out they will come out by themselves under the influence of the holy spirit two families wherever you are i subject you to the influence of the holy spirit two families you will come out by the power of the spirit leave them alone they will come out by themselves there's one more family by the by the influence of the spirit major restorations One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are. That is the prayer point I'm talking about major restorations major restorations it's the holy ghost that will pick you a lady from the back will start running out by the power of the holy ghost all of them you will come out don't no but don't hold her she will run and come out by the influence of the holy ghost 
there's still one more lady at the back i'm seeing an angel of the lord there there's still one more lady the power of god will take you this is a sign of restoration come out come out come out come out by the influence of the holy ghost come out take a tele everyone that belongs to this category the sign is that you will run by yourself you will come out by the influence of the holy ghost it's a prophetic sign for speed the holy ghost is bringing speed into your life let her family go come out come out come out our family must go free the fire will burn you until you let this family go these families mark these families they will experience major major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now days from now there are still some people at the back the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration lift your hands fire upon you right now everywhere in this building an impartation an impartation an impartation let it come strong from my left my right all across this building outside outside new levels new dimensions Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Rabato let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory.
Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. uncompleted project in this place I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year completion of houses projects in the name of Jesus every delay in relationship or marriage I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus Every plague of barrenness, inside and outside, everything called barrenness in your life, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command a restoration. Whatever you have lost, in the name of Jesus, a sevenfold restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at me. I want to break the curse of poverty over families. I always do this. Everybody look at me. I want you to bring out a seed. You know that we don't, if you don't believe it, just keep your seed, please. Bring out a seed. Bring out something that will touch you. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight. Inside and outside, please share with somebody who doesn't have. This is not about money. This is about spiritual principles. Please bring out a seed. Lift it high above your head. I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families. Just lift it up. Many of you will be surprised. Just hold it. Because that will be... Your, uh, just lift it. Just lift it. Now the power of God. Every family suffering under financial curse. Just lift it. You'll be surprised. Right now. Lift the seed to heaven. My God. Like the sacrifice of Abel. Visit it now. In the name of Jesus. Katapokoto zata. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it 
my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you. I command it. Go around the universe. Gather anything that looks like what you are holding. Return it back to you. I instruct it. Go around all earth. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Job says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. Cast your seed gloriously, ushers. Locate them as they drop it. Please do that quickly. Let's round up. I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. up on your feet and begin to prophesy i believe you oh i believe i believe i believe i believe i believe i believe everywhere inside and outside connect this is the moment of faith i'm about to step back and let this most holy spirit Step into your life. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything? 
for me to do. I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is there anything so hard for me to do? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. I am that I am. Hey. Is there anything? Is there anything so hard for you? Too hard for him to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for him to do? I am that I am. Lift your hands, everybody, and let us worship him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God. Involve God. And it becomes possible. That sickness will never go. But with God. That sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change. But with God. That's why we are singing that song Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hiya. Emmanuel. Emmanuel Emmanuel His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside.
two people the power of god is coming mightily right now as i speak upon them please let me have them inside two people mightily it's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place two people very mightily by the power of the holy ghost his name is called Emmanuel His name is God Emmanuel Hallelujah Those of you in this row just lift your hands I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here I see the angels of the Lord moving At the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this room. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel, his name is called. Emmanuel, his name is Call Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called Emmanuel, your name is called. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My secret place is calling you. Oh God. My worship is calling you. Oh God. My worship is calling you. Oh God. Take my prayer. hallelujah please lift your hands i see the angels of the lord moving now lift your hands we're about to cause devils and wicked spirits please follow me instrumentalist we are going to cause every power the bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father that tree must give way and I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve that at the count of three any power that is not of God inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost as you shout three the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now? one Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of Couple I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. Shake it by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness i see a number of angels you're going to shout jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three Shout Jesus three. We dethrone altars. We dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God those outside be sensitive there is so much power I don't know what it is but the, the power of God is so strong outside in the name of our God hallelujah Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. 
You're the Lord most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes in the name of God hallelujah please help her ladies it's not easy I know just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. Now. Quickly. I call you Lord most high. Don't touch her. She will come by herself. Let her go now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name In the name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. 
Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther, who is Deborah? Deborah, Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red, red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys. Speak to them and let them. You will waste your time with demon spirits. Have a way of wasting people's time. Don't. You will save yourself a lot of energy. It makes no difference who is speaking. Queen. Who is queen? You are queen. I need to pray for you. You have a blood condition. Victoria. 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. Just leads to her heart region. And is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region that devil is a liar you'll be free hallelujah there's no time to minister to your individual needs are you following me now if god gives me a word for you i'll just pray otherwise ah okay. come 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 you must be set free now hold my hands out come out of her now out now blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um, the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you it's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit be free now in the name of jesus let him go i set you free be free now by the power of the holy spirit i cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me i'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of God will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of Jesus out out of her Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. The name of Jesus Christ I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free be free now in the name of Jesus Christ be free in the name of Jesus Christ he's able bring the lady shout in there Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God. he's able. God is able. 
that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in Jesus name complete freedom now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of Jesus I cause cataract in the name of Jesus glaucoma I cause you now in the name of Jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost I command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus free demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one Two, three, shake that, 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 I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let those people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Was he going to shout that name over this case? The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains. 
chains marital chains be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost I command chains be broken in the name of Jesus be broken in the name of Jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of Jesus I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the Bible says seek out of the book and read it said none of this shall fail none shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names I call him into your life I call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of Jesus and I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that God has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah it lifted please that hand that is lifted i pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of jesus everywhere you have submitted your cv i pray may my god cause them to visit you in the name of jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against judah against jerusalem against israel i command right now let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a God that answers prayers here. Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here, but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. hallelujah this requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of God can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart 
and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony Rapaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopro dos copre decate. Secatata tebala da 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 da. Shopro toko to pregadevala da da bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secatata Rekete bokoto prekete balada bos, bata kapa bakate, e prekete lekete, sote kete pros, e prekete lekete tete, rekete rekese, e pros ko proto subah, lekete balada bakata prekete balada bos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus take an anointing back be blessed in the name of Jesus be healed be blessed take this anointing back take this anointing in the name of Jesus Awesome is your name. Greater levels of power. Greater levels you of power. Mighty. In the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. Your faith. Take an anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Glorious Take this anointing with you God. in the name of Jesus awesome to your locality. Today. Do mighty things for the Lord. Out. Out. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus. I open every closed door. upon you, you in the name of Jesus Christ I command breakthrough I hear my spirit breakthrough I release breakthrough breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus I command breakthrough 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 financial breakthrough God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost let the world grow in the name of Jesus let the world grow let the Awesome 
God is free. I open this closed door that I see. In the name of Jesus, I open this closed door that I see. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing. That it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthrough. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains. Be open now. Visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions so potopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah stop la cambre de gelaba I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. Receive it. Gifts of healing. Word of knowledge. Gifts of prophecy. It will come like fire. It will come like fire. It will burn you. It will come like fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. 
Two of you hold your hands. Hold your hands. Take it now. Take it now. I activate the gifts of the Spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them Shetete, take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, maka prateke, empletos kepa, matos kopo rekete. Sete tete baka bada bada. Now I want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now be open now. Be open now. I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now. I cause it to its root now. I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life, every destiny helper, I don't care where they are right now, in the name of Jesus, like Prophet Ezekiel, I call them Matebalaya. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise 
come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now i prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my god has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here i pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus Praying tongues all over this place Sing, pray in the spirit. Outside, inside. Go ahead, forget about who is by your side. You are alone with God. God will do wonders in this place tonight. Rakata baka prosko poto shatalaba Mam prata kata baka shapra kata balada bosa Mam prata kata boko sobai Don't watch anybody, don't watch anybody Just go ahead and pray in the spirit The power of God is present The power of God is present Rakata laka prakata kata balada ba Mam prata kata prakata Mam prosko prakata Proto shekete lekata, mam prakata na bara 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 bara, leke prakata leke 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 bosha, em prakata bara bara bara, prakata prosko prakete, em prakete lebo bosho prakete bela le bosha, mam prakata na bara 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 bara, leke prakata lebo bosho prakete bela le bosha, mam prakata na bara 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 bara, leke prakata lebo bosho prakete bela le bosha, mam prakata na bara bara let the devil know you mean business tonight let powers know you mean business tonight Tonight is not one of those services. Prakata prakata na bokoso prakata balada ba. Mam prakata prakata kata prakata balada bos. 
Get angry in your spirit. Get determined in your spirit tonight. Don't be staring around at your neighbor. Go ahead and pray. Rakata banana baka prakata, rakata prosko pariaba. There's none of your business what your neighbor is doing. Rakata prosko sopa, e prosko pateke, le prakata le kaprosa, e prosko pata. Rakata kate, rakata kama kata prakata, mam prosko to prakata, rabo shopre kere banana ba, e kapra kere banana ba. Rakata prosko pato pasha, e proto sopa kama rakata banana ba. Don't stop praying. Pray in the spirit. The power of darkness must let your destiny go tonight. Something must break loose in your life tonight. Something must break loose in your family tonight. There must be a rain in your life tonight. There must be a revival in your life tonight. There must be a restoration in your life tonight. There must be an upgrade. You must enter a new level tonight. You must enter a new level tonight. Go ahead and pray in tongues. Lord, something must change. Sheke patataba. Ma patoko pateke leka. Aparyata deboto bakata labata. Sheprende ketaya. You must carry an anointing tonight. You must contact an unction tonight. That terminal disease must die tonight. That cancer must die tonight. That HIV must die tonight. That genotype must change tonight. That spell, that yoke of darkness, that curse. That activity of witchcraft must die tonight. Your heavens must open tonight. 
that close heaven must open tonight. That close heaven must open tonight. That marital door must open tonight. That financial door must open tonight. That door of opportunity must open. The Bible says, knock, knock, knock. He said the door will open. Knock, the door will open. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Like Jacob, something must lead me tonight. And something else must come upon me tonight. Man will say, is Saul also a prophet? No power in hell will stop the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let's go, 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 let's go
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to pray two prayer points. And then we'll get into the business of the night. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Sustainable. Listen, please. Sustainable liberty and freedom. Please listen to me. Sustainable liberty and freedom in the kingdom is a byproduct of revelation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not a matter of chance. It's not an issue of luck. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It takes the spirit of revelation to keep you in a position that you will remain there forever. Satan notwithstanding. It takes revelation. This is what the body of Christ does not have. Revelation. 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 When light, hear me, when light breaks open in your spirit concerning a dimension in the spirit you will stand and sit in a seat of authority there forever are you hearing what i'm saying revelation insight into the mysteries the keys the operation of the kingdom when you know how things work in the kingdom then you will occupy a position that cannot be taken again forever a position that you will be secured about hallelujah it takes an anointing there is something called the spirit of revelation hallelujah and we're going to be praying Ephesians 1 from verse 17 to 19 Paul began to pray and said for this cause I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus he says that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation illumination accurate knowledge of the operation of the things of the kingdom hallelujah I did a teaching some weeks ago the walking knowledge of the word can I tell you something any knowledge you know that cannot improve the quality of your life and advance the kingdom of God is junk. Kick it out. It doesn't matter how, how powerful it is. Because the Bible says, ye shall know the truth. And if it is really the truth, it will set you free. Are you listening to me? Many of us have knowledge that puff up, but it's not consistent with the operation of the kingdom. It's time for you to begin to edit a lot of things. Don't let people fool you with. Listen, see, the apostle speaking said, We did not teach cunningly devised fables. In order, these things are not just grammar, they exist. They are not just cunningly devised fables. Philosophies of men that are nice. You have quoted them, you have done a lot of things. 
it's time to pray. Paul prayed and said, the spirit of revelation. He said that you may understand in all you're getting. Get understanding. Know how it works. Don't just know that it works. Know how it works. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. The kingdom of God is a system. It's a structure. You can learn its operation. It is this learning of the operation that is called revelation. Revelation is not just some spooky things about dimensions, about what color blue means in the spirit and what green means. If that thing is not improving your life and making you a man of power and grace, if it's not changing your territory and if it's not advancing the kingdom of God, kick it out. Many of us have knowledge that puffs us up, yet demons can stand, look you to the face and oppress you. The Bible says there, ever learning, ever learning, but never coming to the comprehension, epigenosco, the accurate understanding of the way spiritual things work. Ever learning, receiving, rema upon rema. Can I tell you something? There is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am one of the many ways. I am the way. The principles of the kingdom can be known. You can know that you know them. The apostle says that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have, at what points did he handle it? He says such as I have, a man can know when he has something. Such as I have. And there is an anointing that opens the eyes of men. Are you hearing me? If you go to a native doctor, there is something he can do to your eyes. And when others are looking, you are seeing. Revelation 3.18 It says, anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. There is an anointing that causes your eyes to see so that you will accurately understand the operation of things. Anoint your eyes with alsa. And then you will see. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, it's not just a miracle service tonight. I want to receive things that I know how they came. So that I can reproduce the result again and again. If you are healed and you don't know how it's there. What if you go to a territory where there is no koinonia? We are raising ambassadors. What makes ambassador is knowledge and understanding. Revelation. That every time you are confronted with an issue, you understand what operation of the spirit has been designed. You are going to pray oh, inside and outside. When it's time to pray, pray. Because prayer is also a key in the kingdom. It says, is any man afflicted? It is a let him sing praise and worship. Let him pray. Let him pray. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, anoint my eyes tonight. I'm tired of guesswork in the spirit. Anoint my eyes tonight. Bring me into an accurate comprehension of the laws of the spirit, the laws of the kingdom. Pray, Lord, anoint my eyes. This trouble that is going on in my family, teach me how to solve that problem. Teach me so that any day I see that problem, I know what to do. He said, The men of Isaka, they had an understanding of the times, they knew what to do. He said, Jesus himself knew what to do. When you know what to do, you will not just receive miracles, you will become the miracle worker. Come on, pray. Lord, I need to know what to do concerning my finances. I need to know what to do concerning my marriage. I need to know what to do 
to keep the heavens open I need to know what to do to keep growing in the anointing I need to know what to do to accurately understand the word I need to know what to do to remain in health I need to know what to do the spirit of revelation hallelujah hallelujah listen to me let me tell you something that will surprise you look at me time does not change anything it is revelation that changes things are you hearing what I'm saying time does not have the ability to change things Time only becomes useful if you incorporate it into the current revelation of what you are having. Oh, one day I know God will do something. I know my God. Let me tell you something. If you know what to do and it is time that is bringing it to manifest, then you can rejoice. But if you are not doing anything and you are only hoping, you will wait forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will wait forever. 38 years he was at Bethesda, the pool there. But within minutes, that man became whole. Is that true? You're going to pray and say, Lord, today I set the time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, since time is not a factor in the spirit, that means this night is my own time. Lift your voice and pray. Give us this day, not tomorrow. Give us this day. Give us this day. Give us this day. That change of genotype. Lord, bring it tonight. That HIV virus. Let it die tonight. That joblessness. Let it die tonight. That upliftment in your ministry, let it come tonight. That apostolic fire, that prophetic fire, let it be tonight. That new level of grace and authority in the spirit, let it be tonight. Zinanda dianta, repata tata pregadiando, linga tasta parianta, linga podianga boira, desta diando sedidia, manga Something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget. In a long time, I'm prophesying to you something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time. Hallelujah! Matthew 4. Please sit down for a while. There are people standing outside. Please let there not be any vacant seat. If there is a vacant seat, call them in. There are people standing. God will bless you. Wherever you are, God will visit you. Please let, let's not have any vacant seat. Please, ushers, let all the seats be filled. There's no reason why there should be vacant seats. Well, there are people standing outside. Go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute. Exercise your spirit, man. Outside, I'm telling you, I see a cloud outside. A mighty cloud. A mighty cloud. The Lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside. God will do mighty things outside. Pray in one minute. Cry out your expectation to God. Go ahead. Forget about your neighbor. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, you know that you are my last hope this night. You are my last hope in this place. If you do not help me, there is no help again. If you do not save my family, if you don't change our story, then let it be that there is no God. But I have no option again. 
Pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny. Pray enough is enough. That yoke of bad luck. Pray Christ has redeemed you by faith tonight. You will enter into the experience. Christ has paid the price. You don't need to pay it again. But it takes faith to enforce that which Christ has done. The price has been paid. It will not be paid this night. That ultimate price. Yes, Lord. just a song. Listen to what you are saying. Listen to what you are saying. Let it rain. Let it rain. your hands everybody inside and outside I truly hail you most high I hail you most high I truly hail hail you Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness. Every curse. Every the power of God is already moving every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way. Especially outside. There will be mighty deliverances for you, for your family members. Every oppression, it will bow tonight because upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Father. Take over this meeting right now, Holy Spirit. Take over this meeting. Take over this meeting. Do mighty things. I give you all the glory. At the count of three, hear me. I confront gates. I confront powers. 
in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the holy ghost you will bow at the count of three one two three shout jesus that devil of darkness come out let god's people go free outside the fire of the holy ghost bring them out bring them out every act of witchcraft every act of divination every act of sorcery let the fire fall i expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Come on, 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 Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. No enchantment. No divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather. But because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Shetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, you will leave them complete deliverance. No hiding. Let the word of God search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit. There be no hiding place. At the count of three, under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more. Come out. Come out. There's no hiding place. Come out. There's fire upon every devil. Fire. Shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. There's no hiding place. There's no hiding Listen, as this is happening to you, I want you to know that this is happening in your family too. Are you hearing me? Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Just three things and we'll be done. Marriages. Hallelujah. Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing your children will surround your table remember we always share the scripture here please make sure you really lift your hands please lift inside and outside I pray right now especially for those that have exceeded the normal time you, you understand what I'm saying right the normal time that should happen you are a man you can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you and now as i'm praying this prayer hear me god is going to visit people but some of you if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the lord stop it this night 
praise God you can't be sleeping around hopping around from man to man one army officer to another one one banker to another one and then say I don't have a husband no no the Bible says come out from among them and be ye separate we are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal hallelujah praise the Lord so as you are lifting up your hands make sure that you are making a commitment no sex before marriage don't let anybody deceive you I'm saying it straight to the point hallelujah no sex before marriage no caressing no all this nonsense that people do no don't don't open up yourself for demons you tie your soul with demonic things be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure because a lot of people think everybody is doing it no not everybody is doing it who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord who shall stand upon his own so sister just get it straight don't say yes to any brother who plans to just if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait whatever is pursuing him let him carry it out of your life hallelujah I need to say this before I pray for you God is not a magician are you listening to me this is not a herbal center this is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles hallelujah so make sure as you are standing here to receive you are serious with God and you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about stop it this night stop it this night hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you lift your hands father you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness and father this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community I declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repato telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this 
we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jehovah, Father of all spirits, the great I am, Mayida Subitronis in Amakata Sata, Lisa Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetebara, the one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Jehovah, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request, miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation far above far above what they have written far above far above connection completion perfections in the name of jesus completions perfections in the name of jesus miracles miracles visitation divine visitation jehovah jehovah miracle worker upon this request Breathe upon it, breathe upon it, breathe upon it. Let there be miracles. Let your people testify in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry. Mysteriously prosperous. By the hand of God. I believe in prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty. You cannot help the poor by being one of them. Are you hearing me? And I want to pray for you. Please believe. Lift your hands. See, listen. The irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing, kingdom investments, and your givings. They open the heaven and position you. And then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom the blessings of god upon your hands strength and long life hallelujah i want to encourage everybody please bring out a seed i can't pray for you for prosperity just like that please please this if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing just keep your seat please this is not some i won't help you let me tell you the truth i'm not going to help you it's not just about saying receive no Please, God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please, please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you, God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity,
God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out a seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. And, no, no. Make Some of you, God is speaking to you right now. Some of you need to stand for your families. Honestly, honestly. See, if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed, it means we are fake. Something is wrong. Are you hearing me? I tell you, this, this prosperity oil, there is an oil. It will come upon some of you in a fearful way. Please, inside and outside, I beg you, if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please, connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, oh God, oh God, attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond. And the Bible says the glory, the Shekinah of God came and filled that name. I'm praying, I'm praying. See, I tell you, it, it, it pains my heart. It pains, we want you, the full gospel, you must represent the kingdom in its entirety. We don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money. No. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray. My God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire it will fall on many of you please help me my god i pray the oil of prosperity the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it Take it. Shake it, 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 it. I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your sin. I give your sin a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. We take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. It said, Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire, but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. my god you know we are not fake we are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people i pray my god i give your seed a voice and i instruct it go around the earth gather your kind and return back to the owner i prophesy under this apostolic unction i speak to your seed Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call breakthroughs there are families that need major breakthroughs are you hearing me there are some of you your 
the way from the day they gave birth to you you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family embarrassment after embarrassment every time they start a building project rain will wash it or something satanic will happen breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away lift your hands the Bible says thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left thou shalt break forth please receive it some of you need to call your loved ones and say look a prayer was prayed there are some houses that have been built 10 years 10 years is a cost it's a cost I'm telling you there are some people they are, they are lecturers but they are still begging for money to feed this is, this is the yoke of bondage there are families that live from hand to mouth some of you as you are looking at me now you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family as young as you are it ought not to be so the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the God that brings breakthrough where is that God that changed the story of Samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that God that instructed the prophet to say by this time my God and my King I pray for koinonia in the name of Jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kogi State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited these homes this night this night this night I speak this night let this anointing go to families and create the garden of Eden let it create the garden of Eden hallelujah hallelujah how many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors how many of you have noticed it have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens how many of you know it's not normal see the Bible says they know not you do not know what is happening this night this night the angel of the Lord will move across ABU are you hearing me altars of darkness will be destroyed see this is why God put centers like this to legislate on behalf of territories the apostolic grace is not for making mouth is for taking charge is a rule thou in the midst of your enemies the church is the light of the world the church cannot be here and things are happening if your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer I want you to lift your hands we want to prophesy that oil of exemption hallelujah it's terrible people are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next I pray for you see when the angel of death hear me when the angel of death came to Goshen and Egypt the angel of death killed everybody it's just that when he came he found out that some houses were already killed when he saw blood on their house he said these people are already died and he passed by I pray that blood of sprinkling that blood he said when I see the blood Rabato Koparatata not by accident not by terrorism in the name of the Lord Jesus I command supernatural preservation receive it now supernatural preservation receive it now every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers the Lord is ministering to me 
and I'm saying that between now and December 4, I see four other professors going, but we stop it, we change it in the name of Jesus. We stop it, we change it, we stop it, we change it, we stop it. He said, the heaven of heavens, Mabatakata, Rakata Bata, Beto Botoko Talabatika. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord, but the earth has He given. Now let me pray for you, 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 you have no covenant with death. We are entering the ember months now. Hallelujah. Please, see, take seriously the things that happen here. Are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her upstage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones we've stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry I want to pray for you. Ember month is the time when people, look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speaks us that the blood of Jesus speak better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business you travel to Lagos you travel to Kotono some of you are moving around some of you are coming from different places my Duguri, Joss, Bauchi come out of her now out, out of her now a very violent spirit lift your hands say after me father in the name of jesus i declare that i am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence I declare that throughout this year I have no covenant with the spirit of death say death hear my voice I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore I pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for
for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from january till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of jesus And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then why is hey, And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then why is wall that stands before you and the next dimension I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho I command every wall go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus there are angels that herald the influence of a man listen honor is a grace when that grace is not upon you no matter how noble you are you will never be honored honor is a grace and when that grace is on you only God can take it away it says and Jabez was more honorable than is not more prosperous not more favored more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now you will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life when the grace for honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness 
I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to walk now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The presence of God, the weightiness, the substance of his presence that must rest upon you, especially if you are in ministry, by the power of the Holy Ghost, be a career of divine presence. In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler 
nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked I pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life go from glory to glory if we speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be open in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leko sopa. Repete lato sabati adaka. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it academic bondage I set you free this is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning I prophesy it by the power of the highest I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration seven-fold restoration seven-fold seven-fold not one-fold not two-fold i speak it where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open, every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. 
every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands over every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. A new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are Favor, 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 favor. Every terminal disease in this place, HIV, cancer, in the name of Jesus, we terminate it once and for all. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. S S A S. We change your genotype in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ Captivity ends in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing in the spirit before a gate. And the Lord is telling me, let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life. I command you, by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it Move forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you. Every Egyptian you see today. You are the one who knows the Egyptian. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian. As surely as the Lord God of Israel lives. Once and for all. Bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it 
take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the Lord take you where your gift will be needed may the Lord take you where your gift I command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my God do it I see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of Jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the Lord Jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it
Satabaka Tabalaraba, Makapa Shatam Bakaria Tapalaya, Makapa. The only thing you can send to your future is your prayer. It can go and wait for you. Your prayer can become your protocol. It waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow. It checks that tomorrow is ready for you. And it, if, if it finds anything your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of God in your life, it can... Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny. I tear it down tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Separate to God so to us. I tear it down. All that of delay. All that of barrenness. All that of failure. Hallelujah. Please spare yourselves to two. Find, find a partner and hold a hand. Be serious, please. If the person by your side is not serious, leave him alone. We're doing serious business tonight. Find a partner and hold a hand. 
Shabakato Labakaya. Embretekas Katafraska Labakuria Dabashi. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly. Tonight, I invoke the blood. Let the blood speak. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Every legal access. I have given any altar of darkness. Shabbat Shabbat. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Shabras katabareto sobre ke segete, lebreto sobre ke te Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. In the name of Jesus. I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I curse you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Altars associated with territories. Associated with territories. I come against you by the God of heaven. I come against you. Pray, pray. I come against you.
Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years. But it looks like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Self time in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on for the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your destiny Restore relationships, restore finances, restore mantles, restore ministries. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen, I don't care how many, call it. Listen, you are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out of this wasteful living. Call them. Shake them all out of my consumers. And take them to get those shoes. La Prada Scatabara to Sopregets. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. You don't have to travel. Call it everywhere it is.
Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Lord, I inform the altar that you have with your servant. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen. Because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication, the grace to pray, I receive it right now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Fire, fresh fire on my altar. Fresh grace to pray. Fresh grace to fast. Fresh grace to intercede. For warfare, I command every dead prayer life around my life, come back to life, come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point and I will pray for you. There are many of us, the Spirit of God started revealing things to you because you were meeting with Him every day. But something happened, no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life. No access to illumination. You used to be, you used to have projects that you and God are on. You can literally say we are on a faith project. But now there's nothing like that. Your life has become stale and barren. Some of you is when you started ministry. This, this so-called thing called ministry. That's what destroyed you. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. And the fire will fall upon you. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Say Holy Spirit. I ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life Holy Spirit I cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy Spirit of the Living God do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger 
we were closer than this and something happened Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Jalakosia Kata. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies. I pray for you now. I'm praying for you. In the name that is above all names, everyone hearing me and standing here, whether inside or outside, you have prayed. If there is any altar as I speak now that is speaking against your life, at the count of three, I command those altars to catch fire right now. Please get ready, the power of God will come on people. One, two, three. I command those altars now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just, I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now by fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job. They tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment, right now in the name of Jesus, that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. That fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus. I command total deliverance. Help them, help them please. Total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put down your hands. Ladies, keep your hands lifted. I will tell you why I'm praying for you. There are many ladies, let me tell you. Many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit. It's not just a human being. Keep your hands lifted. That's why demons look for them. That's why spirits look for them. That's why altars speak against them. It may not be caused by you, but I'm praying for you. Keep your hands lifted. You may not understand what is happening. Lord Jesus, I'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege. 
Mantelekos Katapris Kaladoshi Kreataka and declare anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny, anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause fibroid, those yokes that cause lungs around your body, those lungs, those barrenness. I cause it by the God of heaven. I cause it by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. I'm seeing 11 ladies. The Lord is opening my eyes. Listen now. I'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers. And this is a very serious demonic case. And the Lord wants to set them free now. You will not know it. It's not something you know. One of you used to see it physically. You see rings on your hands. In the name of Jesus, 11 people, ladies especially, I'm praying now. Some are inside, some are outside. doesn't matter where you are. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray, whoever came into this meeting, whether online, offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people. Eleven in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed. Sometimes sleeping with you. You are feeling it. This is not guesswork. This is something you know is happening. Wherever that person is. Right now in Jesus name. I stretch my hands. There is no escape. In the name of Jesus, whether inside or outside, you are in this category now. I command judgment. Judgment on any strange spirit. Judgment on any stranger. Judgment on any stranger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please just, just be patient with me. I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people. Yoruba people, there is, there is something, a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people. You know how God acts as I'm speaking now. Everyone associated with that territory, I place the word of God now. In the name of Jesus, let that sword of deliverance, I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now. Who is in need of territorial deliverance? I command it now, inside and outside. In the name of Jesus, no escape. No escape for any power of darkness. Yeah, na na na. Yeah, na na na. Every mark of disfavor that is on anyone's life here, you watch what happens to your life from this meeting. 
anyone carrying any mark of disfavor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now ah, i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I beg you, just follow through with me. If you believe that I hear God and if you believe we are walking by the Spirit, I'd like you to pray. Hallelujah. Limitations. I know a brother. Listen, listen. I know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted, but I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted, but things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters, when he prevailed, doors were open. It was as if the blessings have left heaven, but to now come to this realm. And Daniel remained in prayer. Please hear me. Anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough. It's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18.1 He spake this parable. If you are alive, you don't pray because of fear. You pray because it's a spiritual transaction. It makes things possible in this realm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. And you are going to say, Lord, one more time. Visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspects where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repoto pakata. Sente teke petekete. Suporia tadaraba. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives, break limits, financial limits, suppose sata, intellectual limits, marital limits, job limits. We break it. Sopoto pata. We break limitations. Business limitation, ministry limitation, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled he could not carry himself certain men 
no names. They lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I come, I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Man of influence. Man of access. Sopotopos. Rokotopos. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. 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 Lord, we call them forth. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me, the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea, an influential man. If he was poor and broke, the king would not hear him. The Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised. You are going to pray concerning your finances. Does it make sense to you to pray? We are going to pray and say, Lord, whoever must appear to change my financial destiny, I receive their ministry. Come on now, pray. Come on now, pray. Support it, everybody. Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here. Your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men, certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, He said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials, you have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride, you know that it's time to break forth. But the distance between you and the next level is that certain man. Lift up your hands. Oh God, where is this certain man? Let him come into my life. Come on, pray one more time. one man to change your business 
one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what God is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life. Is God speaking to someone here? There are many of our parents with their qualifications. They should never have to beg. Even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day, they should not be begging. But they need one man to announce them. One man to recommend them. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Because this is somebody's prayer request. Oh Lord, if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump, even if it's just 100,000 there. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us in ministry here. We are great people. This ministry you see today, we enjoy recommendations. Mysterious recommendations. While I was coming, somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK. And he was saying, man of God, don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number. He said, when a man is in trouble, he will look for help anyhow. Are you getting my point? While you are sitting down to sleep, somebody is waking others to talk about you. But you must activate it. It doesn't happen by magic. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry. There are many of you who graduated with excellent results. You've even added masters. And the king sent for Joseph. Somebody must send for you to lead the level that you have. And I prophesy, whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names. Listen, listen. There is a man of God, a popular man of God. I will not mention names. The man had the gift of God like whatever. But nothing could announce that grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? People needed his anointing and his gift. But nobody could announce it. And then something happened. One day, he entered a taxi. True story. When he entered a taxi... The Holy Spirit told him, sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver. And he didn't have much. And he told the driver, take. And he sowed that seed. Ah! The driver looked at him. He said, what will I give you? He said, nothing. He said, sir, can I collect your number? And he collected his number. Please listen to me. This is a true story. When he collected his number, the guy dropped. He said, talk. May God bless you. He was feeling bad. He did not know that that was his moment of victory. Listen. The very next person that will enter that car, listen, they were part of the regional organizers of Redeem, the convention in the UK. Are you getting me? One of the regions. And then the man was talking and said, we are looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing. And we need men of integrity, you know. And the driver said, sir, there was a man that gave me his number. This guy is a true man of God. And that was it. I'm serious. They called him and they said, sorry, we are from this, this region of Redeem. I tell you, they brought that man after that ministration. There were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see. Are you getting my point? They all called him and said, we'd like you to come and, and minister. Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted. Gifted, but there was nothing working in his life. And Mike Mudok looked at him and came 
and he said god told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you share this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? i'm not sure you shared this testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in abuja and then we came back together by the grace of god are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of unilever nigeria are you, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for renard bonke when he came to joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um cv and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave Joss and report to Lagos. He has been there for three years now. Many of us are praying, Lord, take me to the next level. I'm telling you the secret. You need a man. Hear me. There are things you cannot do for yourself. You may be anointed, but your grace will remain there until a man can announce. You may have a great business, a multi-million and billion dollar business. But it takes one man to believe in you and announce you. Are you getting my point? I know one of my friends. He was my classmate. Very intelligent and brilliant guy. This guy finished, furthered his education. There was nobody to speak for him. And this guy kept struggling for years. Nobody to speak for him. And one day I, I prayed. I said, oh Lord, what help this guy. This guy has paid the price look when i say i i think i will classify him as a genius and i'm not telling a lie but i know other people before they even finish service the road has been made plain you need someone in your life please pray and say oh god send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life please pray send a man to change my music ministry oh god send a man send a man into my family say lord by the instrument of the prophetic i call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level to take my family make sure you are praying lord prophetically pray those who will open doors of jobs doors of marriages doors of ministry doors of anointings doors of favor doors of lifting doors of success doors of increase doors of breakthrough make sure you are praying pray it with all your heart your family story can change. You have been praying and fasting. Could this be the message? Could this be the message? Pray. Say, Lord, whether in Lagos or Abuja or Kano or Sanfara, the United States, the Caribbean, by the prophetic power of the Spirit, let there be a connection. Orchestrate a meeting. Let 
there be a meeting pray pray god wants to take you from this level to another it's a year of supernatural exploits exploits by the spirit your story can change activate defining moments activate breakthrough in your life come on prophesy I call them they are coming into my life from the north the east the south I pray for E and I destiny help us are coming we receive them we receive them we receive them we receive them Hallelujah. Let me give you one little story. Look at me. When Professor Madi was the Vice Chancellor of Amadou Bello University, many of you did not meet him. There was a gentleman who did very well, but he did not get admission. Hallelujah. And the guy just went for reasons he could not explain. He went and sat down near the Senate in the night and professor madi had the culture of walking into students hostels walking around just to see what is going on and when he walked he saw the gentleman and he called him he said why are you sitting down here he said sir look at my work result look at everything but my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission he said, you are such a brilliant boy. Do you know what he told him? He said, go home and pack your load and come back. When he came back, they had printed his, admi his admission letter. This is true. It's a confirmed story. Hallelujah. I know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level. Whatever it is that happened, either his name or his matriculation number clashed. And what this guy was seeing was not his real CGPA. This guy would work so hard, but when the exams come out, he would not be it. And then one day, someone just came in and for whatever reason, the person decided to start cross-checking things. The next thing, they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him. When they called him, they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered. Do you know? true life story when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something by the time they corrected everything he was supposed to be in 2 1 in all sincerity my cousin my cousin was a student in this school my cousin was a student in this school he wrote a major exam that he got A and when the result came out they gave him F this guy they didn't know he knew that he had, he had read but you see sometimes even when you have the evidence you don't have access to the king there are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time but that access to the king hallelujah and one day god raised a visiting prophet who just came and he just complained and showed him everything the man took on the case by himself until they rectified it Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete for your loved ones to go to school. Let me tell you, no matter what it is, expand your mind tonight. There are men who are carriers of miracles. They don't even know. There are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs. They have been suffering. You know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job. They are praying. They are applying CV after CV. If it is destiny helpers, they will accelerate your path. You will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. 
But Lord, grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you're going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right. Don't keep quiet, please. Don't keep quiet. Prophesy. I break through from the left, the right, the east, the west. Oh, hallelujah. I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prayer. I contend against every power of darkness. Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. He wants to encourage you. He wants your life to be fruitful. Satan, get lost. Be lifted, all ye gates. Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs. I prophesy breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, family breakthrough, academic breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic. Let angels begin to move to every family. Let angels begin to move over your academic. Angels move over your finances. Angels move over your family. Angels move. I activate the operation of angels. Contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people. Let the angelic contend with the powers that delay, that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthrough. I speak it in your life. I send an anointing into your life. A breaker anointing. A breakthrough anointing. I send it into your life. I send it into your academics. I send it into your family. I send it into your finances. Those you do not know, I cause them to arise and help you. I cause them to arise and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone of your family members looking for a job. My God and my King tonight. Let testimonies rise from this message. No matter how long, tonight, let someone talk to somebody. Talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. For your family members, I command, help us those who will connect them 
to projects and contracts and opportunities. Yes, they don't merit it, but by the power of destiny help us, I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level. In the name of Jesus. Where you have cried academically, I connect you to help us. Professors who will help you. Admin staffs who will help you. Admin staff who will help you. Members in the Senate who will help you. Whether for accommodation, whether for your result, whether for missing script, whether for your wayek, whatever it is. In the name of Jesus. As the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance, may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything, let a strange man come. We don't want to know the name. Let a strange call come. Let a strange connection come. I prophesy it. I release it to you in the name of Jesus. I release testimonies. 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 From this breakthrough experience. Beginning from tonight. I command calls. From destiny help us. Calls. From destiny help us. Calls. From destiny help us. Connections. With destiny help us. They will travel and come and meet you. You will meet them on the street. They will come to your homes. In the name of Jesus. You will see them in your dreams. God will connect you. For every one of your family members. That is supposed to be married. And they are not married. The husbands or the wives. They are not in space. They are here on earth. Lord we pray tonight. As a family. By the power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. I pray, let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The ministry of destiny help us. All through this week, I want you to pray. Cry out and say, Lord, bring them. I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result. Tonight I've shown you a very mighty secret. Don't forget it too soon. Hold it. Every time you are praying over something, the answer is in the hands of another person. Stop beating about the bush. Every man and every authority can answer when God calls. Yours is just to pray that God will connect you. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Shift your voice invoke mercy Keep up.
Listen, listen, listen. Listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But, but now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. And say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and laws by the blood of the eternal God. Anonia, you pray. Alienated. Every biological disformity. Every genetic disformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you MS. That made you MS. That gave you hepatitis. But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to, for the next two or three minutes, I like you to blast in tongues non-stop. This month of July, we are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O God of heaven. Shabadakapa. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Shake 
Eketa Barakoto Soprata. Pray, 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 pray. Era Masabara Samara Koto Sobat. Lakata Bakura Sadabalakas. And the Kato Samia Balakas. Hallelujah. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the mercies of God. He must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka kaka kaka pa. Raka kaka kaka pa. Every day take it in the cotos.
and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements but one of the mysteries that produce true, de true deliverance is the mystery of the blood are we together it's one of the three witnesses the Bible says and there are three witnesses that bear three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the spirit it says that there are three witnesses this is where the problem is the earth it says the spirit the water and the blood are we together the bible guarantees us that the blood of jesus speaketh. the blood of jesus speaketh. that means you can cause the blood to advocate the blood of jesus is an advocate there is the advocacy ministry of the blood the same way cain killed abel abel the man had died but Abel the blood was speaking and he cried and God himself had to say no something is happening although the man had died but the blood is still speaking I'd like you to engage the blood and say in the name of Jesus I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood I invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern, over every curse, over every yoke. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. Upon your life, upon your family. When I see the blood upon every ordinance against you, I will pass over. When I see, I see the blood upon the pronouncements in your family, I will pass over. Lift your voice and invoke the blood. We declare that the blood speaks. Declare the mystery of God's mercy. The blood speaks. We declare the priesthood of Jesus. That is after the order of Melchizedek. 
higher than the Aaronic priesthood. Higher than the priesthood of Noah. We declare in the name of Jesus. The blood speaks. The blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers. The blood speaks. Hallelujah. But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing down. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing down. To pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Shadow. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. The burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain.
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb. As we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find. I will not give birth to any stranger. No, let the post cutter balata, shanaka post cutter. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five ploy. I cause five ploy. Cause every devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father, in the heavens. This is better. The yokes, the altars, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I, I challenge. It is upon Mount Zion. The spirit that was failure. that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to me for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angel on assignment, judging the wicked, delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life.
going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you are going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's katabata every anointing every mantle every mandate every dimension the prophetic the apostolic prosperity increase speed deliverance that God has shown me Lord you showed me victory I declare I declare I declare it must find expression is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer, many strange things will start happening to you. Don't worry about it. You just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit. I cast every devil. I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family.
you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. is no pretense oh god please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as i speak the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV 1 and 2 in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now 
Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see and has said your family members will not see it. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay or any kind of delay, at the count of three, yokes and causes of delay because one, two, three. Go, 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness, hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for disfavor, that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of disfavor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shove restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up. We're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration Move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Believe that now. Believe that now. Second, take it over. Believe that now. Believe that now. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life, whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now, I pray that embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now. 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 Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried They've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now. Let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing hit you now. Take it. Take it. I command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it do it prospers I pray right now I command every business here grow in the name of Jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released I command peace I command prosperity I command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth and he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored 
I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero. No word life, no prayer life. Tonight, let a fire that not even you can quench. Fire, prayer, fire. Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it, take it, take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I ask finally that everyone following online, everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows, everything that has made men mock God in your life, I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart. I give you the next 13 days. Surprise them. Surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life. Surprise your accusers. Surprise everyone who knew you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody else took it and took it back home. He said you were looking for something. You tried every skill. But God has instructed someone to take that donkey back home. Not to take it and look for you. To take it back to where it was supposed to be. Number one. Number two. It says, okay, can, can we go to um, verse three? Then thou shalt go forward. And thou shalt come to the plain of Tabor. And there you shall meet three men going up to God in Bethel, the place of abundance. He said, one carrying three kids, another carrying three loaves of bread, another carrying a bottle of wine. You will meet influential people. He says, something by reason of an anointing. You will encounter people carrying strange resources. He said, when they see you, listen, verse 4, please. Help us, media. They will salute you. And they will give you two loaves of bread. He said, which thou shalt receive. They are on their way going. But an anointing compels you. Listen, favor is a dangerous mystery. When men look at you. That anointing makes them behave to you in a certain way. It's not like they plan doing it. Hallelujah. There was an anointing upon Esther. And the Bible says she found favor in the eyes of everyone who looked at her. The moment they make contact with you, a reaction happens in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A little boy leaves his father's house in desperation and returns with an anointing that brings uncommon results. We are going to pray. Lord, any man that sees my face, let that anointing be activated. Lift your voice and pray. 
any man that sees my face let that anointing for favor speak any helper any man of influence their contact with my face will command favor are you praying sabareketelekota enkerotos kabarakos kalaba any man that sees my face I activate that mystery on contact with me access to strange resources access to the heart of kings access to the heart of nobles access to the heart of men of influence by this mantle of favor by this mantle of favor hallelujah hallelujah the bible says from the day potiphar set his eyes on joseph something happened to potiphar and he could not victimize that boy again he was sold as a slave a slave is a property but he found favor let me tell you something about favor when the favor of god is upon you a man does not need to know you to bless you pharaoh hated israel but he instructed a release of abundance in one night, the Bible says the Israelites spoiled the Egyptians. It was like a charm because after they left, he now recovered and said, what did I do? Chase them and take it back. Abimelech blessed Abraham with abundance. A man who had lied to him. It warranted punishment. But the Bible says Abimelech blessed Abraham. Bless Abraham. Genesis 26. We'll read from verse 14. Or from verse 12. Let's start from 12. Down to 16. Four verses. Genesis. Genesis 26. And Isaac sowed in that land. And received in that same year an hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. 13. And the man works great and went forward and grew until he became very great. Verse 4. For he had possessions of flock and possessions of herd and great store of servants and the Philistines envied him. Verse 15. For all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of Abraham his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. 16. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. I like it to say, Lord, begin to exalt me by your mantle of favor. Go ahead and pray, lift your voice. Thou art mightier, not by skill. Thou art mightier, not by age. We see that there is a mystery upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. He said, Go from us. Go away from this region. Haparoto sata. Japarekende kelepos. Prakapato sopa. Shebetekete. Make sure you are praying. Shekete barada balada balada bos. Sekete. Maporoto skopria. Ele prates karepo zabanigari. Ela proskopro soprekes rakata baladabash. Lord, you begin to exalt me by your favor, by this mantle of favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Revelations 5:12. Revelations 5:12. Let's have the communion. We are taking the blood tonight. Saying with a loud voice, 
Worthy is the lamb that was slain. That blood he shed gave him access to power. We cried for it yesterday. The second dimension is riches. There is a way God can favor a man and bring wealth and riches. The Bible says, blessed is the man that feared the Lord. He said, the generation of the upright shall be mighty. He said, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Not be around, be in his house. He says, your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Your gates shall swing open and you will receive the forces of the Gentiles. I like you to pray and say, Lord, I open the gates of my destiny to favor all kinds of people, strangers, strangers. Lift your voice. Please pray. Please pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Lord, I open the gates of my destiny. Strangers, your blood has given me access to riches, to wealth. I open up the gates. I open up the gates in the name of Jesus. I open up the gates. Pray. He's working in me. He's working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. It is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. Ability is working in me, is working in me. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter twenty six, verse nine. Can we have the communion, please? Leviticus 26 verse 9 I'd like us to read it Can we have New King James? Is that possible or Amplified? Anyone please Amplified or New King James Hallelujah Start from verse 9 You're on verse 10 Go ahead and read. One, two, read. He said, for I will be leaning towards you with favor. I will regard you. As a result of that, I will begin. I will make you not you will try to do it me i have chosen to make you fruitful he says i will make you fruitful i will multiply you i will establish you verse 10 he says and you shall eat the abundance of the old store there was something meant for you that you have not touched i will go back to revisit things that you are supposed to enjoy it says you shall eat the abundance of the old store of produce long kept there are blessings that have been kept but by witchcraft and manipulations you've not had access to it he said they are still there although you have not seen them they are still there 
and he said you will eat them he called them an old store and then he says long kept he said and clear out the old to do what to make room for the new in other words what you will begin to enjoy is a restoration first i need you to empty the storehouse to make room for what i'm about to do lift your voice and say lord by favor i receive restoration by favor you will eat of the old store you will eat of the old store Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. He said, even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not. He says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was his name thereof. I'd like you to begin to call things in your life. Listen, there are things that have mocked God in our lives. I'd like you to insist. God has already told you, there's no such thing as losses. They are still in the realm of the spirit. Call them by their names and say, appear in my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Pray. Shake tabara. Call forth fortunes. Call forth opportunities. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Call them to appear by the mantle of favor. Call them to appear. 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 Leko toko soto kote. Rekete brash kamaria na balada. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we just got word that it's like there's a little hitch with the communion. So it's possible we may not be able to take it. We really apologize, but we're still going to pray. Hallelujah. We're still going to pray. Listen. A man's life will be a repeated cycle of hardship. I believe in principles. I have taught you principles. We have taught principles of financial dominion. We have, we have taught all sorts of principles. I believe in that. But I have also seen how God can veto laws and step into a man's life and do remarkable things. Are we together? Job 42, verse 10. Job 42, verse 10. Life is more than science. I believe in principles. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And also the Lord gave Job. Who gave him? Where did he get it from? A man can get a thing from God. He said, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. How did that happen? I will tell you how it happened. God did not leave us in the dark. He didn't fall from heaven. Next verse. Then came unto him all his brethren. That was the first sign. When favor is upon your life, strange men start coming. Never trivialize the appearance of men. The Bible says, he that told, they, they dejected him, everybody left him. But now they started returning. And the Bible says, and all his sisters, and all they that had been his acquaintance before. 
fall, the ministry of men brought favor to Job. Something happened and the men left and the favor went with them. Men are custodians of favor. And the Bible says, and he did eat bread. They did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And what happened? Every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. How many of them? Every. It was like a roll call. You were my friend before and you left me. Where are you? Bring your money. Favor. I'd like you to pray. And say, Lord, every destiny helper that has left my life before, they must appear with their blessings. Lift your voice and cry. Cry, cry. Everyone, the acquaintances that left him before, they left him before. In the name of Jesus, we call help us. We call help us. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Call them forth. Hallelujah. 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 I like us to pray. The Bible says all that happened to Job when he prayed for his friends. Praise the Lord. Pair yourselves into two. I like you to hold the hand of somebody. We're going to provoke a divine mystery. He prayed for his friend. Please, I like you to pray. Whether you are holding your friend, your brother, your classmate, leave the issue of relationship down. I like you to prophesy and say, I restore by the power mandated upon my life. I call forth favor upon your life. Pray. Oh, you have an anointing. Pray. Pray. Release miracles. In the life, stand upon your priestly position. Pray. Oh, I'm mandated to bless you. My brother, I prophesy to you. My sister, I end your misfortune. I end your misfortune. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, a mantle is upon me. And I speak to you. I speak to you. Favor. 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 Upon you. Favor. Upon you. It must speak. It must speak. I give it a voice. Favor.
upon your life hallelujah before I speak upon your life I want to pray for you please everybody pray I want you to stand if you can take off your shoes and stand upon the ground the earth is a universal point of contact everything alive makes contact with the earth everything alive every destiny helper you meet is at this point touching this ground just like you and we are going to pray. The, pro the prophet said, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. There is a mystery of the earth. I like you to pray. And say, as I walk upon this ground, wherever my helper is, I call you by prophecy. Come into my life. Go ahead and pray. Pray, pray. Pray, please. We are not playing. Wherever they are, I use the earth as a token. I use the earth as a token of prophecy. I use the earth as a token. Oh earth, hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. Locate my helper. Locate my helper. Financial helpers. Ministry helpers. Business helpers. Oh earth, I make a contact with you. Pray. Scapa roto supregede. In grapa toko roko supregede. Parianda Kareto Skobash Rapato Sopregede Rakoto Skoprende Gedebosh Tera Rabosona Namaria Rade Hallelujah. Please remain while still praying. Give us Job chapter 5. I want to show you a mystery. Job 5. 22 and 23. Our earth is surrounded by mysteries. Those who understand this will know how to reign in life. Job 5. 22 and 23. Please, media. Are you there? And destruction and famine. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. I will tell you why. Listen. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Verse 23. For thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. Listen. He said, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. There is a mystery here. He says, I will put you in covenant with this earth. And instruct that everywhere the earth sees you, it must make everything on it favor you. I show you a mystery. Listen. Listen to what I'm teaching you. It says you will be in league. You know what it means to be in league? Covenant. Everything upon it, when it sees you, it tells the animals and every hostility, be at peace. This man is in covenant with us. I'd like you to pray and say, oh earth, share the word of the Lord. I have a covenant of peace. Every business upon the ground, 
every helper upon the ground be at peace with me be at peace with my destiny pray pray you shall be at peace in league with the stones of the field money will not run away from you money was made from the earth it has a spirit pray there is a covenant of my destiny and the earth i speak to you by the authority of the lord jesus for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field thou shalt be in covenant i speak to you speak to the earth speak to it it has an ear i speak to you every resource within you around you upon you answer to me every resource within you around you answer to my destiny everywhere you see me answer to me in the wilderness in the plain on land every hostility that happens upon the earth shall not be my portion no accident no terrorism no lack i'm in league with the stones of the field no longer will resources run away from me they come to me in abundance hallelujah hallelujah listen there are five elements that become conduits for the expression of the supernatural five elements by the way don't you think that what we have done or what we are doing is some sort of demonic thing no hosea chapter 12 said i have spoken to you by the prophet i have used similitudes i have used tokens representations to communicate my intent i have used tokens similitudes to speak to you they understood this mystery that was why every time god did, did a thing they would raise an altar and be at peace with the earth and raise an altar and say this altar even when we leave this city make sure you speak for us we were supposed to kill certain people but we spared them and so we raised an altar there and we ate bread there so that any man that dare touches us the altar will speak my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you take my praise oh god take my praise hallelujah when the lord was showing me this mystery i've shared it with you there was a year this is not something you just do foolishly I started trekking from the roundabout of Chike Republic to aviation. The Lord made me do so. And I was just walking on the ground. I'm praying in tongues like a fool. I didn't know I was entering a covenant. Every principality in this city knows. I told you there is a spirit in this city that makes things old. The lifespan of impact in this city is three years after three years there is a force that draws your life back to nonsense there are great men that have written, risen from this city but they do not know the art of war in the spirit and when i walked upon that i was tired i was hungry but i was speaking the bible says everywhere the sole of your feet not the desire of your heart everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon what did he say he said i give you that means you define the limit of your territory i like you to pray 
and say i'm standing upon the earth the same way the ground is not upon me hardship return to where you belong you are under my feet lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray i'm standing upon the earth hardship cannot be upon me i'm standing upon the earth it's a sign of dominion it's a sign of power it's a sign of sovereign control I command situations I command circumstances come back under my feet come back under my feet come back under my feet everything above me mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny mocking God in my life mocking God in my destiny you come under my feet you come under my feet you come under my feet hallelujah hallelujah I was sharing with the school of ministry students this morning a very humorous experience that happened to me somebody called me at the beginning of this fast and he said apostle the lord instructed me i'm a professional tailor and the lord instructed me that from today i should handle all your clothes and begin to sew your clothes for you i want to come and collect your measurement and all i need to do is to sew your clothes the bible says strangers shall feed your flock if you don't don't you think it's happening just because we're men of god this ministry we have seen strange I, I will not even begin to give you the testimony because it will make some of you angry the finger of god the strange manifestation of the favor and the wisdom of god there is such a thing called the mantle of favor a man can have it there is such a thing called the mantle of favor there are unbelievers they are not born again but they are some of the biggest financiers of some of the ministries that you see around the biggest financiers and they will say god said this i was sharing with somebody of a lady he started with one but there are three of them they are they believe their assignment in my life is to send me five thousand naira recharge card every month as a covenant hallelujah there are people who do me transfers to my account every month of their life as a covenant between them and god god is my witness i don't know some of them i don't even know how they got my account some will tell me i had a dream some will say i did this brothers and sisters if you think you must know somebody to bless you you are joking get set to die poor are you hearing what i'm saying hmm. wisdom strategies the bible says an uzziah it says uzziah became strong because he was marvelously helped of the lord we are going to pray and say lord help me listen when god helps a man your story must change i like be humble and say lord i've done my best help me lift your voice and pray uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped i pray lord help me you yourself be my helper pray 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 so kapara to shotos se prekete lekota pareketo soto bekete are we praying please help me ebenezer the helper of zion ebenezer he said if the lord had not been on our side now may israel say hallelujah hallelujah please if you can lift your hands as i speak over your life i want you to believe it there is such a thing as a mantle of favor not the gift of favor the mantle of favor in the name 
that is above all names the resurrected christ he said worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive for us riches i pray for you every cause of misfortune upon your life today we bury it forever in the name of jesus we bury it forever in the name of jesus every signature of hardship every signature of misfortune in your life in this year in the name of jesus i bring it to an end i bring it to an end the bible says hey guy the one who dressed the virgins of the king gave esther a certain kind of ointment and she kept rubbing it for one year when she stood before the king he desired her i pray for you by this mantle let any man who sees you desire to bless you desire to help you desire to bless you hallelujah i pray for everything dying in your hand the bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i stand upon this anointing in the name of jesus like jesus called lazarus from the grave every misfortune every dying business every dying career every dying idea jack back to life this night in the name of jesus jack back to life please help that brother help that brother jack back to life in the name of jesus jack back to life in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for you that grace that makes men accomplish so much in such a short time in the name of the resurrected christ i'm praying for you beginning from today let that favor cause speed in your life let that favor bring speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life speed to your life listen from today i'd like you to walk conscious of the fact that the mantle of favor is upon me as you move around know it don't don't just be emotional this night i walk all the time knowing that there is favor upon my life i expect people to bless me anywhere anywhere at the airport bus station anywhere i expect it because it's not about the people it's about what is on me lay your hands on your head say father today i receive this mantle of favor mantle of favor i command you begin to speak speak to the north speak to the south speak to the east speak to the west in the name of jesus i command you attract to my life people attract to my life opportunities attract to my life resources in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm praying for you my god like a cloak let it come upon your people that mantle of favor some of you beginning from this night as you leave it's like a mark upon you you will find people favoring you everywhere and anyone who is connected to this grace those online businesses let me pray specifically for businesses i pray for businesses in the name of jesus every business every investment any financial platform hear the word of the lord we superimpose your weakness by the favor of the lord in the name of jesus i speak to every job in this place 
every career that has refused to move forward we force it to move forward we force it to move forward anything that must enter your hand between today and friday we prophesy it must enter your hand it must enter your hand i decree and declare over your life by the spirit of the living god the kind of help you have not seen from january till now in the name of jesus the christ of god i declare it upon your life help in business help in career help in your spiritual life help in your finances in the name of jesus Psalm 79 verse 11 The Bible says That God would preserve those who have been appointed to die There are human beings who have been appointed to die They are walking on earth whereas they have finished When you read the book of Esther you will see that they use divination to choose the date Where they will fight and annihilate the Jews In the name of Jesus For everyone and every family here appointed to death that whilst you are walking on earth in the realm of the spirit, it has been concluded that on this day you will die. I decree and declare, death passes over you. Death passes over your loved ones. We rebuke the spirit of death. Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? Be banished from God's people. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. Ah. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. I want to speak to someone. Truly there is a grace that turns people's things around. Sing it as a prophecy is happening in your life. Jesus every situation that has become an object of mockery in your life I stand by the God of heaven and I declare between now and the end of this month in the name of Jesus whose I am in the name of Jesus that situation is turned for your good now and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon let me call forth your destiny help us wherever they are in this city men and women ordained and anointed to hold your hands i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west wherever the helpers of your destiny are i command them to appear in the name of jesus We will shout hallelujah, we will shout praise the Lord, we will dance, we will shout say
ready for the next prophetic word the bible says and then the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariot of ahab down to jezreel i want to release the grace for speed speed is a reality in the name of jesus i decree and declare inside outside all of the overflows and those following online from today step into a supernatural dimension of results speed for you speed in ministry speed in business in the name of jesus christ Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17. And the king loved Esther more than all the virgins. And the Bible says that he took her to be queen instead of Vashti. I decree and declare, whoever is sitting on what belongs to you, I stand by the God of heaven. I push them out of the way and I declare you are enthroned. Push them out of the way and declare you are enthroned. Push them out of the way and declare you are enthroned. If all you have is money, you are not favored. So Father, I pray from the depth of my spirit for as many who will have the discernment may this grace for favor that by the election of grace you have placed upon this life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace listen to me I know what I'm I listen I'm praying this from my heart you have the humility to receive it will change your life I declare according to exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty i stand by the god of my covenant and i declare from today may the grace for favor rest on your life help them please may the grace for favor rest upon your life take that grace Take that grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman please. May the grace for access and visibility. The grace that can open gates. Gates of nations. Gates of the hearts of kings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every territory that has rejected you rejected your ministry rejected your value your business by this oil a father gates be open by this oil a father doors be open in politics be open in business be open in ministry be open Hear me anybody that fights you goes down instantly and anyone who says over their dead body for you to rise may their prayer be answered I pray for you in the name of Jesus whatever has refused to walk in your life by the word of god the sent word we command and we compel it to begin to walk oh may your help us begin to speak about you at the gates the gates of your destiny the kings of tyre and sidon we call them to sing your praises they will speak about the wonder of god upon your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we're wrapping up the pandemic has brought a lot of financial hardship on people and families steve crown come 
you have stood before God and you have humbled yourself here. I stand by the apostolic. If it is God that has sent me, I stretch my hands and I declare, I shift you. Step into a new level of visibility. You are not bowing down to a man. I speak to you by the God of heaven who anoints men. He is the one who set in the church apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers. In the name of Jesus, you and your ministry, everywhere across this city and across this nation, may strange doors be opened for you. Strange visibility for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may my God honor you in public. The honor that God has placed upon my life and upon this ministry. In the name of Jesus, I take of that honor and I bless it upon your life. God bless you, sir. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. Everyone in ministry here, I stand in faith with Pastor Shola, God's prophet, Pastor Emos Fenwa, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. There are few people that have had access to Baba Deboye like him. And many of you saw recently, uh, God gave me the honor and the privilege to have access to this, our father of faith. Listen to me. We didn't invent this grace. We are also recipients of it. From the abundance of that which God has released. You see, let me tell you this. What God gives, I say it again, God did not send us. This is not church thing, my ministry thing. Those days of childishness are over. This is a grace for the body. If the body is not corporately edified, even if we are excelling, we are failed. Are we together now? This issue of ministry, my church mentality, we must fold it away and look at the corporate good of the body. If Koinonia is excelling and the church in Abuja is going down, we are all failing together. This is beyond Koinonia. Administratively, you pay attention to the work God has given you, but your body must extend beyond the shores of your own church to the body of Christ. This is how we win. Hallelujah. Who is set? Come. You are the set from Joss. Come and stand here. Your life is about to change. Please stand up. What are you doing abroad? Uh, I was schooling, but I, I remained there. I just came in for, for some jobs. Okay, what do you do? Um, I'm, I'm an audio engineer, but I work with a security company. I want to pray for you. Yeah, thank you. There is something that wants to fight your glory. This is what I'm saying. Don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Ah. This thing started from St. John's, Joss. I want to pray for you. Because the Lord is going to lift you. There is a dimension that you would have attained right now. But for some reason, things just went down. But I want to pray for you. Who is this? Wife? God bless you. Come and stand near your husband. The Lord is giving you a new song. I'm prophesying to you in the open. Two of you. I release grace now. In the name of Jesus. May this fire and may this anointing bring you again to the place of visibility. Mr. Seth. Yes, sir. There is an oil you have neglected. Go back to it. It's an oil of worship. Yes, sir. There is a ministry God has given you. Don't fail in it. Go back. Part of your prosperity is tied to that. Wife, look at me. I speak to you by the Spirit of God. It's God that brought you to the life of this man. You are a powerful force together. And I'm standing in the open and I'm speaking to you. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next four months, look at me. There are songs that are going to come out of you again. You watch and see what these songs will do in the nation. I bless you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return back to your seat. 
I pray again for you, everyone. By the power of the Holy Spirit, everything you have as a product, a document, whatever it is that came as a point of contact, in Jesus' name, we declare life upon it. For those trusting God for jobs, between now and the next one month, I call upon my God, who is also your God, return with strange testimonies. Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is willing. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. Imbrakata praskata prasika te preke de bela de boko sopra da kata manda baska praska rika to sopra ke di bara shikata empi ko to sopra ke te bara da no shikata. And by understanding, it is established. Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Let's lift our hands and give God praise. In the name of Jesus, we know there is more than this. We ask you to help us tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus. We are the desperate people. We want more. Oh, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more. Lord. Psalms 80, please. I'm going to be praying. Tonight is a prayer meeting. Psalms 80, verse 18, to prepare our spirit. Shiba Katoparato Supratia. The presence of God is strong in this place. There is grace to pray. Psalms 80, verse 18. Let's read it together. One to read. So we will not go back from thee. Quicken us and we will call upon your name you don't just pray because you want to pray there is a grace it's called the spirit of prayer and supplication hallelujah before we start tonight we're going to be crying that quickening you will pray mechanically until that quickening comes are we together so for the next few minutes i want you to blast in tongues and shake every unbelief in your spirit please be serious be serious be serious Go ahead and pray. We can also go and we will call upon your name. It's a 
light outside goes for the light. Go ahead and pray, pray. 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 Pray,
The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. In Brakata Praskata Prasikata Prakadabella Devoko Sopragata Manda Baska Praska Rikato Sopregedi Varashikata Empikoto Sopregate Varada Roshika Jesus, 
Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. Shabakata parada bakata, shakata prakata le bokorote. Shabarata kata parada. It's in the name of Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus, something Hallelujah. Lord, I am willing and have been obedient to your principles. Therefore, I deserve to eat the good of the land. I place a demand on the strength of this reality. That's how to pray. You don't pray emotional prayer. You don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense. The only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God, which is a testament of his will. Show me why God must give you a child. Show me why God must give you a job. Show me why God must give you a husband. Show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family. Bring forth your strong reasons. Let me show you one more scripture. I found this today and it blessed me. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Learn this. I'm teaching you that the legal dimension of prayer isaiah 43 verse 26 please read one to read put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that he may be justified is your bible the word put me in remembrance does not mean i have forgotten give me a basis to respond upon your life because I'm a Christian, you are joking. Make your request known. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, as you pray, not by complaining, make your request with, with thanksgiving. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling Oh God, my secret place is calling you. Oh God, take my praise, take my praise, it's calling you. Hey, hey, hey. Take my praise, take my praise, it's calling you. One more time, let's sing it. My altar is calling you. Hallelujah. The first prayer point for time's sake. We are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who are that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. Who are thou mounting? Before Zerubbabel. Thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout. Grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. 
in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Speak to the mountain. The Bible says if you speak to that mountain, it will give way. If you speak, Kabatala Patia. Oh, I speak, I speak, I speak, I prophesy. I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life. Every limitation mocking the power of God in my life. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. I command that dagon. You must bow. That dagon of joblessness. That dagon of poverty. That dagon of stagnation. Oh, I command you. I command you in the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if thou shalt say to this mountain not any mountain the mountain has a name you must call it don't say god bless me god favor me no 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 you need to be specific lord i am tired of stagnation in this area mention it and command what you want to do the bible says declare ye that thou mayest be justified lift your voice and pray Rakata Kata command it call it by name poverty i call you by name barrenness i call you by name i command you clear off my path limitation i call you by name i call you by name i call you by name you are a devil I command you to give way. I tell you, mountains are moving. Mountains are moving. They must move. They must move. There is grace tonight. Challenge them. Call them by name. They must move. If thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say to this mountain, oh, I command you, I command you, I command you that that God, you must leave God's people tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? There is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth. It is never in God's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering. Uh-uh. But there is a mystery of exemption. 
there are certain things that are written judgments you cannot stop the judgment it must come but what happens is that there is an exemption when the flood was about to come he told Noah build an ark this flood no one can stop it from coming but I can exempt you build an ark are we together Pharaoh had a dream a famine was coming after seven years nothing will stop it but there was a mystery a strategy was revealed to, to Joseph all through scripture there have been famines in Samaria there was famine but the prophet was not hungry there was a mystery that sustained him when it was time for breakthrough he knew what to do the Bible says there was a particular location please hear me hear me you have to convince yourself that you are different don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy the Bible says when men say there is a casting down are we together we want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through agreed there's a lot of financial hardship agreed there's a lot of downsizing but do you not know that when men say there is a casting down for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it pray and say lord i invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life i cannot be part of the tears of men lift your voice and pray it's for your glory pray for myself for my family are you praying koinonia i will give you the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places the treasures of darkness the hidden riches Pray, you're not wasting your time. I exempt myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are two instruments of exemption from scripture. Are we together? The first instrument of exemption is the blood. When the last plague was about to be revealed, he told them, he said, get a lamb. Cut that lamb. Drain the blood. Put it upon your lintel. Whether you have personal faith or not, that's not the issue. Once I see the blood, I pass by. Listen, it was a mystery. As far as the angel of death was concerned, he killed everybody. But when he got to some homes, they were already dead. And so he passed. There was no need killing them. The blood was a sign that someone had died for them. And so the angel passed. And everywhere he did not see it. Let me tell you. There is a mark upon the saints. Please hear me. This thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit. It has eyes. It knows where to go to. Are we together? I'd like you to pray and plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, plead the blood. The blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident supernatural exemption from terrorism supernatural exemption from wickedness supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness no 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 death no death it's still a glorious year. Multiplied grace, influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we praying? The second instrument of exemption is called favor. The second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor. So every time your enemy wants to triumph, favor is not just for collecting things. It's an instrument for triumph. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let favor exempt me. Lift your voice and pray. The wickedness of men to destroy us. The betrayal of men to mock our God, including those close to us. They may be family members, but he said, Oh God, this is how I will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired while praying. Don't be tired. Enlarge my territory. Lift your voice and pray. This dimension, this level, take me higher. Take me deeper. Enlarge my coast. Increase my influence. Enlarge my coast increase my influence hallelujah 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 for a child shall die a hundred years old, but a sinner being a hundred years old shall be a cause. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. Listen, when the witch that comes, it makes you labor. When it's time to enjoy, something happens. But he said they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them. For as the days of a tree, are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands you're going to pray and say lord by the blessing preserve me the blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally lift your voice and pray preserving you from destruction destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it Destroy it not. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for Nigeria. Lift your voice and say, Lord, it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise. Lift your voice and pray. Nigeria. God's firstborn. Nigeria. The holy land. God's land. Nigeria, 
God's own nation, Nigeria, God's own nation. Lord, we command every spirit. Lord, we command every power. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the east. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Stretch your hands to the heavens. Speak to the gates. We call our gates peace. We command the spiritual borders of this nation to be secured, secured from terrorism. We command peace upon our walls. Upon our gates, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused. No matter how much you succeed in life, if your family members don't catch along, they will draw you back. Are we together? Are we together? We are going to pray. There are many families suffering. You see a family of 10 people, only one breadwinner. It's a cause. Are we together? It's a cause. But we are going to pray. There are many families that are dead. Once upon a time they were rich. Once upon a time they were blessed. Once upon a time they were walking. Now they were dead. In Ezekiel 37, it says, Son of man, can these bones live? They were an army. They were a family one time. But something happened and they died. They lost their structure. But he said, son of man, if you want them to come to life, prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. The instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy. I'd like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family. They can live again. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and prophesy. I call every dead thing in my family. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every dead business. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are coming back to ourselves now to pray. Please listen. The greatest gift a man can have is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't refrigerate it. You don't have to wear suits for it to work. It doesn't need battery. It doesn't need voting. Oh, come on. A man who pays the price to carry the power of the Holy Ghost is a man who will never beg for bread. A man who will never die in complex. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to go. I want to go. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. I want to run over. Lord, put something upon my life. That will force men to look for me. Lift your voice and pray. Bless an anointing, oh God. 
upon my life place and ability come on pray an anointing that will cause Gentiles to come to your light they are kings to the brightness of their rising from heaven an ability that makes me an endangered species an unction from the throne room that will make men seek me pray 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 shakata prakata rekotosh Hallelujah. 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 Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift. It takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. Look for grace. Grow to become valuable. Are we ready? Mark chapter 1, please. Mark 1, 36, 37. He said, And Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after him. And this is what happened. Next verse. May that be your prophecy in Jesus' name. Go ahead and read it. One to read. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, every potential locked up in me every gifting every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures to come with their bounties every unction every prophetic anointing every healing anointing every teaching grace every entrepreneurial ability every leadership ability every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me I cry for a release I cry for an activation I'm tired of looking for help I am tired of begging men oh God activate a grace upon my life Shabakatata pray from your heart Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. We're going to sing this song, God's Ability. Sing it with all your heart and I want to prophesy upon you. Are we together? There is an unction that can come upon you. Can come upon your business. Can come upon your academics. Can come upon your life. You may be gifted, but is your gift anointed? It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing. When little brings much, it is anointed. When much brings much, it is scientific. When much brings little, it is demonic. But when little brings much, it has to be supernatural. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Is working in me. One more time. Lift your hands, I want to speak over your life. God's ability. That's what you see lifting this ministry. Recession proof. Pain proof. 
stress proof by the unction of the spirit rising like an edifice as though satan does not exist by a mystery no gate of hell can unravel what can it be it's god's ability god's ability is working in me hallelujah i want to pray for you but i want to speak some blessings upon you it says early will i seek you to see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary it's one thing to see the hand of god in a sanctuary help her please and then it's another thing to see it in your life it's one thing to see god move in koinonia but it's another thing to see it work in your life i want to pray for you no no something must land in your life please i want you to believe this with all your heart one of the gifts that god has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers we never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering and it was a light god gave me it says you will call on man and a nation will answer i want to pray for you Kabaratakaya. There is an unction that makes men come to your aid. In the name of Jesus, right now by the power of the Holy Ghost, in this night of prayer, I release that anointing all over the building, inside and outside. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that unction right now. The unction that draws help us. I tell you fire is falling on people the unction from heaven that calls help us to your life strange help us hallelujah we're still praying we're rounding up this prayer session i want to pray for you brothers and sisters if I tell you I do not know what the favor of God looks like I will be lying to you there is such a thing called the Esther anointing God gave me this revelation in 2010 that there is an anointing called the Esther anointing the Bible says Esther found favor on everyone who looked at her it was like a cloth she was wearing once you look at them the mantle comes upon you you must favor them listen there is such a grace when men make contact for as long as their eyes can see you something must force resources from them i pray for you in the name of the lord god of heaven by the mystery of favor shakatabaratata i see this falling on people receive the esther anointing now 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 receive the esther anointing enough is enough i prophesy it inside outside everywhere online receive the esther anointing the esther anointing strange favor strange testimony strange favor i prophesy it let it enter your spirit i activate it let it work in your life strange favor strange favor Strange favor, strange favor, Kapatalakata. Strange favor. Listen. If you want to pay your way through life, you will die young. It's not about being rich, it's about being favored. It's not all about money. There are some things money cannot do. Are we together? Favor. We are going to pray for speed. Speed. It's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time. Listen. There is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives. It's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow when a man buys his first car at 70 years 
is not a testimony are we together when our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel it's a cost many parents are waiting for their children to build for them but the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children i want to pray for you there is such a thing as speed there is such a thing as speed some of us are moving god is helping us but if you are to be sincere your pace is slow financially is too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children it's a cost are we together the lord must send speed to our lives some of us the, the things you plan from january till now not one you have not ticked it one no you need grace there, there is a grace that accelerates men are we together let me share this with you with all humility i went to check my list of the things that i was trusting god would do in my life i found out that certain things that were least for other years god had gone ahead to start doing them and i said lord you are faithful and the lord said if you trust me i can surprise you to the end of the year that's what god said and i believe it for us all we're praying we've been trusting god for a place of counseling you know because of the crowds that come and just last week a family i think they are represented here just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge that's the gift of men are we together the gift of men there's a song in my heart i'm not yoruba you know the song who knows the song we need to sing that song do you know the song? Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. Oh, see you. Oh, see you. Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. We're rounding up. Don't worry. Protocol make arrangement for as many bosses, even if they have to come back multiple times. Don't be afraid. We're going to make sure if it's possible to transport everybody, we'll send you. So don't be afraid of time. Praise the Lord. It's part of the wicked, stupid things that poverty does for people. God wants to bless you. You are thinking, we curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Focus and concentrate. We are blessed enough to take you home. Don't rob yourself of the miracle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to speak from the depth of my heart. You need speed. This prayer session is important. You need speed in your life. Some of us, you are too slow. Everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise. You are limping when others are flying. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. He said, they will mount up with wings as eagles, riding through the current. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace that makes men catch up. Some of you, it's not even speed. What you need is restoration first, before speed. Are we together? Hallelujah. Someone we used to know many years ago, we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year and when we saw that person this year it was an apology it was horrible he was looking like a thief after many years do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you the only thing growing in your life is your age it's a cause are we together don't say you are too young to be blessed 
don't allow the cause that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40 and they say you are too young too young for what you are not too young for trouble why should you be too too young for blessings when trouble comes people say it's all right but when blessings come they say well, how did this happen i want to pray with, for you let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using i pray for you in the name of jesus christ at the count of three may that unction for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people lord i'm praying at the count of three release grace oh god move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed 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 shaparakata speed i command speed where you have been crawling start running start running start running where you have been running start flying start flying by prophecy start flying by prophecy start flying pursue overtake recover without fail i prophesy to you pursue overtake pursue overtake pursue overtake recover thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. In two minutes, I'd like you to thank God. Expressions of deep gratitude. Lord, I thank you. Speak to Him in your language. Expressions of deep gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. Hallelujah. Let me speak over your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare whether in ministry whether in business whatever area of your life i stand by the grace of god and i declare walk under open heavens walk under open heavens i speak open heavens for ministry open heavens for career in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare hear me that any voice that speaks against you until now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i declare that voice is silenced forever silence forever in the name of jesus please hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the kind of favor that you need for your assignment i stretch my hand by the privilege of this grace and i command your life to continue to receive it in the name of jesus christ i speak to the spirit of death i command that it is far from your dwelling in the name of jesus christ for those of you that god will honor to be in the ministry i strengthen your hands make maximum impact by the spirit signs and wonders the accurate communication of the word of god in the name of jesus christ i declare that a space must be created for your impact in this generation in the name of jesus christ regardless of your background i forbid you from being ignored in the name of jesus christ everything that has refused to walk in your life 
by this grace that you have received i command it to begin to walk in the name of jesus may your eyes be open access to illumination by the spirit i declare that the holy spirit will freely flow through your faculties and turn you into signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ i command that the graces are located for your offices may you step into those graces in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water everyone is allocated to a spiritual family this is a tribe and a family and there are possibilities that come with this family every grace that has been deposited by covenant signified by the angel of his presence may it work for you in the name of jesus may it work for you in the name of jesus i command that it works for you in the name of jesus and i will multiply them they will not be few and i will glorify them they will not be small i speak that prophecy over your life in the name of jesus christ the last prayer i will pray for you for is the gift of men the grace the bible says the lord sends the word but great be the company of them that publish it i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west that every project every advocacy that your life proposes may men rise up to support you in the name of jesus christ you will become an epistle of the wonder working power of god in the mighty name of jesus and father i pray even for these ones and i decree and declare that the kind of results that follow obedience the kind of results that follow submission the kind of results that follow honor in the name that is above all names may those results coordinate themselves and be represented in the lives of these ones in the name of jesus i declare that your grace will not be ignored your relevance will not be ignored therefore in the name of god the father the name of god the son and the spirit i decree and declare that we release you in this place as ambassadors of the kingdom to represent the purposes of god in the mighty name of jesus that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of jesus christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life i speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of jesus christ access to kings in the name of jesus christ i have set before you an open door i decree and declare the kind of influence that god can put upon a man influence is not a carnal desire it is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life in the name of jesus the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow christ through that man may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now the grace for strange signs and wonders wonders of the spirit may that grace come upon you now may that grace rest upon you now
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to discern the grace upon your life. I compel men to discern the hand of God upon you. I compel men to discern the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me to pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. Speak wine and oil to your treasury in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you enter into prepared blessings let me pray for you multiplied visions and spiritual experiences hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing I tear that veil now I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ listen don't sit back doubting what you are saying no every utterance is backed by the throne I'm not speaking as a man when God calls men he backs them And that every door you must enter in this season because we advance through the entrance of doors i speak to that door let it be open for you now let it be open for you now indeed it will be said about us that we are a people that the lord has helped marvelously helped like Uzziah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that our territory will come under the influence of your name and your grace. We will never give an inch of our territory to the reign of darkness and Satan. We will stand as watchmen until we see the reality of your power and your glory. Rest Brothers and sisters, hear me. If you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you, it will change your life. This thing you see is an election of grace. I may be a young man, but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see. I want you to believe it. You have taken all the shame. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings You've taken all my tears 
You've taken all my weakness. Nina Yimaka, Nina Yimaka, Sujana, Nina Yimaka, Nina Yimaka. Don't don't sing. I'm praying for you. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my poverty. You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my sorrow. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my struggles. You've taken all my fears. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my mountains. You've taken all those mountains. You've taken all my mountains. I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you, I give you, Lord, for everything you've done in my life. Lord, I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you. I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper. The power to prosper. The power to prosper. I release it from the depth of my spirit. The Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence. Honor is a mantle. It can be put on people. I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision, everyone connected with this grace right now as I speak, may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now. Take it now. Take it now. Strange honor. Grace for influence. I know our time is gone but just pay attention you are receiving something that will change your life I decree and declare there is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise there is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere I prophesy to you let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your, in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces. Encounters of angels, encounters with the realm of the spirit. I open you up to a water in the realm of the spirit. Begin to have encounters from today. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Receive visitations. Visitations of angels. Visitations of the spirit. Visitations in visions. Visitations in dreams. Listen, 
visions I've received have come to me in visions. Well, literally in visions, I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of just men. This is not diabolism. I have received from men in the flesh, but I have received from men in the spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every mantle, every grace that must make the supernatural begin to work in your life, receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Everyone in ministry here from today. I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders. Strange signs. A performance. A performance of the world. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here. Called into the area of business. Called into the area of finances. Or anyone trusting God to lift you. There is a grace that establishes men. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ between now and the next 60 days rise to a level you have never seen in your life rise to a level you have never seen in your life hallelujah listen listen I've shared with you the story I don't talk too much about myself hallelujah it was last year right here in three weeks God gave me a gold mine in three weeks, God gave me a gold mine, 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. I never saw it once till I got it. There is a grace that empowers men. You better believe it. I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names. I prophesy to you, enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection there are many of you the moment you are in trouble nobody arises to help you you sit there you fight alone and die alone are we together now I want to pray for you this one I've not seen many people walk in that place there is a grace that immunes you from trouble we live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me and defended this ministry from today, I don't know what brings shame to your life. I create a wall of defense around you. Receive that grace from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you quarter to shame may help arise for you the last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed some of us are too slow and it's not just by God something that would take you two days will take you six months it's not a testimony again I want to prophesy speed. He must land on someone. He may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I'm praying. May somebody here cut this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Speed of performance. Hear me. Whoever fights you in the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I don't 
don't know what has left your life you are crying till now because it looks like when you miss that thing you miss everything everything that left your life in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now Hallelujah. And for everyone who is a worker in this ministry, in the name of Jesus, I decree to you, let this be the season of extraordinary results. You are a worker in this ministry. I put that anointing on your life. You are a worker in this ministry. I put it doesn't matter whether prayer department, worship team, ushering, whatever. I decree and declare. May this grace speak bodily now. Bodily now. Bodily now. Let it answer now to your life. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you, if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you, you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact. Not so. Prophecy is powerful. Very powerful. Please, I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart. This is where you get to receive everything. Shabala kata bala da bala da bala da bala da bala. Shibara da 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 bala da bala da bala. Shout amen. This is where the fire gets to fall on your life. This is where everybody participates. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Please lay your hands on your head. I pray. Father, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom in business, wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here, trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus. May the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do, I speak over your life. Go back and do it again. Go back and do it again. In the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the lord jesus christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are 
everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that fail be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated 
in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you you have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ when a man is supposed to give you a job and get angry because something happened and packs all the employment letter and shelves it and they forget about it for the next two years the guy to help Joseph came out and forgot him for two years it was after two years by the mercy of God he said I remember my wrong so he acknowledged it was wrong I pray whoever has forgotten you that must remember you may they remember their wrong and may they correct it anointing and every grace that God preordained that should be resting upon your life, your ministry right now and by some activity of darkness it has not yet touched your head I declare, may that unction rest on you now may that unction rest on you now may that unction rest on you now I taught you about words never forget words are traits God is serving you something he's only using words are you ready to receive the prayer of favor again don't say you have said it before remember that they build and they prosper through the prophesying not once Jesus your Jesus touch the eyes of a man and he said what do you see this is the word touching a man's eyes he said I'm seeing but I see men like trees Jesus said nonsense he touched his eyes again and he saw men clearly if he, if he was left like that listen we want to we want to destroy the spirit that aborts complete miracles so the miracle starts in your life but never finishes have you seen people like that it starts in your life but never finishes in the name of jesus 
because according to scripture if the hand of Zerubbabel starts a thing that hand should complete it I'm praying right now every miracle that has started when Elijah saw the rain like the feast of a man's hand it didn't stop as a feast it became an abundance of rain therefore I declare what you have seen like the feast of a man's hand it must come to completion in your life must come to completion in your life so you get a job but they say you need an interview you pass stage one you pass stage two they even give you small pocket money and you are happy it's almost as if you are employed then when the final list comes out your name is not there a lady sent me a text crying that a gentleman came and paid her dowry and ran away what did he do he paid her dowry and ran away it's better that that lady were never married than the one that you gathered people they paid your dowry then he ran away let me say it again the bible says he that has begun this good work except it's not a good work what my god has started in your life in the name of Jesus, it must come to end. Let me pray for your family. That in the name of Jesus, whatever has brought pain to your family, whatever has brought shame, whatever has brought distress, right now i prophesy by the power of the holy spirit we come from different families and we know the various challenges that we left from our different families therefore i prophesy to you right now in the name of jesus that every challenge you left from your family let that challenge be turned into a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now let me prophesy a very serious prophecy for you everything you saw from january that god vowed with his integrity in the place of your retreat he showed you things you know it's not guesswork you know that god told you certain things but you have not seen it come to pass i release my faith with you and i command october to deliver the result for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah everyone who is in ministry here i want to pray for you whether it's an evangelical ministry you are a missionary you are into a prophetic ministry whatever is making it to not work or whether it's a prayer group a fellowship i stretch my hands i strengthen your hands in the spirit fresh fire upon the work that you do in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone in anger who made any pronouncement over your life it could even be your biological parents i stand here by the privilege of the prophetic and the apostolic and i declare that that statement is erased from your life in business I pray for you I decree and declare the spirit that brings fruitless labor you labor so much and yet nothing comes to fruition I cast that spirit from its root now let me pray again in the name of Jesus that everyone trusting God for a miracle job I don't care how long you have waited in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, I speak to you. May the Lord surprise you. The Lord is showing me a medical doctor that an appointment is coming for from Abuja, one of the hospitals in Abuja. As I just prayed this prayer, I saw it in the spirit. We establish it now in the name of Jesus Christ. someone 
nobody has ever truly applied for a visa and gotten it in your family it doesn't matter how many times they apply and the reasons are legitimate i speak by the anointing of the holy spirit may the favor of god open the doors of nations for you hallelujah one way the spirit of poverty listen eats up resources from people is through the mystery of terminal illness illness that your money must finish before the person now dies are we together now it's a wicked spirit because you can't sit down and watch your loved one in pain you will liquidate everything you have to help them when the entire family is drained then the person just goes i declare if there is anyone with any terminal illness that is sapping resources from your family may the healing power of jesus touch them and quicken them now favor is a spirit i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus from today carry strange favor carry strange favor carry strange favor in one minute wherever you are open your mouth and let's pray for kaduna state blood sucking spirit will cost you pray we declare peace upon our borders pray for the families that have been bereaved lord by your mercy let there be peace we prophesy peace in Zaria, peace in Kaduna State, peace in Jos, peace in Adamawa, peace in Benway. In the name of Jesus, the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. We fortify our spiritual borders. Please pray. Don't be like Esther who ignored Mordecai. Don't be like Esther who ignored Mordecai. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Do not hear the word of the Lord. Let there be peace. We pray for the spirit of love. We pray for the spirit of love. The spirit of unity. Christians, Muslims, free thinkers. That together in the name of Jesus, there will be a bond of peace. Hallelujah. I speak to everyone here. The covenant of protection you have to know the blessings that accrue to this ministry that you are part of i declare in the name of jesus the grace that has protected us the grace that has protected this this ministry may that grace speak in your life i forbid the earth nor the sword from receiving your body in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for you like we prophesied october is not done yet between now and 31st of october in the name of jesus the balance of what must enter your hand may the god of heaven arise and put it in your hand praise the lord this this is a personal affair just take some time you're not a man you're not a man, no. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything no one like you. No one like you.
must reveal the glory, the power, the grace of God. Those who are following from whatever nation, please take time to pray. Participate, follow in prayer. Call on to me and I will answer. Shiva kata branda kato sabre neke di baladaba. I will praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. From everlasting, keep praying. says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the lord in your life in the next five minutes i'd like you to lift up your voice before i bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a god who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting god to reveal himself as a god of increase some of you are trusting god for speed trusting god for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of heaven and earth. The maker of destiny. The maker of businesses. The maker of ministries. walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations first Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 please read with me if you can see ready read wherefore we would have come unto you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us wherefore your breakthrough would have arrived before now wherefore the answer to your prayer would have come before now the God of wonders being made manifest but it looked like he was a boss in office it looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon but the Bible says Satan hindered us are you ready to pray you're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain 
who art thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Career mountains, spiritual mountains, financial mountains, mountains stopping your influence and your visibility. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Shepa katos kapranda katalabash, ekete prende kasono balakata, shepre teke tos kema kashada bakata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Paris Calibranda Gadusia. Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says, once upon a time, we read 13, 14, and 15. The Bible says, the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when? Today. You can choose another day, but I make up my mind. Today. It says, for the Egyptians, Kabarus Kiyabata. This is a word for someone. The Egyptians, the disappointments. I know it happened in 2013, 14, 15. Don't get used to pain. Don't get used to disappointment. God is about to show up. He said, the Egyptians, whom ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14. The Lord the god of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar hallelujah the lord said unto moses wherefore criest thou unto me he says speak to the children of israel that they go forward you are about to pray don't make this place rowdy but some of you may need to take prophetic steps and you are declaring in the name of jesus i refuse to remain here god of wonders arise push me forward i need advancement in my life is someone praying lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray hallelujah in the name of jesus we are still praying first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. i sense there is a grace moving someone forward honestly first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. read with me please if you are a believer ready read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh god god of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray hallelujah praise the lord you're not wasting your time psalm 45 verse 12 something is happening to someone psalm 45 verse 12 i receive it for myself psalm 45 and verse 12 and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Please look up. One of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time. No matter what you lose, if you have time, you did not lose. No matter what you have, if you lose time, you lost. Are we together? Destiny, listen carefully, please. Destiny is a function of time. We have time that is allocated. And for some reason, for various reasons, we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time. So God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint. One is called restoration. The second is called speed. These, these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time, eventually you will find expression. We are going to pray these two things. It says, and I will restore years. The first restoration you need is not things. I will restore years. Number two, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. You are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed. My goodness, imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities i assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life lord give me speed give me speed give me speed hallelujah praise the name of the lord two more prayers ah esther chapter six esther chapter six something is about to happen to someone esther chapter six from verse one please give it to us on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king verse 2 and it was found written that mordecai that joshua selman had done something before and had not been rewarded that night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget what god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives 
where we give our best some of us have served people for years some of us raised many children they are in privileged positions today and by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when God is ready to lift you, he will single you out. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me, my family, my destiny, and every reward you have preordained, I command it to appear in my life. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, for the things that I have done for your kingdom, I gave to the work of the Lord for the things that I have done for your kingdom let the book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully god is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predetermined counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray and provoke by the god of wonders the ministry of destiny help us listen to me there's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny helpers that if they do not show up in your life believe me you will never rise not in this life i assure you i wish i had time i would have shown you from scripture but very quickly number one the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if naaman the bible says naaman in second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous and yet in his house there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free the key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable you must trust god for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people gifted people gifted people 
from the protocol to your worship team and everyone did it's a grace i'm sharing it with you so that you covet it it does not just happen these graces are like magnets they call the people to come you don't look for them you won't find them if you find them they will come with a side effect the grace purifies it knows the kind of people that it calls to you gifted people there are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted they are loyal but they are not gifted the last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers no matter who you are times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people you don't need men of influence you need people who can cry with you people like naomi was to ruth i mean like ruth was to naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than i'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonders should show up for you first that god will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny helpers lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i'm about to spend the time i have left i know that many of us have come with hunger you're going to pray and ask the lord to give you an encounter within this minute to visit you can i tell you this sincerely i admit to you that every challenge is relative is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight i'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir i'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what i'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season 
I'm, I'm telling you this believe what I'm saying this is a prophetic word I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season a new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a 